Oh, oh. All right, there we go. My LA speed run is done. All right, there we are. What are we on? 102 hours? All right, that's a great time. We made fantastic time. Holy shit, that was a great run of LA. Holy fuck, that was a fast run. Shit, that's a new gold split. That's got to be a new gold split. Holy fuck. 102 hours. Incredible. Incredible time. Poof, end to end. Actually crazy that he gets it done that fast. The amount of work this guy can do in one hour is unheard of. One hour, 100 hours. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, and, and the Iron Mouse Raiders. Thank you. Sorry. My throat's a little fucked up. I don't know why. I think it was from all the shouting I did in the Stream Rewards Day. This is why I hate going to loud places. But we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Because I have to shout it. It's annoying with my voice. But today's going to be a short one, boys. We're not going to go crazy today. It's just going to be a pretty like a two hour one, two hour banger back to back. Uh, we'll go over the stream rewards. I'll tell you everything that I got up to. Uh, and we'll go through all the fun stories and little uh, adventures along the way. And I'll give you some of the insight into how the stream rewards went and how it was all planned and how it was all run and how my part in it was formed and how we, we got a big L. <laughs> we didn't win, but it's fine. Uh, I still had a great time ultimately. Uh, and I was super happy that I even got to be a part of it. So I was super stoked about that. To me, you know, getting to do the red carpet, before we get into anything, getting to do the red carpet was, uh, it's better than any award. Like, genuinely. I, I think that, for me, as someone who, like, loves to entertain, I love to host. I love hosting so much. You guys know that I, I I'm, that's, my, like, my favorite shit to do. So, being able to do that on such, a, like, a huge stage is, like, an honor. Uh, and, and honestly, like, if you did tell me, Connie, you could have, you could win, like, five awards, or you could host a red carpet, it'd, it'd be host a red carpet every time, 100%. There's no, there's no doubt about it. So I was really, th really, really thankful to Kitty for letting me do that. So just, just getting that out of the way now before we jump into it. Uh, Dara, thank you for the 10 subs. How you guys doing, by the way? How you guys doing? Kitty praised you? Oh, I, I appreciate that. I, I, I spoke to Kitty a bunch about it, too, and, and whatnot. We'll get into that, we'll get into that. We'll get, I'll, I'm gonna give you the play-by-play. -play. The full timeline with uh, pictures when I have them. I didn't I, I didn't take a lot of pictures, but I'll try and get them when I can. <laughs> I took like no pic. How many pictures did I actually take? Let's have a look. Um, okay, that's my, I took two screenshots of my custom form declaration. That's great. Uh, no pic, no, no screenshots. Okay, that doesn't help. Okay, camera. I took like 15 pics of Selbit, uh, and that's it. Yeah, <laughs> okay, that's it. Yeah, that's great. Okay, Connor. You should probably take more pictures of these things. At one point, I did take one picture because I was like, I, I'll need to talk about this, so I should, I should do it. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, okay, so let's, let's, uh, okay, let me, let me send these pics to myself. Uh, yes, I only have two. <laughs> it's just, it's just Actually, there's three. There's three I want to show you. There's three I want to show you, chat. So I should, I should have sent these to myself earlier, but I'm going to show them to you now. Uh, actually, there's more. I have more than three. I'm going to say I'm the goat, bro. I got th more than three picks. Crazy. It goes crazy. Um, Why am I talking like that? I've been around Ludwig for like two days. Uh, okay, let's get this. All right, yeah, yeah, here we go. All right. Okay. You were amazing on the red carpet. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Um, tell us about your Uber ride from the airport. I did have a ba I did have a banger. Wait, how do you know about that? Tell us about your Uber ride. Why do you know that? How did I deal so well with jet lag? I got it down to an art form. That's how. Tweeted. Oh, that one. Oh, okay. That was not the. <laughs> I was thinking the. That wasn't the worst one. The most interesting one. I love. I love weird Uber drives in LA. Okay, so. Welcome. I tweeted. I forgot I tweeted about that. The food seemed like was so insane. <laughs> I don't know which thing you're referring to, but um, yeah. So uh, to give you like a bit of background uh, about how this all kind of unfolded, I, I really wanted to go to the stream rewards anyway. Uh, before we even like got the nominees, like I, I really wanted to go. And so like my good way of like justifying to go for me is like, okay, if I get a nominee, a nomination, I can like justify going, right? I can, I can justify paying a, a lot of money uh, to to go out to LA. So and, and you know, the, the flight prices get crazy, right? So, and I was also pretty sure even if I didn't get nominated for anything that like Kitty would invite me. 
I, I, you know, I don't know. If I, I, I'm, I'm pretentious like that. I was like, I'm sure she'll, I'm sure she'll let me come. I'm sure she'll let me come. If I just beg, I begged. <laughs> so, so I was like, I was like, come on, let's go. I, I, I really want to go because it's like a, it's like the only event where I feel like you really get to meet so many new creators and make so many like uh, possible long-lasting friendships uh, for people you would just never meet. Like I, there's, there's some creators that I would never run into in like an organic way. But Stream Rewards allows that. Um, so that's really one of the main reasons why I wanted to go. You didn't win and also lost with all the food you ate with Lard. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Thanks, man. Thanks. So uh, so that that I, I really wanted to get nominated for something. Just so I could have, have a good excuse to, to go out there. Because if I just go out there and I'm not nominated, it's like, why am I flying all the way to LA? <laughs> um, so we got nominated. That was great. I, 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 thank you to you guys for going crazy with that. That was like so fucking I, I you know we we got nominated for two things and also mouse got nominated for two things as stream of the year that's crazy uh and I, I think that you know i really appreciate how hard you guys always support me you know we don't have the biggest community we don't have like the craziest community but you guys are always like so fucking pumped to support me and i appreciate that uh so yeah uh what i've what i've taken away from this is that i need to be way more loud and way more animated to get more views <laughs> I'm too old, Chad. I can't do it. I, I can't. I, I can't get to. I can't get crazier than I already am. Um. Did you see how many votes you get? No, I didn't. I didn't. But uh, you know, I, I think that uh, I, you know, I have a feeling that we weren't we weren't far off. Like uh, I don't think we were like crazy far off from potentially taking home a dub. Uh, so I, you know, I think that uh, it's just it just happens like that, man. Sometimes it, it's just how it goes. I think the voting's. The voting situation is just tough. Uh, but I think uh, I did all I could. And I'm happy with that. And I think we had a great time. Anyway. If only you had an animated alter ego. Yeah, I should. I should. <laughs> um, did I make friends with Etoile? Okay, Emma. Are you trying to French pull me? Yeah, I did. Etoile's cool. We're tight. He's super cool. All right. He's very nice. Very funny. All right. And I told him. I told him about how I dog on French people constantly, and he goes, oh, well, this is this, I'm, I'm already breaking the timeline, but just because Emma asked. He goes, I go, uh, it was, by the way, uh, you know, I don't know if you know, but, because he told me that his editor was a big fan of mine. And I was like, dude, that's awesome. I, I'm like, that's great. People watch me? People are fans of me? I thought, I thought people just put me on when there's nothing else because I'm in this time zone. Uh, and I go, yeah, but just so you know, man, I, like, I dog on French people all the time, uh, relentlessly, and I only mean it like a little bit. <laughs> he goes, I know, I know. Why, why you hate the French people? What, the, what have we done to you? <laughs> that wasn't even a good French accent. <laughs> and I, and I, was, I was like, honestly, it's just a meme. It's just a meme. And then I, later on, I did call French food kind of mid, and then he he got crazy. He he he, he did pop off. We'll get into that there. <laughs> uh so I actually like you. Hey, listen, guy, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. That. Oh, that's not what I would take away from that, Emma. I like it twas. That's what I would take away from that. <laughs> My room is already getting hot. How? So, we'll get into it. Okay, chat, chat, chat. What we'll do is, is uh, we'll get into the red carpets. And uh, when we get there, uh, we'll, we, can, we can talk about questions and stuff. But for now, I'll just tell you the rundown. So, we got nominated. That was great. And I booked my flights. Awesome. And I every time I book my flights to LA, if I know it's going to be a short trip, because I wanted this to be a short trip, just because I have a lot going on, uh, and I, I already feel like I'm kind of not, not on top of everything I have going on in my life. Like, I feel like I have too much stuff to do, and I didn't want to spend more time in LA, because I always go to LA for like three weeks anyway, or a month uh, in the summer. And I thought, you know what, I'll just go in and out with this one, uh, and we'll we'll get it done. Emma, yeah, I like you, Emma, Emma. Come on, Emma. All right, okay, Emma. So I wanted to get it done fast, right? I wanted to get there, get a bunch of shit done, get out. So it doesn't feel like I'm like not working or wasting time. Uh, Cause I've also had a really bad procrastination problem lately. Uh, and I need to uninstall TFT. It's been ruining my workflow. Uh, and I, I've just been bad. I've just been really bad at working. Like, I, I don't know why, like I'll, I'll end a stream and I'll just not do what I need to do. Um, and then like, I'll do another day where I'll, I'm gonna do like a, a four hour stream in a day. And then I have like five hours. Um, and 
uh, I'll play TFT for like three hours. Like, I think, I think playing, like, I think if you procrastinate, not allowing yourself to play any games is a bad idea. Like, I think, like, trying to be the perfect human being is not going to work. But, like, I just need to, like, play one game and be like, all right, I'm actually going to work now. I'm so bad. I'm so, I just, it's, it's been, I, I don't know why. I've, I've been, I've been bad. I think, I think I was thinking about it. And, uh, I'm sorry I'm getting distracted already on a tangent. Um, but, uh, I think after, after TwitchCon, I think TwitchCon was so tough for me. Because I was, uh, I was doing, oh, man, oh god, my phlegm. Oh my god. I like, like, <laughs> my throat is like phlegmy. I don't know why today. I'm sorry, chat. Um, so, I mean, don't ignore that. Don't think about it. <laughs> Sounds like burnout. I, I, I think like, I, I've never been burnt out. Um, I don't think I didn't enjoy making content, but it, like, I still really wanted the stream. I still wanted to make stuff, but after that LA trip where I had like, it was like, uh, not LA trip. It was, it was, uh, it was Vegas. I had like four hours of sleep every night. I was working like eight to 10 hours a day. Uh, when I, when I, and then I had to socialize people and that's, that's fine. But that's part of the job, you know? And I was just like, it, it killed me because it was so bad. Like everything went wrong for me. Like, I, I think that, uh. Everything was so bad. Uh, like the, the booth went horribly. The Twitch rivals, the only one I enjoyed was one with Pete, but the Apex one went so bad. Uh, and I had to like figure all that out. And it, it was a waste. Of, it was a ton of waste of money. Um, so it was just a bad time. It was a really bad time. And then I got super sick and I was like, fuck this, man. <laughs> it's like, I feel awful. Uh, and then, and then it was Christmas, and I was with my friends, and then Powell came out, and it just like absolutely like demolished any any work I wanted to get done. So there was this whole thing of like three months where I felt like I wasn't really doing enough, and I was being uh, I did I did enjoy working around with you, Mouse. That was fun, but it was also a shame because like I, I wanted to really enjoy that more, and I think if I had just done that, I would have had way more fun doing that. Um, but because I had so many other things to worry about, I was just it was so hard to focus on it. I oh, can't take it back now. What do you mean? I'm literally giving you great justification. Why? You know, and then we had the school. I forgot I even did that. Like, there was just so much stuff I had to do. And then I was at Vegas with TwitchCon. I wanted to see everyone, you know? I wanted to make sure I could spend time with people. Oh, sorry. My, uh, my, my, my text speech is off. Um, in before Emma donates, la Latinos rise up. <laughs> Thank you, Grind Gremlin. <laughs> and Dara donated $6.90. He said, Monkey, you smashed it on the red carpet. Man, proud. Thanks, man. So basically, I was I was really burnt out, and then when I when I booked these tickets in um, I don't know when I when the nominations came out, but uh, I booked the tickets and I sent a lot. I messaged him. I was like, man, I, I'm gonna be honest. I I don't want to be in LA for long, uh, because there's no no worse feeling than already being behind on work, traveling to a place, and then like having nothing to do one day. Even if it's like one day, where it's like I might do so much shit for two days. Some, and then like one day where I get nothing done, I can't meet anyone. And then two days where I, I do a ton. It's like, I feel like I wasted a day by being there. And I don't know why I have this mentality. I'm quite hard on myself in that sense, but um, maybe just rest. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> That's fucking crazy. No, um, but you know, I, I rest on like weekends and I, I get to hang out with friends in Japan and stuff. And I, I kind of like to keep it that way. Like I feel like traveling, uh, even though I, I like, you know, I get to hang out and like, trust me, chat, I, I don't. I like I'll okay I'll get into it. I'll get into it. Anyway, so I, I tell uh, I tell Ludwig, I'm like, hey man, I'd really like to get a like a stream with you. If we if I come out there, we can just do an easy one, the fast food thing again. He's like, yeah, of course, man, no worries. I'm like, okay, good, I feel good about this. So we get on the plane. Uh, my strat to defeating jet lag chat uh, is very simple. Uh, it is waste your money and be rich. It's very simple. Uh, you can get this thing called a a business class, and it and it, it becomes like a bet. And then you can sleep on it. It's crazy. It's really impressive how they, they didn't tell me about this for like 15 years. Uh, <laughs> no, but I, yeah. Damn hates the poor. No, I, I am I am a person. So my, my old strat to sleeping on planes. Um, when when I, you know, I, I, I had like no fucking money. Chat, I'm a, I, chat I, 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 just, I will just be honest with you. You know, like I, I don't want to sit here and be like, yeah, man, I can sleep in economy. Chad, I, I, I make more money than I should, uh, and I spend it badly. 
Um, uh, I the most of my money goes on the business class flights. So anyway, so uh, we're going we're going on we're going on. Anyway, so my my old strat to sleeping on economy flights when I used I used to do this <laughs> so fucking dumb. I used to go to American conventions, and I remember the one month specifically. I had I had an American convention every weekend for one month in a different state, but every single one I flew back to I flew back to London for. And that's like a you know New York's like a what an eight hour flight. I, I can't remember how long it is. Um, but my strat was to <laughs> was to get a flight at like 6 a.m. in London, and I would I would stay up the night before and work all night, <laughs> and then I would go to the airport at 3 a.m. and then they they used to sell this over the counter like drowsy medicine that would make you like sound like make you drowsy. And I never had, had any problem sleeping, but I just can't sleep on planes, and so I would stay up all night working like crazy, get to the airport tired as fuck. And then I'd go to the pharmacy at the airport and I'd be like, hey, can I have the sleeping pills? And I would just, I would just take the sleeping pill and I would fall asleep enough where I would get like eight hours. And that was how I did it. And it was awful. It was awful. Don't ever do this. It was so bad. I, I felt like, uh, I felt horrific when I got back to the UK after it. Um, but I get it. Some people need, some people, it, they just cannot sleep on planes and also being on planes makes them uncomfortable. Uh, like melatonin, no, no, it's much weaker than melatonin because the UK doesn't sell mel melatonin. You can only get it via prescription. I think the US is like one of the only countries where you can get it over the counter. Um, I used to, <laughs> I used to ask for the free beers, uh, on the plane, like an economy. I'd be like, how many, I was like, how many, how many beers can I, have? I shouldn't even fall asleep. Because sometimes it would help me like fall asleep. Because I would just, I was like, I I'm going to try every different way. I'm so desperate to fall asleep. I'll try just drinking. <laughs> Turns out, not a great idea. You wake up feeling way worse than when you went to bed. <laughs> uh, the drowsy pills kind of worked. It, they're, they're basically like hay fever tablets. I, I don't know what the medical word, uh, the medical breakdown. Um, sleeping tablets, UK. Definitely don't recommend it. Um, I think it was... Oh my god. It was some, it was some really weak one. Antihistamines? I think it was Seems an antihistamine. Seems you got snubbed by the Frenchman known as Ludwig. All Guess right. the French beat the British once again. Yeah. Now that you're friends with Etoile, you can't hate on us French I, anymore. I still can. Smile. I still can. And well. Also, bonjour, mouse. Congrats on your <laughs> win. We all love you. <laughs> they, you they, the best smile less than three. They barely helped the pills, but they were just more of like a... I think a... Just like a, a placebo. After I was already exhausted from staying up all night. It would kind of help me just like pass the fuck out, and I would always try and get like the corner seat, the the, the, the um, the fucking uh window seat or the aisle, and then I would just curl up into a ball like this. And then like the stewardesses would come around sometimes, and they'd wake me up, be like, "Are you are you good?" I'm like, yeah, uh, yeah. So that was what I used to do, and then um, one time after like, uh, because even though uh, before, when I moved to Japan and and my YouTube channel was doing great. Um, I, I was making, you know, I was making pretty good money. Uh, definitely way more than I should be making and, and uh, more than anyone my age should be making, but I never bought business class flights. Um, and then I think, uh, after Trash Taste kind of blew up, I was talking to the guys and we were like, yeah, I'll, I'll fucking, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I, I want to give it a shot. And then, uh, I did it one time and I was like, fuck, I shouldn't have done this. I can never go back to economy. This is, this is, this is such a... This is so fucked how different it is to have a bed on a plane. Uh, it's fucked up. So, uh, basically, but that doesn't solve jet lag, right? Like, you still have to deal with the time zones. Um, so, and I, and I also started only flying with, like, the same airline, which really helped with um, just making everything easier. Actually, like, it's so fucked up. I, I was like, I, I, I know what, I'm, I'm actually going to do this thing where people collect points because people talk about how they, they're like, I get free flights all the time with flying business. And I, I and I'm like, OK, well, well, sure, let's. And so it helped a lot. Um, just makes like checking in like super fucking easy. Like, and if I want to bring like five million bags on for whatever reason, it's like, OK, cool. So. Um, yeah, and you'll talk to most people who fly a lot. They normally try to stick to one airline, except for Ludwig, who's <laughs> at Ludwig just flies whatever. And I, I'm like, dude, you get so many points. You can get so many free, free stuff. Um, yeah. So, I I really like ANA. ANA is great. ANA like one thing I can say about ANA airlines is number one they have a bidet on the plane, which is like 
so amazing. Number two, I've never had ANA be even remotely late for a flight. I just never had, I, I don't think I've ever had ANA be late. I don't think it's ever happened on a flight I've been on. I think I've been on like, like fucking like 30, uh, 40 flights this year alone. It's never been late. Um, the food is fire as well. And the service is nuts. Uh, I remember I flew, uh, I flew with Emirates and it was good, but there was so many, <laughs> there, uh, there's so many times where I'm like, Hey, can I get a, can I get a water? Who am I? Can I get a water? <laughs> um, so anyway, basically I, I always get the flight that leaves. Um, I think it's I, my personal strat. And I think this is the best way to handle jet lag is to get a flight at the nighttime um, and sleep. It really depends where you're going, which time zone. But for America, going from J Japan to America, if you get like a the 9 p.m. flight, right? You get on the plane, it takes like an hour to get off. You know, they, you know, you get like a water, whatever. It's like 10 p.m. You watch a few things, you sleep. If you, if you're lucky, you roll that dice, you get eight hours. Boom, you land in LA, it's like 1 p.m. You've slept eight hours. Yeah, you might, you might stay up a little later than you wanted to, but you're probably still tired from traveling. So then you end up like kind of just immediately fixing your time zone. And you're like, this is great. I'm like, so I landed uh, and I've started doing this. I start planning stuff for like when I land. So I'll tell people like, I, I, I've, I've been through LAX so many times now where I'm pretty sure it takes like, from the moment my plane lands to me getting out or to wherever I need to go is like two to three hours. So, um, and, when <laughs> and in Japan, it's like 10 minutes when you get out the airport. But in America, it's so long. So, I, I I land and I have like a, a meeting planned with some people that I, I need to meet up with to talk about some stuff. So I immediately land and I, I drop off my shit at Ludwig's house. I'm like, I see, I'm gonna go to this business meeting. So I go to this, meet, this business meeting. I had like the most bomb food. It's so good. Uh, uh, it's a fantastic food. Um, it was probably like $1 billion because uh, it's LA, but it was amazing. And then I just hang out with Lud. And so the night before, kind of everyone starts coming to, <laughs> to Lud's house. Everyone, everyone's like, you know, because it's the day before the stream awards. I land in LA at like Friday. So I, I really timed it close. Um, so also, I've got to say like, uh, Cutie asked me to do the red carpet. Like, uh, I don't know how, how far in advance. I feel like it, I want to say like three weeks. So I was, I already booked my flight. I already was nominated, I think. And then Cutie asked me to host the red carpet. Uh, and I was, I was like, yeah, dude, fucking, of course, I'd love to. That's like a fucking, what an honor. Like, uh, it's, uh, there's, there's like no better compliment to someone uh, when you work in like a creative field than being like, hey, I really want you to work on this thing with me, or I want you to be a part of this. Because that's just like, man, like, you have faith in me. <laughs> you think I could do it? You bailed on me? Yeah, Connor, you didn't bail on me, Connor. I want to hang out with you. Next time, Connor, next time, Connor. Uh... So, you know, I, I think that when you get when you get offered to do something like this, uh, yeah, it's such a it's such a, you know, a, a pleasure. Uh, and then I, I also had some other stuff, which I, I, I man, I really, I really want to spoil. I really want to spoil, but I can't. I can't. But let's just say this chat. Let's just say this. There was something really cool that I got to show off during the stream rewards uh, that will, you know, maybe I, I can share with you guys and I can it's really fucking cool. Uh, it, 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 you'll find out soon. Uh, there's something really cool that I, I I had planned this video all around the narrative of me going to these awards. It's it's gonna be great. You guys are gonna be pumped. Um, it should be like within like two weeks or something. You guys will find out. So it's like one of the coolest things ever, and I'm super super pumped about it. Um. So I, I kind of, when Cutie asked me to do this, I was like, oh my God, this is great. This lines up perfectly with this video I've been trying to make because I need like some kind of big moment for it. So this is great. Um, so yeah, when Cutie asked me to do it, I was super stoked. Immediately I was like, yeah, fucking of course I'm down. Uh, and I didn't know who I was interviewing um, until I want to say like five days before or four days before we got given this list. We were all given a list of who we were interviewing. Uh, and, and I didn't really have, actually, it wasn't even five. It was like three. Um, and that's, you know, that's like whatever. Like that's normal. I, I don't expect this to be sorted because, you know, Cutie's got to figure out who the fuck's even coming and people are dropping in and out. People are saying they're going to come and they're not. So it's like, whatever. Like I, I, I have a list. 
I need, need this to say. Why flew so much with Singapore Airlines okay, all right. and Air France? His diamond membership will last until like 50 years after he dies. That's why it's nice wow. traveling with him, cause I get to go in the lounge with him. The lounge is I all get pod. to see him this year in France, smile. Yeah, I, I've flown so much uh, that I, I can just, I, even if I don't fly first class with, this, with the airline, I can just go in the lounge. Turns out that the first class lounge, not really that much different from the business one. So <laughs> it didn't really turn out to be that swag. So if you guys uh, are ever wondering, I don't know what goes on in that lounge. Not much. Uh, actually, the best lounge I ever went to was in Canada. It was like a the business one. It was way better than any lounge I've been to. Anyway. Anyway, anyway. So the Delta is just the same. Yeah, it's normally. Why am I getting called by? What the fuck? Hold on, chat. One second, one second. Hey, Chief, I got into med school recently and your streams got me through a lot of studying. Thanks for being the best monk. All right, shit. Sorry, it's FedEx, bro. <laughs> like we want to. I I guess I I ordered a package and they've been calling me up for like a week now. But I was in America, so I didn't pick up. And they've been they were they were chirping on me. Uh, they just wanted to deliver a package. They were like, "Where where is the address?" I was like, "It's it's on the package." And uh, Necker fifteen said, "Hey chief, I got into bed school recently, and your streams got me through a lot of studying. Thanks for being the best monkey. Hey, congrats. That's huge." Best of luck, best of luck. So, no P.O. box? I don't have a P.O. box. I, don't, I had one of those ones I don't want to deal with again. Um, yeah, so I, I got to L.A. I'm sending this one again because <laughs> my first one got sniped by TTS All right, let's Stan. Do it. In before Emma and Latinians rise up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Latinians rise up. Latinians, you're welcome. This is, your, this is your chance to rise up. Anyway, as I was saying, you know, I was very honored and so... I'd gotten the list, you know, three days before, which is which is what I expected, right? Because there's, you know, this is like a, I don't even want to know logistically how you manage like 300 of the laziest people on earth. Like as streamers, I can say that like, I love my fellow streamers, but so many of them lazy as fuck. They do not reply to messages. You have to spam them. Uh, getting them to fill out forms is fucking impossible. Um, it's, it's a nightmare. So I think getting to manage that, you know, so, so I understand very, very intuitively that my role is to shut the fuck up, turn up and do the thing. So, you know, I don't ask questions, you know, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to be another annoyance, you know, cause I've ran events before. I know how this can be people chirping away and you're like, Hey, li respectively, I got a lot of things to worry about. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do it. You say anxious people. It's okay. There's, there's anxiety. There's also laziness there. Um, so I get my list like, like, like I said, two, three days before I tell you guys actually, cause I get the list as I do my last stream before I leave. Uh, and I see who uh, most of the people and I know like 80% of them. So I feel pretty confident about it. Cause I'm like, okay, I 80% of these people I can ask banger questions too, I think. And then 20% I need to look up and do some research. So <clears throat> I fly over, we get in LA and, and we, I do the meeting. It's fun. Great, great food. Go to Ludwig's house. Why is my throat? Collapsing in on myself. What is happening? <clears throat> if you say you should turn up, you should honor that. Absolutely. I think uh, as a human being, uh, if you say you're turning up to something, you fucking turn up to it. And if you don't, you give a goddamn good reason and you tell them the moment you you know. Um, so I think I think that's just one thing that streamers can get a little better at. Because streamers are uh, we're, we're a little spoiled chat uh, in many ways. 
we're very used to our agents having to pick up the pieces. You know, I know a lot of people that are like, ah, it's fine. They'll, they'll fix it. And they kind of like just leave problems to other people. And I just don't believe in that. So, yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, we get there. We get a lot's house. And can I, everyone comes over. Like, uh, Rob's there. Squeeze is there. I mean, Squeeze for the first time. Squeeze is so fucking cool. Squeeze is so... I, I knew I was going to get on with Squeaks. But Squeaks is so fucking nice. And also, one of the funniest dudes ever. Like, like half the shit he said, I feel like I have like a 1 out of 100 success rate of being funny. Squeaks, it's like, even when he's not trying to be funny, everything he says is just hilarious. His delivery is fantastic. Um, Very, very nice guy. And uh, really cool. That was got, glad to meet him. I was really pumped about that. Um, So that was great. And then... um. So talking with everyone, Cutie's practicing. Um, <laughs> Cutie's just practicing good over stuff. I'm making notes. I'm, I've got a, an ear. I'm like, I'm listening to all of them talking, but I've got a, a, my like ear pods in. I'm, I'm listening to some of the streamers that I don't know from my interview list. I'm going to interview and I'm, you know, I'm writing it down. I'm like, okay, I'm going to ask this person this one. Because there, there's like, you know, like, uh, I, I don't know the, for whatever reason. That's not a slight on them or a, 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 like me being like, who, am I all who? <laughs> like, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who is Jinxie? <laughs> you know, no, it's like uh, you are in your sphere of influence. You're in your sphere of the online world. And sometimes you just don't know people. And like, that's okay. You can't be everywhere all at once, right? You know, uh, and that, that's a normal thing. Um, and so I, I'm just trying to do research, get to know some people um, and, and get some research. So to make sure that I'm, I don't look like a fucking idiot when I interview people. Um, so I, I'm doing that. And then finally I go to bed at like 3 a.m. And then I have to wake up the next day because uh, I really wanted to hang out with Gun. And I don't think I was going to have time to see Gun and TT. Uh, TT, if you guys don't know, he basically ensures all the IRL stream tech works. Uh, always is in charge of the mouse streams. Um, and a great behind the scenes uh, puppet master of all things server related. And I really wanted to hang out with uh, him and uh, Gun and catch up a little bit. Because I, I knew I was going to be so busy and I wouldn't have time. So I woke up extra early, got dressed in my suit, and went for tacos. So I'm sitting there in the middle of, like, LA. <laughs> I, I got a fucking burrito in my suit. I'm, like, dripped out on the street. I'm, we're, we're outside eating. I'm eating a burrito outside in the suit. <laughs> uh, I'm just chatting with them, and it was great. It was nice. It was awesome getting to hang out with them. I really love getting to see those guys. Gun's always a pleasure as well. And, and, and TT, who I've, I've only recently... We only recently met TT, right? So he's in chat right now. I only recently met TT, but he's so chill. And I had spoken to TT like 500 times online. Mainly mainly me begging him to help me. <laughs> That's great. And, and a gun, obviously, I've known for a while. And, you know, gun is such a good friend that, uh, you know, I, I, I'm so blessed to know gun. Gun's just, oh, gun's great. Gun's awesome. Um, so I really always try to make time for gun. Because it's so bad. I have to, like, you know, I, I, I hate to, like, I hate to, you know, when you have when you have like two days you have to really pick and choose who you can see you know so it's kind of tough uh and I, you know god is someone i respect so much so wanted to hang out with him so uh i i we had lunch real quickly and then i went over the stream awards i was starting to get nervous because I, I started to realize okay i actually just have to do this like <laughs> Connor, do you have a gear list of your out. outdoor video equipment i am still <laughs> baffled about the video quality of your aquarium stream with mousy Love from New York. I don't have a list. Alien. And that, that list in particular for that stream was half of Paul's equipment. Um, but I, I should one day. I really should. I should make like a full-on guide of everything. Um, can you explain the BBL accusations against you? What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, so we, we get to the stream rewards. It's like 1 p.m. My call time. I was supposed to be there at 1.30 and I think I got there at 1.30 or 1.00. Uh, and I, I want to get a coffee because I need coffee. I'm addicted. Uh, get, drink a ton of water, smashing water back because I know I'm not going to have a lot of time to drink water when I do these interviews. Uh, but I also need the pee. So that was, I made sure to pee right before. I'm, just, I'm, I'm chatting around. I'm talking to, to Will and uh, Austin in the changing room. I'm asking them like, hey guys, you have any piece of advice? <laughs> uh, they're, so, they're, they're so used to being themselves. They're like, nah, don't worry about it. Just do you, baby. Just do whatever you want to do. <laughs> I was like, okay, thanks, man. <laughs> and Austin told me, he was like, just listen. Listen to people. I was like, all right, thanks, man. Got it, got it. 
Uh, because I, I think even if you're confident in yourself, you should also just ask other people on their perspective on, on, especially if they're good at what they do, you should ask them. Um, and just maybe get that piece of advice. Um, and then I had to go and do, like, <laughs> Kitty asks, do any of you guys need hair and makeup? And I was like, yes, I would like that because I often hate how I look on these things. So I would like for someone to just make me look better. Uh, and sometimes they get it. Like, I realized that <clears throat> I had to tell them, like, don't do much. Just clean this up. Uh, cause sometimes they do way too much. It gets a little intense. And, and I just, I, I tell them, hey, can you just like, can you, can you just make my hair not look shit? And also just, if I have bags, get rid of them. <laughs> They're like, yeah, okay, got it. Thank you. I'm like, cool. So I was done in like two minutes. It was like, boom, done. Um, you did well. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's very kind of you. I appreciate that. Riri, am I saying, am I pronouncing that right? I hope I am. And, um, yeah, so we go up, it's 2.30 and it's with off-brand. So I know off-brand because I've worked with off-brand on my own event. So a bunch of people I know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, uh, you know that, you know that Tiger Woods meme, the, the big dog meme? Do you guys know the one? Do you guys know <laughs> I love this one. I love this. I fucking love this meme. I fucking love this meme. This meme is so fucking funny. It's, it's so accurately represents how I feel. When I go to when I go in to LA, because a lot of these people I don't see often, right? And so, uh, you know, I, <laughs> it's like whenever I see people who I like worked on with stuff in the past for any productions, I like see them I'm like, "What's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> How you been?" I'm like so pumped. I get so excited to see people. <laughs> So there's a bunch of people I, I'd seen and like the photographer, the main photographer of the event, I've, I've known for a long time. He's so sweet. They're all, uh, the whole team is great. Um, And so it's so, it's so cool. I feel like, all right. So I asked them, I'm like, hey, how's this going? How are we doing this? Because if you do, if you might've seen during the uh, pre-show, I should probably bring up the, uh, the red carpet thing. Streamer awards, red carpet. Let me see if I can show you what the setup looked like. Um. Let me have a look. Privates. Okay, uh, that's me. That's me. Don't talk about me. Um. Yeah, so... Let me see. I should probably... Theater mode? No. Why is this crop like this? That's control F. Let me... Okay, let's, let's, let's get this done. Sw like, cool. Let's do this very nicely. That it doesn't look like an ass. But I want to make sure that, like... You guys can see me. This is edited. This is edited. I thought this was just a clip. Um, I don't know. I don't think this is edited, right? The suit. All right, it's a custom suit, chat. All right, it's a custom. It's censored. Oh, <laughs> is it really? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, but it's nice because all the things are timestamped nicely. Um. So we can just go through them all. Like we can skip the parts that I don't. Because I don't want to go. I feel like I'm not qualified to talk on the other hosts. Um, but let's go to the VOD channel anyway. Um, uh, let's go to the uh, QD streamer awards. Is, it, is the full VOD on? It is on. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is perfect. Okay, yeah, this is great. This is exact. Wow. Okay, so this is great. Um, yeah, so I kind of rocked up. I don't actually know. You might, you might have like seen me walking around actually. Because they're getting this all set up. Oh, you can actually see it getting actually fully set up. Wait, that's so cool. Oh, wow, this is neat. Look at this. What the heck? Oh, yeah, that's like the, wait, what bar is that? I don't even know what bar that is. Oh, and then you can see the streamers coming in. Oh. This the, the amazing photographer is there as well. All right. Okay, and then people can vote on the cameras. Oh, that's so neat. And people start rocking up. You guys could change the camera. That's sick. Oh, Pom Pom's there. Pom Pom jump scare. Right, 215.59. I'm going to remember that because I can't get a better angle. Okay, so, so, okay. so I must have been here. I think I was actually... I must have came here right around this, actually. Um, because I'm I got to talk to March 7th and Pom Pom. 
Yeah, that's me. Okay, there I am. <laughs> yeah. So I, ro I rocked, the call time was 2.30 and I rocked up first. Punctual as ever. I was also pumped. And I also like to get there a little early. Any production stuff, they tell me 2.30. They're normally being a little generous. They normally, they normally mean like three. But I like to get there like even earlier than what they say. Just because I, like I like to talk to everyone. I like to get to know who's going to be working with me. Um, just so I know I have like good like uh, rapport with whoever I'm working with directly that day. Uh, Cause I think that really helps. I think that just helps a lot. It makes things go smoother. Especially if I can ask them some questions. Uh, I like to like make sure I'm prepared, you know? So um, I got there a little early and uh, Pom Pom and March 7th for that. And who I actually had met before because I, I did the, uh, the Genshin, uh, not Genshin, Honkai, the Honkai, uh, Honkai booth at AX. And it was the exact same March 7th cosplayer. And I'm pretty sure it was the same person in the suit. So I'd actually, I was like, yo, what's up? Uh, so it was fun. So I rocked up and I'm talking to them. I'm like, hey, so which one, which station is mine? Like this one, two, three. And they go, oh, well, you can just pick whichever one you want. And I was like, okay. Um, well, I think that the reason I just, I, I was first, so I picked. <laughs> the reason I decided this one is because there's way more room on the side here to queue people um, and to like have people waiting. And this one didn't really have any room here or here. And that, and that was because I really wanted to be able to ask the streamers questions uh, before I interviewed them, right? So if if I'm not familiar with someone, that's okay, because the best person to ask about someone is themselves. I can be like, I'm like, what do you, you know, hey, uh, what, what kind of questions do you have to ask? What do you stream if I don't know them? Uh, you know, what are you nominated for or whatever? Like, not who are you, but like, what's your favorite contents? I, the, the thing I ask everyone, I'm like, do you want me to bring up anything? Do you want me to ask someone any questions? Do you want me to, is there something you want to promote? You know, cause I'm like, I'm like, I told, I told them like, this is probably going to be five minutes tops where you're going to be on camera and you get to say whatever you want to as many people as possible. So if you want to promote anything or tell people about like sell yourself, do it, man. And whatever you need, I got you. Like, I'll help you out with it. That's my job. I'm not here to, to sell myself. I'm here to promote you. Uh, so I mean, I'm trying to put people at ease. I'm like, don't worry. I'm, I, I, if people were nervous, I tell them like, man, if, if you are nervous at all, don't worry. I got it. Like you, if there's any, even like a second of silence hesitation, I'll jump right in there. I'll hand you, I'll put the net in front of you. You slam dunk it. So that's why I chose that area. Cause I really wanted to have that like space where people could queue up. I could see who's next. I could talk to them. Uh, and so I asked them, uh, cause I didn't know as well, cause last year, Right before I left for Japan, I watched Squeaks doing the red carpet. Because I thought that Squeaks did a fantastic job. Um, and was kind of going for around the energy I wanted to go for. Uh, and when I was watching Squeaks do his thing, I noticed that he had an earpiece in. Um, and if you've never had an earpiece in, any reason, I'm, I'm assuming most of you haven't. Uh, it's tough. It is kind of hard to work with. Uh, it, can, it can be a little distracting. Because imagine you're having a conversation with like your parents. Uh, and someone is telling you what to say or like giving you instructions on how to talk to your parents. And they might be saying something that's really crucial for you to li listen to. And someone's like, all right, move, wrap it up, wrap it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, and it, it's also uncomfortable. I also just don't like it. Um, so yeah, it was, it was tough. Um, so I, I wasn't sure if I was going to have an earpiece in because they did last time. It was a different production company. So I asked them, the first thing I said, like, is there any a piece? Uh, and they said, no. I'm like, okay. Uh, I'm like, all right, well then how, how are we doing this? How am I gonna get queued? How am I gonna know when to start an interview? How am I gonna know when to stop an interview? Uh, any other directions or stuff that I need to say? Uh, like, uh, or like, are you just letting me do my thing? And they were like, um, yeah, we'll just let you do your thing. I'll tell you when you're gonna, I'll do like a little like hold when you're about to get to an interview. And I'm going to do this when you want to wrap it up. Uh, so, <laughs> so then that was like my cue to throw it to, to either Emily or Will. I didn't know who I was throwing it to. So I would just say, and throw it to someone else like that. Right. Uh, and we were supposed to start at like two 30, I think. And we, we ended up starting at like two, two 50 or something. Uh, and right away we were, we were <laughs> right away, 
things started to go wrong. And I just want to preface, right? Like, this is not me throwing anyone, anyone on the bus, okay? Because I don't want people to think that I'm trying to like be like, I'm fucking dead, eh? Because my job, my job as the person on camera is to be the guy who complains the least. Uh, I am the guy who is meant to just be like, whatever you guys say, I got to roll with it. Even if it's so awful, like it's, it, and it's impossible for me to do my job, I have to, I have to just be like, don't worry, I'll figure it out. The least. Well, well, cause the thing is chat, right? If, if the production is having a tough time, they, they're all freaking out. There's 10 of them talking about, they're, they're trying to get it all working. The last thing they need is me going, hey, when are you going to fix this? Hey, when, when are you going to do that? Hey, hey, what, what's up? What's the deal? Huh? What am I going on? What am I doing? You know, they already have way, way more to worry about. I just stand there and I'm like, whenever they tell me any directions, I might be like, so how's this going to work? Like, what are we doing with this? You know? So I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for them to work with me. Uh, cause we try to be professional. You know, we try to be professional, bring up child labor. <laughs> hey, that's allowed. All right. That's fair game. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, we, we're about to, they're like, all right, we don't know what's happening. It turns out people are not showing up when they're supposed to. So like, even though I had this list of people I was going to interview, uh, I realized very quickly it was not going to play out like that. <laughs> when I was supposed to interview Pirate Software, uh, which I would have, you know, I would have loved to, because uh, Thor's such a nice guy, and I, I, and I respect Thor a lot, so I really wanted to talk to Thor. And I saw that Thor was uh, on the carpet with Emily, and I was like, okay, well, I mean, like, okay, <laughs> I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous. You guys talk to Thor, okay? Uh, and uh, I was like, oh, I was supposed to interview him. That was on my list. And then I was interviewing Iron Mouse first, who I was supposed to interview, but like way later on. But everyone was given a time to be there and people just don't show up on the time they're supposed to. So it ended up just going out the window immediately. So Mouse, I, I have Mouse right away, which I'm happy with, which I'm happy for, because like I I know Mouse. It's an it's an easy interview for me. I I can ask Mouse a million and one question. I could have done an hour hour interview with Mouse. Easy. Like no clap. Like no preparation. I was like, that's great. I can, because they really wanted this show to start. They were behind and they were like, let's just get an interview going and then just keep going until we tell you to stop. <laughs> and I was like, okay, no problem. Because there was no time range that I was given for how long I was supposed to interview people. So there was no kind of like plan going into any interview. It was just, uh, uh, it was just like, let's figure it out. Let's go for it. <laughs> Your shit died twice. I felt bad. You didn't hear what I said. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, I, I, I'll play around it. So I had a list and I prepared a ton of people I was going to interview and it was kind of a shame because it kind of went out the window and I, I didn't get to interview everyone I wanted to interview or people I, I was going to interview. Uh, but it's no one's fault. Like it's just, I mean, if, if anything, it's people not showing up when they're supposed to. Um, so it's just, it's a shame. It's a shame that it plays out like that, but it's fine. Um, the only thing that's sad is that like uh, for certain people, uh, I, I had, because uh, some people I knew really well, like Rob, and mouse and i was like I'm, I'm gonna fucking do it but some people i didn't know very well um but i researched really really intently because i know that people were going to be very excited to see them um quackity i, I already knew a lot about quackity because i used to watch his videos way way back um and salbit i was supposed to interview and i prepared a lot of i'd prepared a lot for salbit <laughs> and i blessed salbit uh i i'd even like studied up on the game he was working on i'd i learned the 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 portuguese pronunciation for the game um, or I think, it, yeah, I hope it was Portuguese. Yeah, it's Portuguese. I had learned like all the stuff about it and I was going to ask him about it because I knew that his, his, his viewership was, there was so many of them. Uh, and I really wanted them to feel like, oh, they, they didn't do their research. These, these, these gringos didn't give a fuck about the, the international community. I wanted to make sure that they felt like, hey, that we fucking care, you know? Yeah. It was like uh, Enigma du Miedo, right? I, uh, and I think I'm not pronouncing it great, right? But I had it ready. I was going to ask him all about it. And I was going to, because, you know, I know that he loves his games. And I thought it was going to be great. You know, I really wanted to, because I think that, uh, <laughs> he said the G word. Is that a bad word to say? I always, whenever I interact with Salvit, they're like, ah, the gringos are out of the game. <laughs> so I, I, I wanted to have a good time. Uh, I wanted them to have a great time. I wanted them to feel like, you know, they were, they were, you know, represented. Because I, dude, I know how it is. Even though I speak fucking English, I know how it is to feel like because you're not American, you get shafted. Uh, so I, I prepared a bunch. And so Salvit had it, uh, we'll get into that in a little bit, but like 
<laughs> uh, he, he came out. <laughs> I think I just finished an interview with someone and I was waiting for my next interview and I was drinking some water and I was like, <clears throat> you know, getting prepped. And Salvate walks over to me and I think someone, someone, I, th their fans are nuts. <laughs> Someone had seen from like this angle or something like so like it was an angle here where someone had seen like very like a blurred Salbit with me talking and the screenshot me like oh my god Tubbo Salbit and Connor are all talking to each other and tweeted it out <laughs> and um Salbit came up to me and he was like hey man can you interview me <laughs> and I was like oh shit yeah, I just saw you got interviewed with Will right he's like yeah but I I'd really love for you to interview me and I was like, I was like, that's so fucking nice, man. Uh, and I was like, dude, uh, all right, let me ask. Let me see if I can do it. Let me see if I can get this happen. So I'm asking around the production. I'm like, hey, man, can I interview? Can I interview Salbit? I think it'd be really good. I, I, I got some good questions lined up. And they were like, no, we're already way too far behind. We got to keep moving. And I was like, ah, OK, sure. Uh, and the same thing happened with like Pokimane. Like, I think Pokimane turned up like right near the end. And I had asked. Pokemon goes, can I have an interview? And I was like, yeah, of course. Let me let me let me just arrange it real quick. Because I think Will or Emily was doing the last interview or one of the last interviews. Uh, and they were like, no, we can't. We have to get the show started. Because I think they were already like a little behind. That's just how it is, you know. It's a shame. Um It's how it goes. It's how it goes. Uh so yeah, I, I started with Iron Mouse. And that was a fun interview. The third annual streamer I didn't realize it was cut off. I didn't like look, I, it was kind of cut off a little bit. Well, me. Welcome to the third oh, annual Streamer Awards. I'm Connor and I'm one of the hosts, where today we're going to be interviewing some of these streamers, some of them you know, some of them you don't know, but we're going to find out more oh. about them and uh, get to know some of them better. And first of all, we have a great interview with one of the biggest VTubers around right now, Iron Mouse. It was tough. I, I, I'd kind of been told that I was opening the show. Um, I, I was told I was opening the show like an hour before, and I was like, that's a lot of pressure. So I kind of in my head, I was like, what am I doing here? Uh, and I think I, I think I did a good job there. I think that was pretty good. Um, and if he was Mouse, great. Come on in, come on in. I don't know why Obviously I clapped. Obviously I know I Mouse know. very well. How you doing, Mouse? Good, how are you doing? <laughs> I put the mic at the wrong place. I should have put on the speaker. Good, good. Are you excited to be here at the Stream Awards today? Yeah. Um, I quickly wow. correct, nice. Like crazy. Can you see anything in this this setup, or is it are you blind? Of course, of course, I can see. I see everything. What are you talking about? Okay, well, you know, if people don't know you. They won't. They might know that you are no stranger to winning awards. You've won many awards this year. You won Content Creator of the Year at the Gamer Awards. Congratulations. Uh, the Gamer Awards. Fuck. <laughs> Game Awards. Are you excited for your nominations today? Uh, I'm. I'm very honored, and I'm very excited. But mostly just honored to even be like nominated. You know. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's an honor. Are you excited to be here and see all the other streamers today as well? Yeah, it's really nice to see people face to face, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's been, uh, so nice and saying hi. And it's just it's, it's great. We got people in oh. their house. Ooh. Oh, I was so rusty. I was so rusty. I'm sorry, Mouse. I didn't do a good job. I also had like two seconds to think of questions to Mouse. I think I could have done a better job if I had more time, but it's fine. Streamers typically don't leave their house, so it's a it's a it's a pretty impressive milestone. Now, uh, you this year broke the record for most concurrent subs of any female uh, streamer on Twitch, if that, I'm not mistaken. Yeah. How many how many subs did you have again? Uh, I I don't know. I don't keep count. What? It was over two hundred thousand subscribers. Uh, obviously, if you haven't watched Iron Mouse, I'll I'll show. Iron Mouse is a great singer and VTuber. So yeah. Anyway, but obviously, you know, this year is an exciting year for you. Do you have any big plans on the horizon? Oh yeah yeah yeah. I do I do. Uh, I have a th I have a th coming mm -hmm. up really soon. A uh, uh, what? Sorry. I have a three D concert coming up on Ooh, February twenty ninth. How much oh. And for people who might not be uh, so in tune with VTubers, what does a 3D concert entail? That's a smooth well, question. Well, um, it's going to be me and my friends and my special demon buddy, Booby. We're going to be dancing and singing and, uh, you know, just having a good time. Okay. Uh, you know, as a successful content creator yourself, do you have any pieces of advice that you maybe you could bestow upon <laughs> streamers or people who want to get into streaming? This is where most of stuff died. The video died. Why? Why? What happened? Did it? Mean, <laughs> oh, hello, no, are you of course there? it died right there. It's so sad. I don't think it died oh, no. at all once during the event. 
but died right there. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> that was the first interview. Oh, I, I am talking to you. Can you can you hear me now or no? Like, well, I, you wouldn't be able to hear me if I. <laughs> Gun run. Do you want to fix this? <laughs> okay, you're back. Fix, fix this. You're back. Yeah, I died. All right. No. Okay. <laughs> I was just asking if you had any pieces of advice for content creators who want to get into making content, you know, since you've been such a pioneer in the field. Mm, you, well, I mean, my biggest and best advice that I could give somebody mm -hmm. is just do it and stream already. Get your ass on the stream. What fantastic advice. I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, well, thank you so much, man. And this whole time, right? Like, I'm looking, you'll see me do this a lot, I think. Um, I'm looking at the person. And, I, and like instinctively, I have like a, an internal clock going. And when I get to like around the two minute mark, I'm waiting to see like this signal from them, right? Because that's that's my signal to like wrap up the last question. And sometimes that happened as I was asking the last question. So, so if I'd have seen it like a second earlier, I could have stopped and been like, well, thank you so much and passed on to someone else. But sometimes I would see it like that. So I think around this point is when I... You, you might see my face turn to the camera, like near the camera. That's because there's a guy like right behind the camera doing this coming up here and uh, being a part of the interview. We appreciate it. And uh, good luck on the awards today. Nominated for VTuber of the Year. Oh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it, it's very kind. Uh, have, enjoy the awards. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, bye. Why didn't I give the mic back there? You know what I mean? Like I should just give the mic back. Hello everyone, I'm extra. Ah, yeah, dude, this must've been different live actually. This was definitely different live. Cause I, I remember there was like, a, they told me that I need to give them more time to throw it back. Yeah. Hello, are you there? Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> I can't hear you if you're talking to me. Oh, I, I am talking to you. Can, you. can you hear me now or no? No. Like, well, why, well, you'd be able to hear me if I... <laughs> so much. Uh, thank you to Iron Mouse for showing up. We appreciate the interview. Uh, always great to see her. And obviously, if you haven't seen her stuff, go check it out. It's amazing. Fantastic singing. Uh, thank you for that. Oh, do we have it back? Are we... <laughs> wow, my stall was so uh, solid maybe there. Maybe for now. I stalled so good. We're fine. <laughs> okay, wait, are we back? The, the tech is so new. Okay, you're back, you're back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, okay. I would... All right. Uh, well, uh, Let me get... Okay. All right. What a fantastic VTuber, hey? Oh my gosh. Our next interview. <laughs> I, did, I, this is when I didn't realize. They never... I was never really told, like, the signal to give to end. So I kind of thought they were just going to find a spot and like go. So the very first one, I kind of hung too long on the end of the interview and didn't do anything. Um, All right. Oof. Oh, the ads? Fuck. All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna yeah, throw oh it my off. God, it's so awkward. I didn't know I was still live. Off right now to somebody else. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad. Oh! oh! Yeah, I got better. Yeah, I did. Because then immediately when this panned, the guy goes to me and he goes, hey, you just got to give us a little bit more time when you're throwing it to someone else. And I was like, ah, okay. Was that, in that last second there, I actually didn't realize I was still on camera. I thought they'd swapped it. Because there's two people ready to go. I thought they would just be like, boop, when they're ready. You know what I mean? But no. And the, the at t thing kept falling. It did. Yeah, I'll tell you about that. All right, chat. There's an ad playing right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go get a coffee real quick and we'll continue talking about it. I'll give you all the all the fun goss. I'll tell you all about it, chat. Uh, so let me go and get let me go and get a let me go and get a coffee real quick. I need another one. Um, two seconds. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I got my coffee. This. All right. All right, all right, all right. What's up? What's up? What's up? So, um, yeah, the first interview was a little rocky, and I think right after that is where I started to feel myself. I started to get into it. I started to have a lot of fun. Um, and also the day before, <laughs> the day before, right? Kitty comes up to me. She goes, "You got to do this ad read for me," and I was like, "Of course, like whatever." I, I, I actually love doing. <laughs> I actually love doing ad reads. Especially for other people. I love doing ad reads for other people because uh, it's like, as a streamer, it's hard to sell yourself, but I will go to, I will fucking shill for my friends. 100%. Uh, 
I will sell my friends so hard and I, and I will help them get money. I, I'm not a... <laughs> I love doing that. And so when she was like, uh, when Kitty came out to me, she was like, you gotta, you gotta interview Pom Pom. I was like, yes, let's go. And they're like, but we have a script. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> so I found out like, um, I, I found out that, uh, I had so the script like, uh, like the day before. I was like, do you want me to memorize it? Or do you, is it okay if I just like run off like the cards? And he was like, no, no, it's fine. You just run off the cards. I was like, okay, cool. So I got to interview Pom Pom and I was like, hold on. <laughs> They've written this for me. Like this is written to like, it, it, it mentions Peak and Gaunt. <laughs> like, uh, so this is how, how it went. Is this Pom Pom? It looks like we have Pom Pom and March 7th today. Nice to have you guys. <laughs> oh my God. I, 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 does Pom Pom talk at all or? Pompon is really shy with strangers. I'm so sorry. Today I'm their translator. Oh, okay. You're going to translate for Pom Pom. Okay, well, uh, Pom Pom, it's me, Peek, you know? Peek, uh, I'm, an, uh, I'm an NPC in Honkai Star Rail. I actually voice in the. Get you don't. No? Who? It's, it's fine. It's fine. I'll just carry on. I mean, uh, I voice in Honkai Star Rail. It's no big deal. But I've heard that there is a new update <laughs> coming out of that's right. Or oh, it's already out. Yeah, that's why we're here today. We're here to celebrate the latest two point. They, 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 that was their gag, by the way. They wanted a who me. <laughs> they wanted a who me. So they, they, who, they, they set up the who. <laughs> they, Honkai Star Rail, like, I, I didn't, I didn't even get paid. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so it's fine though. I, I like, I, it was a really good bit. I really enjoyed it actually. Update for Honkai Star Rail featuring the new World Panacone. Ooh, okay, fantastic. I, I, I have to ask, um, Pom Pom, who's your favorite streamer? And uh, you know, if it's me, it's fine. Well, gone, maybe? It's me, no? Pom Pom, who's your favorite streamer? <laughs> Okay, well, it looks like Pom Pom doesn't want to tell me who his favorite streamer is. So, guys, <laughs> uh, Honkai Star Rail's 2.0 update is currently available and live, so go check it out. And thank you, Pom Pom and March 7th, for coming here today to the Stream Rewards. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. I, I, you, that's how, fuck, man. I was in Japan mode. <laughs> I bowed. <laughs> I bowed to Pom Pom. Remember this, Pom Pom. Say bye, Pom Pom. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Will Neff. I was also supposed to interview Dan Clancy, which didn't end up happening. Which is, again, I don't, I don't give a fuck. It's fine. Um, <laughs> the habit? Yeah, I did. Especially because it's a, like a, I think it's just a business thing in my head. And my head is like, it's business. Be, be polite, be polite, be polite. Uh, and <laughs> well, I want, I'm actually curious what to see what he asked. That Live thing, at the Streamer Awards. And I'm here with the big boss himself, DJ Dan oh, Clancy. Dan, you really dressed up. God, his hair is immaculate. I'm fine. He's... He's like the poster boy for Rogaine, Jesus. For the occasion, is that Arteryx? Uh, yes, it is their will, and I made sure I got one of my nicest Arteryx for the show. Okay, now you... It's such CEO behavior. Every CEO wears Arcteryx or Patagonia. <laughs> you hinted at a possible outfit change later. That is right. This is not what I'll be wearing tonight. I'm coming through. My outfit is in the green room right now, Will. Excellent, excellent. And any predictions on winners tonight or anyone you want to win? I know you're the boss, so you can't really say. Well, Will, I'm trying to remember. I believe you are nominated. Yes. And in fact, I believe I was streaming with Caroline when I voted for you, Will. Okay? <laughs> so I'm looking for you to win, Will. I am the Bob Odenkirk of Twitch. I will not win the award tonight. That is a guarantee. But Dan, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. I'll let you go circulate, and I'll throw it back to you guys. Hello, everyone. I okay. So, so one thing to note is that, like, I actually, I can kind of see who they're interviewing. But the, the lights that I have on me, um, um, actually, wait, I should... This one I should, uh, what was it like? Oh, where is it? Those lights are really bright. So I basically can't, I kind of can't see anything outside of my, uh, like area. It's literally like a flashbang in my eyes. It, 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 it seems crazy to say, but yeah, I, I, I kind of, I cannot see anything. Like if someone walks past, I can't see who it is. Um, I can only barely see the camera guy and that's because his hand is going over the camera like past the lights and doing like the rapid upside, you know So that's the only thing I can really see 
And I also have no idea when I'm coming back on because it's up to all the individual hosts um, to kind of time their own interviews. So the, the only thing I can kind of see uh, and the, the only rough indication I have of if someone is interviewing someone or if they're not is that, uh, so obviously this blocks, this is up my head, right? So my head's like up here or something. So I can't see uh, anyone's like uh, torso. I can kind of only see their like waist and below, but I can see if Will has one person with him or not. And if he does, that means he's ready for another interview, right? And same with Emily over here. So I basically am, when I'm interviewing someone, I'm looking at the legs to see if, so, if there's another pair of legs, because that means I'm probably going to get the signal to wrap it up soon, right? So I'm kind of bound, I'm like juggling all of this stuff. Um, anyway, so let's continue on. Um, and then, and then something interesting <laughs> started happening. I think this is what, this is like, yeah. So I, I think, because we weren't told how long to interview, <laughs> I think I, I ended up having to stall a bit more than the other guys. <laughs> Because it would get thrown to me, and then they wouldn't have anyone else to interview. And so I would just be stalling and stalling and stalling. Um, and uh, and then when, I, when I went, and Will, Will Neff, Will Neff, who I, I love so much, he comes up to me halfway through, and he goes, he goes, Connor, <laughs> he, goes, he goes, Connor, man, yeah, they, I, these interviews are awesome. It's so easy. I, I'm, I'm running through them. And I was like, oh. That's why I'm stalling so much. I'm like, slow down, Will. <laughs> and then, I, then the next day I looked back and I saw that I had like a, look at this Anna interview I have here. You guys can't see it, but it's like a a three, four minute interview nearly. And I, so Will was like 50 seconds with Dan Clancy. I'm like, I, Will, slow down. <laughs> but I get it. It's hard. It's hard because when you feel like there's this instinctual thing when you're interviewing someone. It's so hard to do that, not not do this. Uh, and I think I think Will is just such a fucking natural. When Will, I think when Will was like, I'd have asked the question. That's a good beat to end on. I'm throwing it back. And in an ideal world, there would have always been like someone for us to throw it back to. But because people were turning up late, there just wasn't. Um, so in no way is it like Will's fault. Uh, I'm not like, blaming him or anything like that. I just we all had our own different pace, and we were not given much direction on how to do, conduct the interviews. But it just so happened that I ended up having to stall a lot, which is fine, because I'm also totally okay with doing that. I like yapping. I feel like I'm comfortable interviewing people, especially if I know them. Uh, it's it's not tough for me. So I think it was fine. It worked out in the end. Um, And that's even why later on you'll see that we started interviewing each other. <laughs> so I, I ended up interviewing... Uh, Anna, I think. Welcome back. Uh, I'm here with Anna Kramling. And that Very was great, because Anna, I, I've, I've met a, a bunch. I know Anna. And we had quite a long Alter interview. player and streamer. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I'm really happy to be here. Yeah, and you're nominated for best chess streamer, I assume, right? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's no, no, I do. I just play chess. I couldn't be nominated in anything else. And obviously, you've had a fantastic year. I've been seeing your YouTube videos nonstop, which means you must be doing something, right? Is there a strategy that you've had in mind this year with YouTube? Mm. Um, just to do a lot of IRL chess. I think people love seeing not just chess as the game, but seeing people interacting through chess and me meeting different people. So it kind mm -hmm. of becomes like a podcast at the same time as I'm playing chess. So that's that's what I've been doing. I mean, chess has this like inherent social aspect to it that I think a lot of people don't appreciate, especially when you're <laughs> raging online and uh, losing a lot as well. I would never rage. I would I'm never. Rage. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. I rage a lot. We all rage. If you don't rage, you don't care enough. <laughs> that's true. That's true. And I know that you are a very strong chess player. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your official title is it i'm a wfm so woman feeder master and you're still not the best chess player in your household if i'm <laughs> to understand that correctly thank you connor for reminding me of that i did ask her if it was okay for me to say that i didn't just bring that out i did ask her before i was like is it okay if i bring up if i kind of like dig on you for being worse than your parents and she was like yeah it's fine i was like cool but i think it's okay to say jokes like that i think sometimes it's like you just i i also like i know i i've met anna a bunch and she's very sweet um and I felt like she would be okay if I did it without telling her. But I was like, I just want to make sure. I just want to make sense. I just want to like make sure. Uh, I should play her in chess. She would kill me. And so like, I'm just gonna skip a little bit forward. I think there was a, no, oh, actually I won't. No, I am not. I will never be better. You should do 1.25. My parents are both grandmasters. What? what What was the average conversation like growing up? <laughs> Hi, mom. Uh, sorry to just pause again. Uh, one thing I kept doing as well is that, uh, I think when you interview people and you, you, you're on the spotlight, uh, it's very easy to get nervous, as I was in like the, the first interview. Uh, 
I think the best way to conduct interviews is have the next question ready or have something. Don't think about it. Don't overthink if the question's good or not. That's not important. Just have one question. And the moment they start talking back to you after you already have this one banked, listen to what they're saying. And if they're saying something that is interesting or you can work with, um, or you think it's there's something you can build upon it, that's when you want to like take what they just said and like use it for the next question. If there's a natural kind of um natural kind of uh like bridge to build. Because a lot of people are very bad at explaining themselves. Cause we were also like um and and, and that Anna wasn't, but uh sometimes people don't realize how interesting they are and they don't realize what they have to say is really interesting and they won't say it. So sometimes you have to give them like the springboard. Um so yeah, that's that's why you have to really just, you know, listen, have that that easy question bank that that go to and you'll see me say this a lot. I'll be like, "Are you excited to meet? Are you going to drink? <laughs> uh, uh, is anyone going to start drum with? What piece of advice do you have?" Like really basic questions that give me 30 seconds. They buy me some time to think of something else. But I'm going to listen to them as much as I can to get the questions to make it feel like the interview is relevant and that we're we're putting on a good show. Um, so this happened in school. Oh, Anna, do you know, like, if I would rook a eight in this position, Anna answered this question so like, well. This is a great I would response by Anna. To win. It was very so fun. What happens if I would have gone knight up six? Yeah. And very normal upbringing then, I guess. Uh, and obviously, a uh, year and a half ago as well, you did the commentating for uh, Ludwig's chess boxing event in Spanish. Is that right? In Spanish. Yeah, I'm half Spanish, half Swedish. So you speak like five languages, presumably. I speak three. I speak three. Three is more than most, so I think that's pretty good. No, I'm, I'm happy. Three plus chess. Uh, is there any award other than your own that you're excited to see today? Uh, yeah, this is the point where I was like, I think I was waiting for them to give me the signal to wrap it up because I think I've been interviewing now for like, um, like nearly two minutes, and I was waiting for the. I think the average time, if you add up all the interviews, like two minutes, two minutes thirty. So I was waiting for them, and they they just weren't. And I was like, okay, now I got to start figuring out new questions. Don't you kind of speak three languages? I guess I do. I just don't feel like it's cool. <laughs> like, I, like I I could commentate in Welsh, but I never get the opportunity to do that. I feel I feel kind of sad about that. Like I think that I think in my head I've I've like uh, subconsciously made it like I've devalued my own worth in my language, uh, which is I, I think dumb. Uh, you know my Japanese is also like half. Like I can I can have I can have a conversation with someone. I'll have to ask them to sometimes repeat stuff, but I can get by with everything. So I don't feel like it's fair to count that. But I. Because I, I can't I can't fucking read. Uh but yeah. But um in Welsh I could. In Welsh I could do that. Um Ooh, I mean I'm I'm really excited to see a lot of different awards. I'm excited to see who wins, streamer of the year. I have no idea what's gonna happen there. Do you have a prediction of who might win, or is that am I allowed to ask that? I'm unbiased. I'm unbiased, maybe. <laughs> um wait, who's <laughs> You have to devalue yourself, see Dr. K. Who, who are all of them? This is one point two five by the way, chat. I think, categories. yeah, well, there, there's, a, there's like 28. There's a lot of categories. I do not remember everything in every category. Who do you want to win, Connor? The streamer of the year? Streamer I'm also biased. I, yeah, I'm also biased. I'm also very I'm, biased. I'll save it for later. I'm sure people know, yeah. Okay, you can ask me later. Yeah, okay, well, later on, ask me and we'll figure it out. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> uh, is there any streamers? That would have been a great natural end to that interview, but I didn't see the signal. <laughs> so I had to keep going. I was like, okay. I felt like that was a great natural stopping point and I had to keep going. I thought, I thought, I was just telling people about how I was supposed to interview you. I was prepared to ask about your sanctuary and everything. I didn't get to. I'm so sad about that. I'm just telling them the, um, I'm just giving them all the rundown of how the interviews went. Is that you want to try and get into chess this year? Is there like a dream, a streamer? Because I've cut to slate. Well, the one thing we can't do is cut to a slate. We don't, the show has started. We cannot cut to a nothing. So if, if, uh, if, if it was like, you know, if it had to be me, just yapping for 10 minutes to the camera, I think that would have been the preferred option, um, which I would have been op okay to do. I'm prepared to do that. Yeah, your, your paper even said to me, I know, I, I'm so sad, man, I'm so sad. I, I was ready to ask you about Snail's house, the ferrets, you know, yeah, you'll come up and everything, and it was, it was gonna be a lot of fun, but anyway. I digress. One, this year, an explosive chess, uh, kind of getting into it, and kind of a meteoric rise in rating. Is there a stream? And then, like, I had this, I, had, I was like, fuck yeah, I just remember Tyler Wong got into chess, right? Last second, let's You'd go. I'd love to see have a similar rise. Ooh, Tyler Wong has had an amazing that was, rise. That was now, a which banger question. So I pulled out of my noggin. Especially because he played the cow opening, which I am very, very. Uh, I'm, 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 and Anna also gave, Anna was so good. Anna gave amazing questions for me to work with. Um, 
That was fantastic. Complicated to shout for the rescue. Dude, I I think, a, I, I, you know, um, I, I don't think enough streamers do enough charity stuff. I think, sadly, there's almost been like a like a decline of like charitable events. And people who put a lot of their, their effort into to good causes. So I think we really have to reward it. And I think uh, Cutie doing that is the right thing. And Cutie, 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 uh, shouting that out is, is good. I think that's, that we need more of that. We need to, we need to encourage each other more as streamers to do more charitable events. Uh, all right. Anyway. I never thought this would happen, but totally you know, he loves it. it. When you're bilingual, it's hard to speak both languages if you're not given the opportunity. Mm. Ever since moving to Australia, my French of has course. gotten worse. Every time I see my dad in France, he says I have an English accent <laughs> when I speak French. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. I, they tell me off for having a, a, a posh sounding accent when I go home to Wales. Um, well, they all make fun of me. He, he is the best cow player in the world, and I never thought when I when I started thinking about the cow opening that you know we would have that sort of thing. Uh, but I think maybe like a few more female streamers, I think that'd be fun. Maybe Pokemon could get back into chess. Maybe we could mm. get Valkyrie into chess. Maybe we could get I don't know. I think just uh, yeah. There needs to be some obsessive compulsiveness. To also, having to control the mic is kind of a, a a discipline that I need to get better at. It's so hard because I don't I don't want downtime. Like I don't because uh, even though like a second is like not a big deal. I think sometimes it can like freak you out. It can get in your head, and also it can it can it can get in the uh, the uh, the the person I'm interviewing, get in their head, right? Because I I don't want them to feel like it's awkward. And so part of that is making sure it's a natural conversation. And in the natural conversation, I would I would I would no I boom 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 boom. Um, did you mention laughing the interviews? However, I do think the mic itself also is a good tool. Um, it's it's this subconscious like thing that is like an arbiter of when to speak. It's like hey. If you speak and I hand it to you, that's like my sign of saying you talk. If I take it back, that's me saying I talk, you know, and, and, and it's all it's all like discipline. You have to like and I'm still trying to get a lot better at this It's all this stuff. I really want to improve at um, and getting to like, you know, I, I think I got better as the event goes along. But with the mouse one, you can see me going back and forth a lot because I'm really struggling to find the pace here. And I think also that's a that's a that's a challenge with with uh, the iPad because mouse can't see me doing that. Whereas the the interviewee can see me doing that, they can see me bringing it back and forth. To climb chess rating, I think it's very hard. Uh, if, if you had one last piece of advice you give people who want to get better at chess, what would you say? <laughs> Just and I think this is when I got the wrapping up signal, if I remember correctly. So I think, uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Throw it back to somebody else for some interviews. So off to you guys. <laughs> and I have no idea who I'm throwing it to. <laughs> I'm here with Virtual. Virtual, tell me about that suit. I was also supposed to interview Virtual, but I think he turned up late. <laughs> You can't see anything? Yeah, exactly. It's, it is. She says she's having a lapel mic for the floor host. Red carpet interview so that there's no need to share mic. Yeah, I think, I, I, I also think that as, um, uh, I think a lapel mics are great, but I also think that like having a mic as well is great for the host sometimes because, um, it lets you do something with your hands. <laughs> like, it's hard to like not think, where, where do I put these fucking things? Where do, where do they go? Sexy. Thank you so much, Will. Yeah, I finally here for the Streamer Awards. I'm wearing a brown suit today, but to be honest, Will, I am most happy with my shoes. Yeah, can we? I, I, can get a pen on that. I don't know if we can see. All right, sorry. I'm, I'm just gonna skip through because I feel like I can't give good insight. That was an ad. Okay, and then uh, <laughs> I remember interviewing Fanny, and Fanny was really nice, but I think Fanny was a little nervous. Because you know, cause, like everybody would just want Because I asked Fanny, I was like, "Hey, what do you want me to ask you about?" She's like. Not that much. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. Because <laughs> I, I didn't really know Fandy uh, th that well. You know, it's my first time meeting her. So I was like, what do you want me like, And I knew that she played World of Warcraft, Valorant, some other stuff. And I was like, what do you want me to ask you about? She's like, no, not that much. I was like, no, Fandy, give me something to work with. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so I, you know, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to ask questions. And it was, uh, I, didn't, I just didn't know Fandy at all. Um, I know she plays MMOs. So I think I asked a bunch about World of Warcraft. And I think it went pretty good. Yeah, you know? A lot easier when everyone's just. Austin is becoming a, a big streamer hub. Um, I mean, it's just a lot easier when everyone's just. I know she lives in Austin as well. There, I, you know? I know. She's part of that crowd. No state income tax. It's great. It's great. <laughs> uh, and you've been doing a lot of variety content. You've done a lot of World of Warcraft. Uh, is there a game that you're leaning towards right now? Uh, nope. Just WoW. <laughs> just WoW. <laughs> just WoW. Yeah. What do you What do you think keeps WoW so interesting after all of these years? That is a good question. Yeah, like there's no people. Like, people who think WoW is the most boring are WoW players. I've I've learned this now. 
So trying to get a WoW person to talk about WoW passionately is impossible. Um, they just don't. They just they're just like, bro. I'm I'm just I clock in and out. You know. I, I... <laughs> It's, it's, it, and so I realized that, like, actually, that might have not been a great angle to go for, but I didn't really have much else to go for. Um, I'll, I'll just skip this one because I, I don't think I, I did anything particularly great in this one. And I'm just trying to, oh, dude, the Robin of you. Uh, when I, when Cutie asked me if there's anyone in particular I wanted to interview, I was like, obviously, Mouse and Rob. I really wanted to interview Rob. Um, because I knew that Rob was going to come, uh, and I was really pumped for it. And I really wanted to make sure Rob got a good interview. You know, because, uh, you know, Rob's coming all the way from Japan too. And I want to make sure that he at least got a solid interview and that he, it'd be fun, fun fucking time. Welcome he back. I'm here with Rob. Rob, I always say Rob DC, Rob CD. I, I mess it up every time. I've known you. Except for that. We've literally that been on ski trips together. I'm sorry. God, is who gave you a microphone, I, mate? I, I, <laughs> he did so good there. I knew it. And the moment I saw your face, I forgot it. But of course, you are a very popular IRL streamer. You know Tokyo better than anyone. Oh, God. That's right. We live in Tokyo and I, I do do IRL there. It's a lot of fun. Uh, why, do you, why do you have two glasses? And I can smell yeah. it. You can smell it's it. Like it's this is very high class, expensive tequila. We're going to shoot. Oh, we're going to shoot. We? Yeah. Right. Unless you want to do both. This is, I didn't I'll drink do one, at all, I'll do one, I'll do one. all right, there you until go. this moment. Right, this is my first drink of the night. Right. I should keep a drink tally, actually. I can tell you guys how much I drank that night, actually. It was a lot. It was a, all right, one shot. One shot of tequila. All right, cool. Go down my face. Oh. I think it was a great right. moment, though. Stop. You know, I think, I think, um, I looked back because I want, I knew the chat would be like cringe, cringe, cringe throughout most of it. Uh, like the overall chat because they just don't know me. They don't know who I'm interviewing a lot of the time. And they're like, where's, where's Kai? Where's Jinxie? Et cetera. And it's fine. It's whatever. It's, it's how it wasn't. It wasn't? Oh, I don't know how it was. I, I literally don't know. Um, I think a lot of people, um, that was good. I actually don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know how the overall chat was. Um, I have no idea. I just, I went into it assuming they thought I was going to be cringe. So whenever I got a moment to like, like give them a fun moment, I went for it. Uh, they love me. Oh, that's so kind of them. That's very nice. Um, and I, I <laughs> it was a strange mix. Yeah. I was in Peach Chat. I Peach, Peach Chat must have been a great time. Uh, but yeah, YouTube chat is pretty chill. I believe, I believe. <laughs> All right. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let it play. I'll let it play. Is there a... How do you feel about your award today? You're nominated for Best IRL Streamer. I'm not going to win. No! There's a good <laughs> chance! Well, listen, I came all this way, I prepared my clapping style, okay. and uh, I'm ready to cheer. Okay. Those guys are fantastic, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's some tough competition. Yeah. Obviously, you no, know, doing IRL, it's a lot harder than, you know, just streaming on OBS. There's a lot of tech mm -hmm. involved. You know, how do you yeah, I think give me advice great, for I think anyone to get question. into IRL? Because it is a really hard field to get into. Absolutely, don't do it. Oh, okay. Uh, and, that was a, that, <laughs> and that, that honestly... Stress, it's a lot of pain, and it is where that. Honestly, that's the best answer. I think that's true. You just shouldn't do IRL. I think it's the hardest fucking streaming thing to do. And it requires you to either be as dedicated as Rob or as sociopathic as some other people. So I think that like, it's just a bad time. Uh, and I think Rob's answer was great. And I think he backpedals. See, I think he realized he didn't want to look like a like an asshole, but I don't think it did. I think it was the right, I think it was good. There's random idiots. There's a lot of people ruining like me? it no. recently. I'm not. Japan's not had a good time with that lately, but we're managing, we're managing. Yeah, yeah, no, but it's not fun. If you if you are interested, just, just you know, get your phone and go. I don't think you should worry about the tech too much. It's a rabbit hole, so just have fun. See if you like. Yeah, nowadays the technology's gotten so good that you can just do it from your phone. There's no excuse not to do it. That's right, that's right. So. Are you going to be doing any fun streams while you're in LA? Because typically, you know, it's only Tokyo we see you, but what about LA? No, it, LA's been pretty good. I went up to the observatory, that was fun. I'm a little bit worried because it's like, I feel like LA's a bit like Minecraft, you know? Like all the zombies come out at night time. <laughs> that was right? such a good, so it is a little scary. <laughs> Not like Japan. It is. You're like, oh, there's no guns in the venue. We were having those. Okay. But anyway, yeah. thank you so much for joining me. Best of luck on the awards and thank you for the show. I was actually kind of sad. I didn't get to stall on Rob. Um, they told me to wrap it up, and I was like, oh, man. If I could have stalled on anyone, I would have loved to have stalled on Rob. Um, that would have been so good because I, I would have loved to have kept talking to Rob. Um, and uh, oh fuck, what else? Uh, yeah, Rob, 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 uh, the gun joke. It's not even a joke. Why do it's so concerning that every venue in America has to say don't bring guns in <laughs> Just straight up like why are you bringing that to that? Um, but uh, anyway Rob got stolen. I, you know, I it's so tough with these things because I think that Everyone who's nominated is normally deserving. Uh, I, there are seldom Categories where I think that anyone doesn't deserve to get nominated You know and Ginny Ginny who won 
I, it's hard to argue that Ginny doesn't deserve it. Ginny, Ginny is insane. Ginny literally travels the globe non-stop, and I don't think she ever stops streaming. It's insane. Uh, and, and you know, even Rob, even Rob, when, when Rob lost, which I, you know, I was, I was rooting for Rob though. You know, I was I was rooting for Rob because um, he's my mate. Uh, but you know, Ginny, Ginny had an insane year. Ginny crushed it, and it's hard to not argue that Ginny also doesn't deserve it. So it's tough. It's and you know. Even Rob, when he didn't win, he was like, you know, she did, you know, it's, it's well deserved, to be honest. But I do want Rob to get it next year, then. <laughs> That's what I want now. I also think Rob needs to shill himself harder. Um, so he, he needs to do that. He's too, he's too, he's too modest. Uh, but it was a really fun interview. And then, uh, and then, of course, they throw it back to Emily. Uh, I actually want to see an Emily interview. God, I'm going to, I'm going to go vomit now. So thank you so much. I'm going to throw it off to someone else for another interview. Hello, everyone. Glad to be back. I am joined with the lovely so Trisha nice. Zaferti. Trisha, how are you feeling tonight? I'm, I, the one thing that shocked me is that Emily's just always like this. <laughs> I thought there's, I thought it's got to be like a little bit of it has to be for the camera. Like a tiny bit. Um, like a tiny bit has to be for the camera. And I was just like, nope. She's just always like this. Uh, very impressive. Honestly, I'm pretty nervous. So I was in Cutie's chat earlier, pressing the different camera numbers to check if there was an open bar. Oh, I think there is. Yeah, thank God, you're right. Good, yeah. Oh, what will you be drinking tonight, Georgia? Anything fun? Anything. Yes, I will. I think like a Moscow mule sounds pretty good. I was thinking like whiskey neat. Okay, Ooh, yeah, fancy. Nice. Well, Trisha, I was calm and ready. Trisha, you look amazing. You are so beautiful. The the hair, the dress is so awesome. Do you have like any inspiration behind the outfit? Um, That's a great honestly, question. it's from Tuta Matoshi, that who bag I is wore insane. last year as well. And the inspiration is, I think in the Minecraft community, there was this strawberry dress that trended for a while. And I was like, who's the designer? And I bought it from the sister. Oh, yes, the sister. Oh, <laughs> it looks awesome. You look great. And Trisha, you are nominated for the best creative arts category, correct? What's I'm your favorite stream job. that you've done the past year? Oh man, it's really tough. I What's think honestly, going is, yeah. to the Streamer Bowl, which was pretty recent, getting to play games with the NFL players was insane. Never thought that would happen for me, and I didn't think we'd get last place, but that doesn't matter. It still counts. Yeah, yeah, at least you showed up. That's really good. I did get asked to do the Streamer Bowl one time, and I told them, I don't give a fuck about it. Super Bowl. I'm sorry. I, I cannot pretend to care. Um, so yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> it wasn't this one. It was like last year, I think. Uh, I was like, I just can't. I can't. They, they were like, yeah, you get to play with American football players. I was like, I say like, dude, that's like the, like, like, I think I'd be more stoked about playing with a Greg's employee. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I can't care about American football players. Like, and that's not like a slight. I, we just don't. I'm British. You know what I mean? I just don't. Um. So I, to me, it was like, I can't. I, you know, I couldn't get invested. But anyway, that's me saying things like, whatever. Good. Question? Oh, yes, of course. Can I smell you? I'm so <laughs> Yes. Oh, oh, just eat my smell, right? Okay, yes, be honest. You smell really nice. You smell really good. Oh, thank you, Trisha. You hear that chat? I don't smell. Definitely not. Oh, uh, Every time I, I said anything nice to Emily, she she would do that. It was, it's very it's very wholesome. Nice. You smell She'd, really like, good. smile oh, like a bunch. Oh, thank you, Trisha. You hear that chat? Oh, I don't smell. Definitely <laughs> it's so not. Nice. Oh, oh, going off of that, oh, Trisha, does Gordon Ramsay smell? Yeah, like fear and intimidation and success. No, Great honestly, question. you smell like cologne. Okay, Emily's, very impressive. Emily's interview is such a good question. dichotomy to me, uh, I think. Trisha, what is your favorite season? I feel like I'm trying your to be season? super composed, really uh, clean, really cumin, like paprika. thorough. I like paprika. Seasoning uh, or season? Wait, and Emily's oh, just high oh, positivity yes, and, oh, and like oh, out, of the, out of pocket questions are fantastic. Seasoning season. Paprika is delicious and fall is also very fun. Great answer, Trisha. Thank you so much. Oh, no. Thanks, Emily. You did amazing. Bye, Trisha. Oh, that was awesome. Trisha is so beautiful. And we're going to pass it off to the next red carpet interview. To Will. I don't think it's Will. I'm joined here with... <laughs> it, was, it wasn't Will. Lud oh, God, Ludwig. Yeah, fuck me. Ludwig, wh why are you doing fuck me? I said the cat. Why are you doing It's not too late to vote for me. I will beat Connor. <laughs> we are in the same categories. We're Actually, yeah, we're the same streamed event and best variety streamer. Yeah, we're rivals today, Connor. Okay. Lovers to rivals. Friends to lovers to rivals. <laughs> back to lovers, back to friends. Uh, I have to ask. <laughs> What the fuck are those? What is that? Are those they're are, hideous. Why, they're so those? ugly. These are Crocs, Connor, Balenciaga Crocs. Crocs, good for any occasion in my mind. Why is he rising? Because so he has I just, too you much know, confidence. I want to make sure I look good. And so I, I kind of go for like a SpongeBob with his squeaky shoe fit. You remember that episode? Yeah, I know, I know. Did you get I that know. in Wales? We, 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 got, we got SpongeBob in Wales, okay? Know, we got that. We, I, I know things. Want to hit this? What, what is that? Is it a, is it a breathalyzer? Uh, no, it's a cool vape. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find the drunkest person at Streamer Awards today. 
Ah, we can expect the YouTube short in post haste. It, it will be you, Connor. Okay. It, well, it won't be me. I will not be. You don't know how many shots you took before doing the interviews. I, I, one. Only one. There's just, there's just piles of vodka here. Is there an award that you're excited for, other than your own, of course? You know what I'm not excited about? <laughs> Is our awards. Because <laughs> they're so competitive. Yeah, how do we... I, I, I came in at, like, the fodder. I'm, like, the star trooper of this award. Three years ago, it was easy, bro. There was nobody around. Now, we got Case. Queso, where did he come from? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's guys fucked yesterday. up, it's fucked yeah, up how natural it is. It was, like a, it, was, it, was, it was very entertaining. Electric gameplay, Queso. You're amazing at Fall Guys. So. Jinxie, not so much. Sorry. He's dog. You're great. I feel like no matter what Ludwig says, it, like, everyone always takes it the best way they could take it. Uh... Like, he's just so good at that. Like, I think that's a talent. Uh, he's just very good at it. I, I hate to give him credit because he's a he's a bastard for being so good at everything. But he's very good at that. Um, I feel like with my accent, if I say certain things, sometimes people can take it the wrong way. I have to really make sure um, that I, I mean it in a certain way. Especially if I'm doing kind of a dig. But he'll dig someone and you'll be like, Oh, nice. <laughs> and other things. So anyway, look, I'm just here for a good time this year. I don't have to worry about winning. Okay. Just here for the vibes. Okay. okay. okay? Well, that's good to know. <laughs> Why did you wear these? These are, these are, they're so ugly. They're so ugly. What the heck? How you, much were those? The, <laughs> okay. So the whole outfit I got from the fashion district, Peroni, my guy, 500. Peroni. <laughs> Boots are 1,000. <laughs> do streamers have too much money? The answer is yes, they do. <laughs> Uh, but thank you so much for joining me on the red carpet today. I hope you uh, have a fun time at the show. Are you going to be making any, like, stealth shorts while you're here other than the one that you're doing? I tricked my friend into winning an award. They didn't. Yeah, I'm going to try to steal as many awards as I can. I have Doug Dugs. I have a few of my own. I'm hoping to take some more today. And, and that's, that's my main goal, Connor. Have a good time. Steal awards. Thank you so much. All right, we'll throw it back to somebody else for now. Thank you so much. I look so short. That's because he's wearing giant-ass boots. Hello. Crocs paid to wear them? Yeah, they did. <laughs> this is fucking wild. I don't get paid to wear shit, chat. They pay me to stop wearing this stuff. They were like, you're, val you're devaluing our brand. <laughs> you can see me over there. Let me the fucking... What are we doing right now? And then I think there's someone queued up for an interview and I'm asking them questions. I'm like, what do you want me to ask you? Because some of the interviews... Uh, I did some interviews that didn't get shown to the live stream. Um, I can't remember which ones they were exactly, but there was a bunch that didn't go live. Um. Oh, Tubbo. Oh, Tubbo's so sweet, man. Tubbo's so nice. Bless him. I love talking to Tubbo. He's... He, he came up to me and he goes, Dude, I'm so sorry the last time we met. I, I was I was a little tipsy. And I was like, dude... Bro, I was like, I'd be annoyed if as a Brit you weren't. You know what I mean? Like, you... <laughs> come on, man. Uh, but they'll be out, I think. I think they'll go on, um... Like, the Primogen. I think the Primogen didn't go live, if I, if I remember correctly. The Primogen's fantastic. Bro, he- I, I've never seen his stuff before. My mother told me all about him, and what a fucking stand-up guy. The Primogen's a fucking goat, bro. He's so cool. His composure was off the charge. Off the charts. Uh, and I have Daily Dose. Okay, yeah. Welcome back. I'm here with Jason. If you still don't know who Jason is, Jason, why don't you tell him? Uh, hello, everyone. This is your Daily Dose Internet. It hits every time. It hits every time. Of course, very popular YouTuber who shows some of the best clips around. How do you pick such great clips for your YouTube videos? Uh, I have an amazing team of people that does amazing things, and Certain I also thing. do I, it myself. I requested him to say the thing. He was like, I'll say, it. I'll say the thing. I was like, please say the thing. Please. So, uh, we've got some exciting news coming up in uh, April or May. Something big is going to happen with Daily Dose, and uh, we'll keep you guys uh, on standby. And also, also we are going to get very... My team is going to get very into the streamer sphere. Ooh. So we're going to be working directly with streamers in the future here very soon. Very exciting stuff. Daily, Daily Dose is very confident. I, 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 he, he, he knows what he wants to say and what he wants to talk about. Even in uh, off camera, he does. He's very like confident. Uh, so it, was, it was a very easy interview. Was he's, there a he, clip he, 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 last year that you can remember to be your favorite just, clip that you've so your channels? Uh, honestly, it all, it's all like a blur. Uh, just another clip, another day. It's, it's, we gotta keep the machine moving, you know? We and gotta, you we lost a shit. Did she really? Um, <laughs> it's so yeah, funny. So whatever the team thinks is good, I, I'll have the final say, but like, they pick a lot of things out and I just have the final say. You're like, yeah, that looks, yeah, that's fine. The guy in the burger in Walmart, yeah, let's put it in. Yeah, another cat video, like, that's beautiful, let's do it. You can never have enough. But here's, you can't, I actually do have a limit, though. No more than three cat videos per video. If you go more than that, I think I think it's overdoing it. It's just like a, it turns off you, is there? Like, ah, oh, I can't watch this. It's four cats. It's not good because we want to have the best of everything, not just you know, 
So we're, we're figuring things out. Now, you have quite an iconic voice at this point. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people tell me and ask me as well, as a voice actor, they're like, I don't like the sound of my own voice. How do you, you know, how can people get over that and learn to use their voice as a tool? I thought that was a banger over? question. I was like, oh, I just came up with this. I was like, that's so fucking, that's a great question, I thought to myself. I don't know if it was, but I felt like it was. Or to use it in their content better. Um, I guess practice. Um, well, here's what I'm trying to do right now, for example. Like, I'm trying to learn something new because I'm starting up my Daily Dose of Gaming channel on YouTube. And the thing is that what I'm trying it to was? do It was? You guys are just gassing me up. I don't know if it was. If, if at the moment I came up with it, I was like, this is And so great. my team's like, hey, you sound like an AI. Can you not do that? And I'm like, I'm, I'm trying. It's all I've ever done for the past. He does like, sound like an AI. Of, of he so does like, yeah, sound yeah, like an AI there. So I'm like, like, hey, that last video you did was so good. You actually sounded like a human being. I'm like, sweet. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to he has a very TikTok a AI voice, unfortunately. The and the AI is getting too sophisticated. They're already doing our YouTuber jobs. The uh, fucking AT&T, like, they're like, fucking falling! People are accusing me of, like, making AI stuff, and I don't have AI voices yet. Like, I don't. Just for other languages. Yet. Not, but oh, shit. Just for English? No, it's still me for English. But you see it all the time, especially on, like, like on Daily Dose of Gaming and Daily Dose of Internet. I shouldn't have taken the mic away there. Should just let him finish. Bad AI voice. I'm like, it's me. <laughs> so, because what I do is I add stress to it, I go, so here I am with Connor. We're at the Streamer Awards, and we're doing something amazing here. We're talking. It is, it is a very nice people. voice to Just listen like to. <laughs> what I do is I add stress. You gotta add stress to make things more clear because I have an international audience, right, right, right. and so you have people that have English as their second I turn language. it down to get quieter. So I realize if I kind of slow things down, make things more clear, people really like it. Well, thank you so much for giving us some of your wisdom. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna have to throw it back to someone else now, but you've been great. Thank you so much. Have a good time. Let's show. I'll see you around. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'll throw it back to you. I. I, I didn't know what the hell that was. And then he messages me afterwards. He goes, dude, I'm so sorry. It was about me with my friend to mo like Mog. And I didn't, I didn't catch it. And so it was, a, it was a, it was a bet that he had with his friend that he was going to like mew, 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 or like whatever it was. And so I was like, I didn't know what it was. And then he messaged me. He goes, dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to like throw you off. I was like, dude, no, I don't give a fuck. It's fine. I was just confused. I just didn't know. I just didn't understand what it was. <laughs> like... Damn, Connor is old. I don't fucking look at this shit. I was born with a Giga Chad jawline. None of these betas on TikTok worrying about if they got a Mew or Mog. I don't give a fuck. You know, I was born this way. I don't need a Mew, chat. I don't need a Lux Max. I was born maxed out. Skill you trim, won the best boom. red carpet host award for sure from chat. You guys are biased. And I love the how the Obama meme applies with you awarding yourself for a good job. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> where's the Giga Chad jawline? What are you talking about? Yeah. Look at that. It's a fucking... It's a ridiculous jawline. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the best damn host on Twitch. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip because I, I just I can't really talk much on that even though I'm sure they were great interviews oh, thank you. I just want to make sure the stream doesn't go crazy long today Oh thank god I didn't interview this guy Osu uh, Kidding there I actually I actually am not familiar with this creator Chad Dog VA <laughs> Thanks man Um I had no idea as well how they were deciding who to throw it to. I think it was like, okay, so they, we haven't thrown it to this person for a while. Let's throw it to them. Um, uh, which was nice because it gave me a moment to check my phone. Uh, drink some water, you know. Uh, I also didn't know I was going to be interviewing Young Jeff. I didn't know that. And I kind of had to run on the fly. Streamer awards. Osu beef? I'm kidding. I don't really care, but it's just fun to I'm here with Young up. Jeff, social media manager for OTK. What's up, Connor? How you doing? I'm very excited to be here. Yes. Okay. That sounds like a job that would put my mental uh, stability in uh, anguish. Uh, yeah, Elon kind of ruined the platform a little bit. So, you know, every day is a struggle on that platform, but... When I'm in there, Joe, I think he, <laughs> Young Jeff took it as uh, the platform being shit. <laughs> my, it was meant as like, you know, the OTK guys getting a lot of drama. That was my joke, but I guess it, it, didn't, quite, it didn't quite land there. No. Making it work. Making it work Obviously, OTK is nominated for best content org. Who are you going to be voting for? Uh, yeah, the yeah. stability one was me trying to save the word. I'm gonna go AMP. <laughs> Is there a reason why? Is it? Uh, you know, they're just better. What do you think are the the key principles to making a successful? He's very nice though. Young Jeff's so nice. Uh, you know, this synergy is good if people like each other uh, and viewers. You know, whoever gets the most viewers is who's better. <laughs> How do you? Yeah, more viewers. I mean, do you get a bonus or a pay rise whenever there's a potential cancellation problem and you have to handle that? You're like, well, social media is on deck. I'm getting a pay rise tomorrow at least. Yeah, I don't get paid. Oh. Oh. Really? It cost me a lot to come out here. They didn't pay for your travel? 
I mean, that, AMP. <laughs> I guess that's why the business is going so well. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, baby, very nice. Maybe you have to do a great job. Very, very I think it's like, uh, as a social media manager, you're not like the face all the time. I think that's like, and he just, his answers were fantastic and he played off really well. More like Paul Max Singh. All right. Also, we should make the TTS in Daily Dose of Internet Voice. <laughs> oh my God, that would freak me out. It's gonna be a good year. I'm yeah, OTK is just expanding every single year and doing great stuff. Yeah. I wonder, is there anything that you can like hint at us that you might be doing in the future? You know, I really want us to get a VTuber. Ooh. You know, maybe, maybe Connor, you can help us with that. I, I mean, I know a few VTubers. I know. A few <laughs> anything, no spoilers, but I and a few others have been wanting a VTuber. So. Okay, okay, maybe we can get it done. I'm sure we can. I'm, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Is there a, another award except for the content org that you're excited for to see the results? Uh, I think Breakout Streamer will be cool. Mm. You know, like Queso and Jinxie and all them have sort of like made some waves over the past. It's been a crazy year. Yeah, I'm excited. I should have taken the microphone there. Micro from there. Oh, nice. Is uh, you know, as a, I, should, I should have kept the mic on. Let him finish, Connor. Person from a social media standpoint, yeah. is there a Something in a streamer that you look for. Hey, for OTK. You know, some kind of are you, are you that is really fit? To the streamer that you really look for. I don't, I don't know how they decide. Uh, if you're able to do more variety, I think also it's cool. don't like, really OTK think about it much. Unique sort of group, you know, like being able to do a bunch of things is cool. From a social point, you know, if you get likes, I'm all, I'm all for it. The more likes you get, I, I push for that every day. I'm like, likes talk. Guys getting 20k likes, we need it signed immediately. So, you know, maybe my perspective's not the best, but you know, the social side is very important. Why do they, I say, but of course, uh, Twitter changing to X has made it a little bit harder nowadays. How is it? How's it changed? I did have to stall on this one as well uh, a little bit. You know, I don't even know what we're posting every day. You know, before it, you used to know like what would pop off. Now it's like you don't want it. I'm yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd expect that from Abel. Like some random guy I've never seen on my feed eight times. So fair enough. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I think I think being in an org is tough because I think uh, you can either get like propelled by it or you can get swallowed by it. I think that like. Uh, you know, someone like Emily has done an, an amazing job at being like Emily, who just happens to be an OTK. Uh, you know, and I think a lot of people know Emily. But I think also if you don't do a great job at selling yourself, you kind of just become like, ah, uh, just one of those OTK guys. You know what I mean? And so I think an org is kind of, it, it, it's a it's a kind of a, a dice roll for you as a creator. Um, so I think for a lot of people, it doesn't make sense. I think for some people, it does. Um, it really just depends what you need. Like, I don't think an org would make sense for me. Like, I don't think I would ever join an org. I just don't think it makes sense. The way I work, the way I do my content, it just doesn't. I, I'm sure Ge Geeks, Geeks is not an org. Geeks is an agency. Uh, that's just very, like, we do not often work together. I only work with, like, Joey and John. And that's just because we're friends who happen to be part of the same agency. But it's not an org, you know? I'm going to throw it back to somebody else, but it's been an absolute pleasure having an interview with you, man. Best of luck this year. Yeah, and I'll see you around the Streamer Awards. I'm throwing it back to you. I'm fucking kept breaking. And then at one point, they were like, we got to fix this mic. We got to come over here and fix it. And then some tech guy came over and tried to do some stuff. And I think it worked. I think it worked. I think it, I think it did work. Um, they didn't know her before OTK, so she blew up after. Yeah, and I think that's a case where it worked out. But I think there's also probably cases where, like, someone joins like an org maybe like stagnates or maybe doesn't take full advantage of it uh and maybe just doesn't blow up right and then maybe even get worse off because of that or you only become the otk guy or the 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 fish shoujo person or whatever it is right i guess it's different with every person you know merch and celibate oh, I so, fuck should have been me <laughs> it's all good though I, I got to hang out with celibate a bunch we, we had lunch the next day as well. I'll tell you guys about that later. Um, all right. Dude, this was the giga stall of the night. Look at this. Yeah, this is the Squeaks interview. None of them are this long. I This is a giga stall of an interview. This is like a nine minute interview. No, it wasn't. It was like a... Oh, this is edited down. I swear the full thing is longer. It's so good. Squeaks is so fucking funny. Squeaks is just so easy to talk to. Welcome back. I'm here with Squeaks, who's nominated for two categories. That's best, right. best speedrunner. That's right. Best yeah, not really winning, uh, gonna win any category, but I have a great attitude ready to get some free booze. That's what I'm here for. And, uh, you know, I have an interview with my favorite streamer, C-Dog. Oh, that's too kind. It's nice to talk to another fellow receding hairline streamer. It is. A I asked him if I could make that joke. He said yes. Uh, it is an <laughs> epidemic that is not talked about enough. It is, but I think it's more of like a streamer strategy to stay relatable. That's why we're standing here in suits with this uh, diamond ring, you know. I got <laughs> because I want to know what the chat's wearing at home because surely they're dressed in uh, the similar men's warehouse apparel. They have to be wearing suits at home to watch the streamer awards. I mean, it would be it would be blasphemous not it would to. Be, it would be uncouth, frankly. <laughs> so we were playing chess the night before. And we kept doing this joke when I, when I was beating him. And then whenever I was like, we're going to beat him, I'd make a joke. Like, uh, he, he said, I, can't remember, I think he said the word uncouth. We kept saying, 
would ever anything happen to be like, it'd be uncouth if you didn't resign. It's quite uncouth of you to do this. And so when he brought it up, I was so pumped because I was like, you were just literally fucking memeing this up all night, saying the word uncouth. I don't know why, it sounds so funny. Also, Squeaks' body movement is so deliberate. I'm so impressed. Like everything, everything's, when you watch Squeaks talk, especially in this, this carpet interview, uh, like you could see from other people, maybe they move too much. What, like Squeaks moves so intentionally, it's so impressive. It would be uncouth. It would be frankly rude, so go ahead, change right now. You better. Like, yeah, no, he doesn't right do, now, like, unnecessary here. movements. How's the interview going? It's going great. I'm so excited. I he's a performer. He is. He's so good. What a giga chat. <laughs> when two like balding fellow Redditors meet IRL. Okay. Uh, we're not Reddit. What the fuck? How dare you? It would be uncouth. It would be uncouth not to bring up the fact that we're both balding. You know, it'd be uncouth to, not, you know, come on, chat. Running for president uh, in the world of GTRP. How is that going for you? Well, it's funny because I'll uh, try to do something ridiculous, but then real life is kind of harder to parody. Like, I'll say, some, this working? I'll say something so crazy, go for a joke, but then I just can't compete with, like, our current politicians. So it's a lose-lose. You know what I mean? I'm, try I'm trying so hard. I'll say whatever whatever I can, but uh, no, it's, it's hard to imitate the real thing, see, dog. That's the problem that I'm running into. <laughs> life life often imitates art, or often the other time. Anyway, uh, you know, how, how do you feel about your chances of winning best speedrunner? Uh, as a person who hasn't done that much speedrunning this year, you don't just bad enough to qualify, right? If I'm trying to correctly. Yeah, I actually don't know how I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be honest. I don't, I hope I don't win it because <laughs> I so nice. speedrun last year. I think people know me as like the Mario guy maybe, but uh, no, I'm excited to win, uh, to officially prove that I am the best speedrunner. Yeah, he's he's very good yeah, at improv. He's so that, good. You know, on, like, <laughs> Stalling with Creeks for nine minutes is so easy. He just made it so easy. I think some people, it would have been a little harder, but Screech made it so... I mean, he's just so funny. He's so naturally very funny. Yeah. So that's gonna be that's gonna be a lost category. And then Breakthrough Streamer, I'm against, like, Queso, Jinxie, and those guys, I think, deserve to win. Honestly. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 that's gonna be... Yeah. But hey, you know, miracles happen. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I have a speech ready, you know, but uh, I guess we'll never know. You actually have a speech ready for it? Oh, okay, yeah. I, was gonna, I was gonna say, I, I've, I've done the curse of not writing a speech, so I can be like, ah, I'm just gonna win. Yeah. Um, well, then you have to go up there and you have to just, you know, ad-lib it. I'm, just, I'm here to start some drama, frankly. Okay. You know, now there's a few interviews or whatever, you're to have some champagne, you know, just say fuck everybody. Is there any piece of advice, you know, because you did the, such a great job last year with the interviews that you can give me for doing interviews? Oh, yes. I would say uh, my piece of advice is really listen, wait, <laughs> and then ask clarifying questions. You're doing, you don't, I'm going to ask for your advice. I think you're, you're way better. No, no, you're no, way, no, no. I saw you, you were drinking earlier. That's a great strat. Well, <laughs> against my will, a, a loud Australian forced me to drink. Oh, yeah, Rob has that, you know, I've, you know, I've been hanging out with Rob as well, and uh, he forces me to drink all the time, too, and that's the first drama drop. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> a stream Rewards exclusive. Who else should we uh, get in trouble? Is there with? anybody else you want to expose right now while we're live? Yeah, here's what I'll say. Fuck everybody here. Um, <laughs> no. Why did you show up? Like, I mean, presumably, you're too good to be here. Yeah, thanks for saying that. I just want to be like the ironic <laughs> asshole, <laughs> which is a character, obviously. And anything you know, I would really give him, he would just immediately GRP turn it, make it funnier. Thing, you know. It was it's so like, good. Uh, what's it called when, like, Daniel Day-Lewis starts getting into the role before? Uh, method acting. Yeah, method acting as a receding speedrunner. <laughs> obviously being good friends with Ludwig, how do you feel about Ludwig supporting uh, Balenciaga, known for child labor, buying those <laughs> I don't know why he said that. I thought it was funny, though. I thought it, it made sense to do it with Squeaks, because Squeaks would play off it really well thousand dollar boots it's very on brand and it's the least offensive thing ludwig says to me behind closed doors <laughs> like that is a potentially like really fucking awkward thing to have to bounce off of and he just he throws it back at me perfectly it was so good and it's the only reason why i made that joke because i thought that squeaks would be able to handle that joke and diffuse it so well um because that is a fucking grenade that i gave him argue there's nothing more American than outsourcing to child labor. Yeah, that's right. Well, thank you for bringing the hard-hitting journalism today. <laughs> because, you know, I was ready to talk about God knows what, you know, what category or whatever. Let's, let's talk about child labor. I think this is going so well. <laughs> He's so yeah, good. And, I, and in that moment, right after this interview, when it ended, I was like, wait, this is just sponsored by so many things. I probably shouldn't have said that. But I, I was like, ah, whatever. It was funny. It worked. It didn't come off as that bad. For every interview, you're, you're, that's going to go really well. <laughs> It was it was definitely yeah, a risky joke, but I think, it I think it worked. I think it was right. fine. My mom thinks I'm an investment banker still, so I don't think there's a. Yeah, I just live a lie. I mean, that's why the money comes in randomly every month and with no clear number. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I'm, I'm dressed up like someone who'd sell an NFT. I'd be like, this is eight dollars. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> I got it at a mall kiosk yesterday. <laughs> it's like so ridiculous. I, I of course I'm gonna buy it. Fair enough, fair it's enough. drip. But when Hassan does it, he's all cool. When I do it, I'm trying too hard. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. I, I want to ask one question though, you know, because you know you've had a great year. Obviously, not only for breakthrough streamer. Is there any piece of advice that you could give to other streamers uh, on how to maybe have a breakthrough? Their own. Yeah, get really, really lucky. <laughs> because I my Balenciaga really function. Be friends with Ludwig. Be friends with Ludwig and stream for fun. Because if you stream for anything else, you're just gonna burn yourself out. So if you enjoy it, then there's no losing. That's true. That's true. Perfect. That's me looking around, being like, you, so, uh, seriously? So like, to tell the viewers like that. That look right there is me being like, is there seriously no one else ready for an interview? Losing. That's true. That's true.
Perfect. Well, I, mean, I don't have any more questions to ask you, so uh, is there anything you'd like to tell the viewers at home? Hey, thank you guys so much for watching Twitch. Shout out to you guys. I mean, you're the real heroes besides us. We're heroes? Oh, yeah. That's why we're dressed up in suits, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> We're like a, we're like figures of authority. <laughs> oh, that was so, dude. Squeaks saved my ass so bad in this interview. I, I, I don't know if Squeaks knew. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know if he intended to throw me a giant bone, but I was actually full on out of questions. Uh, I didn't have anything else for him because I felt like it was a natural conclusion, and we'd already been talking for like five minutes, and no one else was ready for an interview. And I don't know. I don't think he even knew that, but I think he just was like, I'm just gonna do my thing until he tells me to stop. Are we all? Yeah, like if I say like type pog, the chat, yeah, they, they can't not? help but to do it. And I get it, I'm a Twitch viewer myself. I wonder if they did you type pog, I, mean? I don't w, know. I mean, we can say W or L, we'll be more inclusive. You guys are gonna rule the website in like a, in like a month. <laughs> we only have like five five days left, tops. <laughs> That's true. That's why in Breakthrough, they did? Okay, these, like, good, guys were in good. Streamer, I'm like, so glad. They totally deserve it. <laughs> like, they're, they're actually so new and I think it's so happy for us that. guys to step aside. And I think they're very funny. Shout out to Queso, we're watching him yesterday. We okay, wait, 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 what is this? 353, I wanna check the cuties VOD. I want to see because you can. Cutie's bald. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm, that's me. That's me. Stop talking, Connor. Streamer was. All right. No, this is the recap. Uh. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, what was it? Three fifty-three. Chat left their ass off during this interview. Did they really? That's so fucking sweet. Because you know, chat is the harshest critic, especially a chat that doesn't know you. They're a fucking harsh critic. Uh, wait. When is the Squeaks interview here? This is like way behind. Wait, no, wait, this should be it, right? Oh, dude, the VOD's so long. When was it on here? Okay. 3.53.02. Oh, this is like a starting soon screen. Oh, it was after this one. It was definitely after. No, no, it was before this one. Was it not? Yeah, we go. There we go. We'll be more you guys are oh, there it is. There it is. You have inspired me to drink and drive large trucks and tax Okay, fraud. that's not. I mean, right off. And it has changed my life drastically. Not yet sure if it has been for the better. Okay, that's not the takeaway I wanted you to take from my streams. Going so well. <laughs> I'm never getting rehired for this. Bring Chad Labor up for every interview. <laughs> that's gonna go really well. Oh, <laughs> Chad, okay, okay Chad's loving this. Oh, oh hell yeah. That's so. What a compliment. What a compliment. Look at them. The, the, uh, this Keck W's. That's crazy. They're the harshest critic. It's so ridiculous. I, of course, I'm going to buy it. It's trip, but when Hassan does it, he's all cool. When I do it, I'm trying too hard. Fair enough, fair enough. I want to ask one question, though. Yeah, because you, know, you had a great year. I'm like a great streamer. Is there any piece of advice that you could give? Okay, I want to see the pog. I want to see the pog moment. I want to see Chad go crazy with pogs. They love you. That's so nice of them, man. I don't have any more questions to ask you, so is there anything you'd like to tell the Hey, thank you guys so much for watching Twitch. Okay. the real heroes besides us. Oh yeah, that's why we're dressed up in suits, obviously. We're like, a, we're like figures of authority. Oh, are we all? Yeah, like if I say like type pog, the chat, yeah, they, they can't help. Oh dude, look at that. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Or W, I mean, we can say W or L. We'll be more inclusive. You guys are going to rule the website in like a, in like a month. <laughs> they <laughs> they did, like five, that's so funny. Left, <laughs> that's true. That's why in Breakthrough, for all these like young guys. There was like 200k people like, watching at this point as well. It's <laughs> like, insane. They're, they're actually so new and I think it's good for us old guys to step aside. And I think they're very funny. All right. We were, we were watching like the young But like I had to keep going, right? Of, yeah, and then, and then I think they realized I was stalling for so long. They were like, uh, fucking give him someone new. Emily, get over there. <laughs> like, we did, we did, this poor man is stalling for like nine minutes. Like, get, get this man someone else to interview. All right, well, I'm going to throw it back to another host, but thank you so much for watching. Oh, hi, hi, how are you doing? Hello, uh, I'm here to get interviewed. You're getting interviewed? Well, come on in. Squeaks, get out of here. Get out of here, man. I don't want to see you anymore. Squeaks handled that so well. Bro, Squeaks, I cannot praise Squeaks enough, man. I really want to hang out with Squeaks more because it was just so fun as well. And, 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 you know, getting to work with people who are so fucking talented at what they do and, and getting to hang out with them as well, it's just, oh, it's, it's so, so great. He's such a chat. While some may not think of you as a hero after what happened <laughs> okay, in 2005, no. <laughs> no. you are still a hero to the 93%. <sighs> okay. All right. Um, where were we? I was wondering when they were going to get rid of him. I was like, get rid of this guy. This guy is a liability. Day one. I'm doing great. Connor, how about you? I'm doing great as well. It's great to be back in LA and seeing all my favorite streamers and friends. It's, it's fantastic. Obviously, you've been confused yourself. How have they been going? Oh, good. I feel like sometimes I stumble my words and I'm like, oh, blah, blah, blah. But it's been great.
<laughs> she's so she's so naturally great. funny. Obviously you've had a crazy year. Uh, you know, nearly getting arrested for cooking crack in a parking lot, uh, drinking a gallon of water with forks, and doing all sorts of other nonsense. Uh, and in a, in a mud bucket? What was that? Was that manure? Oh, oh, the, this thing? Yeah. Oh, uh, I think it was just uh, dirt or mulch. Mulch, yes. I put mulch into a trash can, and then I just became a plant. How do you explain this to your parents? Um, they just go, ha, 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 oh, Emily, there she goes again, and then just, like, just leave me alone. Uh, I think they're like, as long as she's happy, it's okay. Oh, that's that's great advice. Is there any advice that you might have for an upcoming streamer? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I think that was my really go-to like, question when I needed to stall to think of another question. Too much expectation on it, especially if you're just starting out. It's like as long as you're already like playing games that you like, it's like oh, it's kind of like you're streaming on the side. So yeah, and I love being a hooligan, IRL. So you are indeed a hooligan. What was the inspiration behind cooking in a parking lot? Um, so I actually get a lot of inspiration from like either TikToks or movies or shows, and I saw like they were comparing like Outback Steakhouse to like their own steak, and I'm like, oh, then I'll try that, but in a parking lot. <laughs> that's fantastic. Are you are you normally a good cook? No, I've asked, but that's what makes it more fun. Oh God, do you live up to the stereotype of uh, all streamers ordering Uber Eats every single day? Uh, see, I don't even do Uber Eats. I kind of just like eat Chipotle once a day. But now I'm on like this bodybuilder diet, and I have to eat rice and protein every day. How is that adjusting your diet to trying to bulk up? It's honestly not that bad because I just eat the same thing, so it takes out choice for my day, which is nice. But I miss eating. Refresh. I, I, yeah. <laughs> after she gave me that bone, so I, I, I was like, where you were at the gym I'm walking there. Uh, I got some great questions lined up. Yes. Uh, is there anything you want to say about that and retort them? Oh, yes. Uh, you know, sometimes it's kind of hard to sleep. I, I was sleep deprived that day, only five hours of sleep, so make sure to. Sleep now, I've been, I've and, been like, because uh, this, this whole Emily interview is technically like a stall. I've now been stalling for like, like 10 minutes. <laughs> like, it's nice to feel a lot of emotions of like crying and stuff. It's cool. Well, working out can release oh, those right. endorphins, get the emotions running. It's only totally natural, so don't feel bad about it. I, I think I've gone to the gym and cried because I just can't lift anything up before, so you're not alone there. Um, <laughs> one thing I wanted to ask is uh, you're, you're very confident in public. Do you have any piece of advice to be more confident? Oh, yeah, so when I do IRL streams, I always go like, ah, uh, Pasha, I'll never see these strangers again, so then I just do whatever. So that's my mindset. It's a great Actually, mindset. Thank you so much for coming and, and letting me interview you today. It's an absolute pleasure, and I hope you win one of your awards. I'm sure you will. Have a great stream rewards. I'll see you around. Take care. Bye. Bye. Throwing I'm about to bow so much. Uh, interview. Lovely, Emily. Uh, Back to you. Ladies and gentlemen, I am joined by the one man army, J. What the fuck? I scrubbed through. It's just me again. How are you feeling tonight, J? Like a second later. Okay, how are you feeling? Wait, how long? Okay, hold on. Let me talk. <laughs> this, this is like, okay, the interview starts now. 56.50. Really good. You look snazzy tonight, man. You showed out. Tell me about the jacket. I've, for the previous awards, I've always worn a black suit. Sorry, I just spit everywhere. And I wanted to kind of, you know, just be different. And so I just kind of got like a white and gold. Overall, I think it came out very well. I got a red bow tie. I'm happy. The gold fit goes crazy, oh. man. Now, JHB. You are a tastemaker of the internet, so I'd love to hear any of your predictions for tonight. Do you have any predictions on any award winners tonight? All I want is for the best Battle Royale streamer, we got It's Timmy or Nice Wig. I just want one of those two to win. Shroud, that would also be cool. The fourth one, I forgot. I'm kind of fake. I'm sorry. But overall, <laughs> It's Timmy or Nice Wig, they're my favorite people. I want one of them to win. I'm a big nice Wig people. fan. I hope Wig wins also. Have you not met anybody here tonight yet? Are you excited to meet anybody? I've, I feel like I've met a lot of people, but overall, I just want to see Prezzo again. And Terrace is so majestic. I hate Everybody wants to see Prezzo. Prezzo is so majestic. Right, JHB, any closing words for the people at home tonight? Any advice on That's how like to like a minute. Okay. <laughs> That's why I got thrown back to you so fast. Like I was wondering, just I got to interview a game? I, I, I didn't mind. I was like, I told them, I was like, hey, man, if you want to throw to me as much as you want, I'm, I feel like I'm in, I'm in the zone right now. So, like, throw it my way. I'll take as many as you want to give me. As long as people are going to enjoy it, which obviously they will, because everyone loves everybody. You'll be fine. Fucking A right. All right, I'm going to throw it back to you guys. We'll see you later. JHB, go have a wonderful evening, bud. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm. Okay, so I. Okay. <laughs> hey, Connor. I took right, inspiration on. from your Crab Champions streams. Oh, nice. So I adopted a crab and what? gave it a gun. I am now scared for my life. Oh. Please send help. Oh. Okay. <laughs> nice. JHB was on the first awards and an interviewer. Oh, I didn't know. I'm unfamiliar with JHB. I, I, I need to familiarize myself with them. Uh, Liam, uh, everyone was super pumped to meet Liam. Uh, I unfortunately didn't really know much about Liam. Obviously, over the course of the weekend, I got to know Liam a lot better. Uh, but I actually didn't know Liam at all. Uh, I, I only knew that Liam sped run Mario 64. Um, and I didn't know if he was... I assumed he was nominated, but I didn't know. And I asked him very quickly before, Hey, what are you nominated for? Is there anything I want to ask you? And Liam's so nice. Liam won't sell himself. And Liam's like, no. Nah. I'm good. I'm like, what do you want to talk about? He's like, not much. I'm like, okay. <laughs> all right, Liam. All right, I got, I got, I got, I got to put some fucking work in now. All right, I got to figure this all out. I got to put, I got, I got to figure out how the fuck to do this now. Uh, bless his heart. He was just like, I'm gonna do what the fuck I want. All right. 
I, and I want to watch Liam's streams now. Um, so I, you know, I, I'm sold. All right, chat, I'm going to get coffee real quick. I, I, um, there's an ad running. I try to stall it, but I'm going to get, I'm going to coffee. So I want one last coffee. All right. I'm gonna get coffee. BRB, chat. I'm going to play this interview the moment I'm back. All right. I'm going to. Bro, why am I so addicted to coffee? I'm so addicted. All right, I'm back. Hello, welcome. Um, with the amount of coffee and tea breaks right now, you think there'd be a remote for it? Yeah, we. I, I need to get more remotes made. To be honest, I have more animated emotes that I can fill out as well. Hey, Connor. Do. Thanks to you, I've become enlightened about B days. You're welcome. The thing is, now I need your help to explain to my old school Latinian mom why I squirt water on my bum bum. I can't help you with that. All right. So we're here by Liam, Super Mario 64 runner, and nominated for Best Speedrunner of the Year. How are you feeling about that? Um, I'm just happy to be here. I'm like, it's, it's like an honor to get nominated at all, so. Absolutely. And, and I'm to understand that you are the third fastest Mario speedrunner in the world right now currently. Is that correct? Uh, third or fourth. I, th I don't really know. How do you not know? It's your record. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's been like a lot of developments in the category. So, <laughs> yeah. what, what drives He's way you to too keep going for higher and higher times? Uh, I just love the game. It's like, I think it's the best speedrun game, so it's just a lot of fun. And there's a lot of competition. I mean, yeah, of course, Super Mario 64 has been having some uh, great runs lately. Uh, of course, recently there was a big breakthrough, the carpet skip, which made it very exciting. It's called Carpetless, Connor. It's called Carpetless. Exciting for new viewers to want to get involved for the new times. Did you utilize any of the new skips? Yeah, everyone's been uh, like grinding away. It's a really difficult trick. Um, it saves a lot of time. That's why yeah, That's why I don't really know where I am on the leaderboard. You got it wrong. Like, I didn't say it wrong. But I... yeah. But chat, is it not swag as fuck that I know that? Is it not cool that I whipped that out in an interview? That's, I think that's fucking swag. Except I got it wrong. <laughs> uh, as somebody who admires speedrunning from afar, I've always wondered, how on earth do you get driven to keep doing this, the same thing over and over again? Um, it's, it's a hard question. It's, you can't really be like uh, normal. You gotta be, <laughs> I don't know, you gotta kind of, you gotta be like obsessive about it. Okay, okay. But. Yeah, it's just like when there's a lot of people grinding with you, I feel like they can motivate you to like do better. Absolutely, I think a competitive scene makes it just more exciting for everybody involved. Um, is this your first stream awards? Yeah. Well, congratulations, how are you liking it so far? How, any streamers you're trying to meet today? Yeah, I want to get a picture with Ludwig. You want to get a picture yeah, with Ludwig? and I want, to get, I want to meet Squeaks too. I haven't seen him in person. Oh, he's just here a really? second ago. They're very cool dudes, but don't tell Ludwig I said that. Uh, <laughs> are you excited for any other awards tonight? Um, I'm interested in the Hidden Gem one, because one of my mm. friends, uh, Gappy, I don't know if he was here earlier. Um, yeah, I'm rooting for him. Exciting. Uh, you excited to also acquire a coloring book? Every streamer award, they give a coloring book for streamers out there. Are you going to partake in coloring this book? Sure. 
didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know what to ask. Like, you're not going to want to lose it. They, they draw amazing caricatures of all our streamers. Um, uh, one more question I want to ask you. Are, you. are you boozing tonight? Are you getting, you getting a little crunk? Maybe a little bit. I don't know. A little bit? Maybe. Do you think that potentially drinking while speedrunning could aid in your times? I've thought about this. I've never done it. I think some people have, and they say it doesn't usually go well. <laughs> you do a three-beer category where you have to chuck three beers and speedrun. I think this would revolutionize speedrunning and bring new fans in. Yeah, we should. It'd be good content. T plenty of new sponsors can get involved as well. <laughs> I'm sorry for my terrible questions. Um, in the meantime, uh, are you excited? Uh, I had a stall. I had a stall. Take the award home yourself. Do you? How do you feel about the competition? This category is kind of stacked. Um, It'd be cool to win. I'm not expecting I'd like to imagine that, like, Emily and Will are just fucking chilling. Like, they never have to stall. They're like, this is fucking great. This is so easy. And I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> I'm like, stalling. I think Squeaks is going to win. That's what I think. But, but he's barely sped run this year. Yeah, but it's not best, uh, what, best speed runner. It's like best speed run streamer. It's like about the content. Squeak says like he's hilarious. He's got good content. I think you're selling yourself shortly. I mean, you shouldn't be so harsh on yourself. I, I, listen, you're here for a reason, okay? Uh, is there anybody, any streamers here that if you- That's me desperately looking around for like, come on, get someone in of you. <laughs> I'm like, this is so long. I'm like, I'm like looking to see if they have anyone ready. I'm like, help me. <laughs> Because I think in like the past 30 minutes, I've been like interviewing so many fucking people, I think, or, like for so long. Could you start drama with? Um, I'm so chill. I knew that question wasn't yeah, going to land, yeah, but I had to I had something. Did, like a collab stream and he, uh, yeah, he pulled some weird stunts. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me on the red carpet today. I appreciate it. Enjoy the streamer awards. Uh, best of luck. Even though I'm stalling is natural right, at this, so well, much, that's what, like, I got to make it seem like I'm not stalling for the viewers, right? But in my head, that's, you know, that's all I'm thinking about. Um, I'm throw it back to somebody else right now for another fantastic interview. Is it sped so, up? Back. It is slightly, yeah. Just so we can get through it a bit quicker because it's a bit long. It's quite a lot to go Hello, through. Hello, everyone. I'm so happy to be Oh, I was in this one. one. Only fans. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Once again, snub of the year for a variety streamer. I just, before we get into this, I just want to say, next year when you guys are voting for variety streamer to all my fans, if you type Connor in, they count it for C-Dog. They don't, they don't <laughs> count it for Connor yet. So type my full name next year. God, I love Connor. He's so funny. But no, anyway, I just wanted to start off with that. Oh, Connor, what a great start. I'm sorry you got snubbed. However, you do look... Oh, oh, oh. Are you talking shit? What are you saying? There was a mix up. When they vote for Connor, it goes oh. to you. It, yeah, we like that. We, that's good. We're hopefully changing that <laughs> next year. I love the drama. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Connor, I guess, unfortunately, you're not nominated, but I can nominate you for best drip. Can you please talk about your drip today? Uh, this is about $45 off the clearance rack at Zara. This is about $35 <laughs> off the clearance rack. Uh, I got the Sonic chain. I got a custom Converse. Uh, courtesy of uh, Andrea Botez, uh, Hot Girl Chess's sister. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, very swagalicious. You look at great, Connor. And Connor, what is your favorite game that you played this past year? You are a variety gamer. You're always gaming away. What's your favorite? Uh, it's got to be Pokemon Emerald still for sure. Uh, it's still just the best game, uh, best Pokemon game. <laughs> um, I also liked Among Us this past year. I was a little late on that, but I thought it, they did well this past year. Yes, very sussy, very good. And, he uh, looks Connor, so serious. I can tell he's. A, I, I can tell you're a little bit nervous, Connor, but because I, I mean, why fucking wouldn't you be? But like he, his face is so composed. I, it makes it so much funnier. Tonight. Um. Well, I'm not gonna win an award, so I wouldn't say much. Um. I'm excited to see friends, have a good time. Um. I hope Squeaks, you know, maybe wins. I love love seeing a smile on that guy's face. Uh, I think Ludwig might be here. Um. Yeah. To be fair, this is how I present myself in most situations. Yeah, I know, Connor. It always cracks me up, man. You're so good at it. I wish I could stay as straight faced as you. I can't do it, man. You're so good. The Emerald joke is so fucking funny. Confidence. We love to see it. Thank you. Next year, next year I think, will be your, the year. You're saying next year is going to be my year. Yeah, yeah. Oh, speaking of which, if you're following me, by the way, I haven't been streaming much. Uh, when you check the following page, remember to scroll down. Remember to scroll down. That's where we've been lately. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this year's the year, Connor. I, my year. Yeah, this year's the year. Oh, Connor. No. W I might need to accept your award if you win. Oh, I, I totally get it. Yeah. Thank you, Connor. <laughs> last question. What is your uh, favorite soup? My favorite, my favorite soup. Oh, Emily stole now. Okay. Hell yeah. Yes. Chicken noodle soup. Isn't that kind of boring? Yeah, I don't, I don't mix up my soup. I don't. Uh, what do you want from me? Oh, no, they're <laughs> Can I switch to a different interviewer next? Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, <laughs> and we're gonna hand it off to the next interview with Will Neff. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I enjoyed my. <laughs> that is so good. Isn't that kind of boring? Yeah, I don't, I don't mix up my soup. I don't. Uh, what do you want from me? Oh, no, they're. <laughs> Can I switch to a different interviewer next? Uh, thank you so much for watching, Connor. Thank you for. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Holy like, oh, shit. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I am joined by an ensemble of important people. We have Maximilian Dude, Jay Benny, and Unruly. Hell yeah. You all look I didn't get to talk to Max. I'm so sad I didn't get to talk to Maximilian. Thank you. Uh, I, wore, I wore, got pants on today, and uh, this is a jaquette. I think it's French. Oh, jaquette. Yes, it's very special. Uh, JJ looks uh, great. This is me. I'm just going to skip through because uh, I, 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 we got a lot to go through. we got a lot to go through today. But he's the guy. Well deserved. Oh, they announced an award. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, this is, oh yeah, look, this is when like Salbert and Tubbo are here. And I'm trying to ask, hey, can I interview Salbert? He wants to be interviewed. Uh, and they were like, nah, I don't be interviewed. I was like, oh, okay. He came over to me and was like, dude, I want to talk about Void Stranger. And I was like, oh, what a fucking, what a jam. Um, I am just so starstruck. Heels. Talent's outfit was crazy. The vision line of her, but a little over the in case, and because boom that's when the audio leaked oh wait what the audio leaked oh shit what am i looking at here what the fuck what the fuck oh no i lost my place it's fine it's fine thank you thank you thank you for what the oh rambo yeah rambo was that the next interview i did no it wasn't i had like two back to back Popping, baby. Hey. Oh, oh a dead. Okay, 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 here we go. How are you feeling? Coming to the streamer? Oh, All right. Oh, yeah. All right, is there any the same? Like, so what would you what an nice honor and a the every Oh, yeah, sir. <laughs> thing now, show. How are you guys doing? Right before they came on, they were like, hey, can we do this bit where we just like all talk at the same time? And I was like, yeah, go for it. Really fantastic. I'm just super happy to be here. Very nice honored, and I think it's going to be fun time. I missed one? Did I oh, I missed Quackity? Oh, shit, I can't skip that one. I mean. Oh, good luck with your head off to the next. Hello and welcome back. I'm joined by. I'm Quackity. sure the chat went fucking that? crazy when Quackity came on. I'm so excited for today. <laughs> the energy is palpable. It's not often the streamers get to go outside. That's true. <laughs> However, you have been responsible for joining many streamers together with your QSMP, and not just streamers of the same language, streamers of all different kinds of language. And very recently, you added Korean. Yeah, that's right. We added a Korean creator. We're playing I, I did a lot of research before. Well, not a lot, but like I, I looked up a few things see, um, you know, all the nominations. to make sure that I, I gave. Because again, you know, <clears throat> you don't want to give anyone special treatment, right? But there's a giant fucking audience that is like just there for Quackity. It's a giant audience that's just there for Celibate. And you just want to make sure that you give those giant group of fans a reason to be happy. So I really wanted to really wanted to make sure I gave Quackity some great questions. Uh, because people were very, very vocal about their, uh, 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 thing. It's not like special treatment or anything like that. It's just like, okay, look, the, the, we don't, we, the, you know, you got a giant audience. We got to keep happy here. Let's, let's give them what they want. Uh, being like all these creators, it's amazing. It's truly a wonderful thing to see. And you're nominated for three awards, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, best Minecraft best is right, and best international streamer and streamer of the year. Are you excited? How do you feel like your odds are? Um, to me, it's acknowledging the fans. Yeah, it's about the streamers, about the fans. You know, so giving them what they I want. Think we're all winning. We all get to celebrate together. Whoever wins, so that's like wonderful. Uh, I'm here for the show. I'm here for my friends. Frank's uh, energy was also <laughs> great. Uh, yeah, he's also a, a great, great person to interview. Uh, living in different countries and trying to integrate multiple languages. What are some of the challenges you've had trying to work with multiple languages? Languages, and specifically mainly Spanish and English for your audience, but trying to bring all these languages together. What's the biggest challenge you've been facing? Oh, well, I think the the thing we look at the most is to make sure that all creators are very comfortable. His answers were great as well. They were great answers. They might not understand each other. You know, if we're using the real time translator that we have, uh, we got to make sure that they're in a setting uh, that the creators are comfortable with. Uh, that's the biggest thing. Uh, that's our biggest uh, concern with all the time. And that's what we look forward to, like making sure all the creators are, are feeling right, good. I'm sped Did up. you envision back in the day when you were raiding Club Penguin Icebergs that you would be here making advancements in language translation for streamers um you know what it's really interesting because um i i was born and raised in mexico so growing up i asked him if it was okay because i know that some people don't like it when you bring up their old stuff i was like is it okay if i bring up like you know the journey like a little bit of the club hangman stuff you know because i used to i used to watch that shit i was like is it okay if i bring this up a little bit just to like kind of you know give a shout out to like how, you, how it all started you know what i mean 
growing up, I always thought of a world where he was know, like, yeah. someone who speaks Spanish but doesn't speak English could collaborate with the he has, creator. He has chilled uh, out so much as well. <laughs> it always was in my mind, and to see it come to fruition and see it happening. Mr. Doggy and being able okay, to meet all these talented, talented, and incredible people that I now call close friends from around the world, that's that's a blessing. And I'm so, so happy. I'm so thrilled. <laughs> it is fantastic seeing all the advancements you guys are making and just seeing that you bring streamers together. Uh, and I know the QSMP specifically has many events going on concurrently. Is there an event that you held last year that you were just really stoked about? Oh my gosh, well, we host server-wide events for like all the creators and everything, uh, just to give, you know, the creators like a, a, a base where they can create content and all. Uh, was that? If you if you were doing things for the fans, you would have talked to Hassan all night for me. <laughs> okay. All right, okay. Well, maybe if you were subbed, you know, I would have done that for you, you know? But uh, what about, uh, come on, I, I gotta give some special treatment to the subs, you know? They, they want to crack it at you. Most recent one, <laughs> it doesn't sound funny, but it was called QSMP Prison. <laughs> Kai did something like that, actually. Right, but he did it in real life. No, he did it in Minecraft. Uh, but it was fun. It was cool to see all the Spend the sub money on, on Hassan, you know, not languages. me. What the kind of fuck? Like close space, speaking to each other. It was a really cool thing. It was really it's, cool. it's absolutely fantastic seeing what you're doing, and I hope you have a great stream rewards. It's an absolute pleasure getting to meet you, man. Enjoy the stream Again, rewards. it was a sad sad case where I didn't have... It didn't work out that I stalled on, on Quackity. I would have, it would have been a great stall. Um, and that, would have been, that would have been fantastic, I think. You're so talented, and I'm going to be cheering you on in the crowd. Woo! Welcome back. I'm joined by the amazing Wilnet Hot Sauce Connoisseur, OTK's newest member, and just a delight all around. And you've been interviewing some of the, uh, the streamers today. How's it been? Damn, that was quite an intro, baby. You're doing a better job than I am. i got to tell you. Now I'm feeling adequate. What am I doing over there? Oh, look at your drip. You look fantastic. He's hosting me under the table. Yeah, I wanted to look like Lord Farquaad, but like also <laughs> a classical music con conductor. Well, anything you're conducting is our hearts today. Well, with that outfit, it's fantastic. You're doing a great job. Is there somebody that you are looking to interview? I actually said that joke off camera to him, and he was like, you should save this shit for camera. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I said that unironically to him. And he, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll say it on camera as well. Okay. That I'm excited to interview? Uh, Seer, because I think he's dressing like Neo in the Matrix. <laughs> Is the is the legend on the street? So I'm I'm excited for whatever that is going to entail. Is there an award that you're also uh, excited about? I know that you're obviously nominated for just chatting, but is there something else that you're also excited about? Oh man, what other award am I excited about? Hmm. I don't know. I I'm just excited to lose graciously. I've been rehearsing my like <laughs> as someone else wins phase. It would be a uh, David and Goliath story if you took down Hassan and no more awards for you. Yeah, yeah, I think just the internet would be pissed if I won that one. So maybe name your price wins, maybe, I don't know. Uh, maybe <laughs> <not your> price wins. <laughs> I think there's a good chance it could, but there's obviously stiff competition. It feels like every year the competition is getting tougher and tougher. I can see myself looking off camera. I think that's when Dog Dog was getting ready to come on camera. What a big choice that. <laughs> How drunk are you going to get tonight? I, uh, I don't know. I won't go <laughs> like, this? I won't go full <laughs> tilt. I don't know. I don't want to know what full tilt is for you. Oh. Saikuno is going to go in that pool this time if I go full tilt. That's such a good reference. Poor Saikuno. He's just a bystander to your rampage. Uh, but thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Oh, I am bringing up. Oh my God. This is amazing. This was chaotic because then I had to like manage not just Will, but Doug Doug, who came into this wanting to be chaotic. So now I'm trying to like, how? Okay, well, I got to find my place quick. Good. Uh, I'm honored to be nominated with Will Neff. Oh. Hottest MILF, 2023. Wow. Yeah. Your chances are great. But, yeah, well, I was in the category with him last year and he blew me the fuck out. So, so I had to get over to coding just to give you a chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Right. I haven't programmed anything this year. Okay, uh, well, I appreciate it. I, I don't know who to ask questions to now. Kim questions. Okay, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Shadow you. Also. Okay, shadow me. Yeah, tell me if I'm doing a good job, please. Coach here, yeah. So why did you decide to move over to programming this year for the awards? So what I did is I did nine total hours of software and game development streaming. And apparently that makes me qualified as like a programming streamer. It's great. <laughs> Well, I don't think anyone has done as, as many advancements to the art of Peggle as you. I don't think most people know what programming is. What is, so that? is that's that? why you clear the okay. okay, here's the thing. Connor, you grew up in England learning <laughs> Scottish as your second Okay, language. well, okay. In America, we learned things like C, C++. I visual, grew up in England learning Scottish. <laughs> visual Basic. Those are the kind of languages we learned. <laughs> oh, you know you know in Freedom Town. All right, I know a little bit of binary. Zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, one. That means suck my balls. <laughs> oh, it does. Wasn't it like D's not someone told me or something afterwards? It was something like that. Wow. It does. I'm a programmer. You don't speak any C++ or anything. I know what I'm talking about. I'm You're, a how dare you assume? Nominated programming guy, apparently. Okay. Yeah. Do you feel that maybe you could have uh, spent that time learning C++ C or whatever it is, C++ is what it is, right? Like, I can yeah. barely understand your accent. Okay. Well. <laughs> so, 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 so how do you feel? It's literally about nothing. Oh, okay. Tonight? You know what? I feel pretty and I decided, good. all right, I'm going to stand on the sidelines here and just stand there. I got money for her son. I got money for you. B, I absolutely loved the interviews at the awards. Great job, people love.
Thank you, thank you. I know it's C++. I don't know why I just said C++. C. I don't like plus C, C++. I don't fucking know. So we'll just, we'll, we'll just... Any other awards you're excited to watch? Any winners you're hoping you see tonight? No. I, I would love for you to win. I mean that genuinely. Oh, Go fuck yourself, buddy. Uh, All right, good job. Wait, am I done? Or... No, you're not done. Oh, okay. I'm not done. I have questions. <laughs> I actually was wondering if I if it was done, but I, I wasn't. Seriously, Ludwig, how did that happen? Well, he challenged me to a stream thing, and then he cheated in the stream thing, as far as I can tell. I don't know why I would have lost otherwise, and took my trophy for the year. That was the bet. So he's had my trophy. He broke it. So I just, he stole my winnings and then broke them in his, you know, Hollywood mansion, and I, I'm left with nothing, and I'm going to lose my coding award to pirate software, and I'll be left with nothing again, and Ludwig will come and steal that from me, probably. If you do get an award again, how quickly do you intend to lose it this time? Um, I am no better at chess than I was last year. I feel like Ludwig's slightly better, but I will do a rematch. You're gonna, you're gonna risk your award again if you win? Yeah, of course. What's the point of winning an award if you don't probably have some guy take it and break it? Mine broke last year. It's, yeah, it's just broken. It's, I don't even think someone would take it. It is broken. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I'm assuming that the engineering is much better this time, but Doug, Doug, thank you so much. You it's been an absolute pleasure interviewing you. That was a good interview still, though. I think uh, even with the chaotic nature, I think I managed to handle it. Um, then we had everything now. It's great. They did this bit where they just talked all over each other. In front of Ludwig, you can embarrass yourself in front of Ludwig. Don't worry, he is an embarrassment himself. I, I, I promise you that. I promise. Uh, is there any other category that you're excited to see? Uh, the oh, Doug Doug's really nice as well. I, I love Doug Doug so much. I've spoken to him a lot uh, in person. He's really fun. He loved this one. That makes sense. Well, it's been a fantastic interview, gentlemen. I appreciate you for coming here on the red carpet and giving me an interview, and I hope you guys have a great show and enjoy it. Thank you very much. He just guests. Oh training. my God, that's so crazy. Well, I'm just skip there because we, we got a lot to go through. Yourself. First chat. Wake the fuck up, samurai. Hello, everyone. We are betting those. They look rad. Yeah. Very nice. All right, welcome back. I'm joined here by Point Crow. Hello. How you doing? I also wasn't supposed to interview, pro interview Point Crow, but I know Eric very well, so I was like, all right, this is going to be easy. You know what? I'm not nominated for anything, right? So I don't have to go on stage, so I can go with whatever I want. So I was like, I, I went to the, like, the back end of a store. I was like, all right, let's go to the 50% off place, see what we got here. And I just worked with that. So I was like, hell yeah, let's go with it. You're molting all over yourself. I'm noticing the. I remember I had a stool very vividly in this one as well. Do not get too close to me now. Oh my God. Can they see that in high def? Jesus. It just spreads. Obviously, you've had a great year for content. Uh, I'm a big fan of the channel. And I try and keep up when I can. How do you come up with your crazy ideas, uh, like summoning a meteor whenever your heart rate goes to 100 in Elden Ring? How do you come up with that? Oh, I mean, like, I don't really know. I just kind of, like, think of, like, think what's kind of crazy. What, what is, good. like, people, like, what do people not do? And then I just, like, do that. You know, I don't know. I don't know how to... He does really, it. really... His <laughs> content is crazy. Like, his content is so good. Right? All right. What if? How many uh, mentioned? Stuff he comes up with is nuts. Yes. Wait, that's a great idea. Easy. I, unironically, sometimes that's where like you know things derive from. I'm like, okay, this is a crazy idea. What if I make it towards like a video game? Or like, how do I like do that? You know? Or, like, yeah. What do I get my ideas from? I don't know. Gotta. Because uh, you don't sit still. Obviously, last year, uh, the previous year, I guess now. Wait, well, I feel like there's a chat down here. Event, which is a huge thing. Do you have anything big on the horizon that you can tease for us today? Oh, you know. Connor I, is doing do so have, good. Connor and Emily do are doing such do a something. good job with the questions. Oh, that's so fucking nice. What the heck? I'll put it like this. I'll give you something that's guaranteed that I'm working on right now. It's Smash or Pass Pokemon, right? But all 114,000 fusions. Oh. So, you know, that, that'll only take about 60 hours if you do one a second. I thought it was going to be Pokemon Smash or Pass, but I actually smash. Oh, well, you know, hear me out. Patreon content, I that would go. Like Vaporeon. Oh, God. Did you know? Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> is there... This is a great interview. This is terrible. I'm so sorry, Cutie. <laughs> Cutie is never hiring me again. Oh, God. Is there any game right now that you're super stoked about playing or you're excited for soon that is coming out? Dude, it's like, I just got a text, right, from like some of my friends. They're like, hey, I hope you're enjoying the Ward show. We're killing bugs right now in uh, Helldivers 2. You know, we need you to spread democracy. Where are you right now? <laughs> Everyone, like, everyone's dude, talking about Helldivers. Like, you know, I could be dropping a 500k uh, nuke on, on some uh, base right now, but, it's you know. very casual how much you kill bugs. It's a great game, very fun. You should get into it. It's a good game. Um, but, dude, it's fantastic. See, I mean, look at this drip, man. Yeah, this is me stalling, I'm thinking of another question. I'm asking you questions, but I keep getting distracted by the colors. Can I bring in Sam real quick? Dude, yeah, bring in Sam. Here, 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 here. This is who I'm matching with. Oh, oh, I'm going to skip forward a little bit, just because I think uh, I need to get through all these. It was a good interview there. Thank you so much. What a fantastic... Wait, with the amazing Junie TTY! Hello, everyone. Junie's so nice as well. Sorry, I'm going to skip. Sorry, Junie, I'm going to skip you. I don't want to stream like crazy long today because I got I got so much work to do. With Rubber Ross. I'm starting to interview Rubber Ross. You're nominated tonight for an award. Tell me about it. <laughs> this one's so good. Look, if I skip forward, you can just see that. He doesn't move. Look at that. 
It's so fucking like, funny. You like them? Do you have any these are all five-second skips. Look at these. I might win that here. No, uh, that's it. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen. Ultra, yeah, he's so funny. Ultra is so funny in real life. I've so, I, I've hung out with Ultra so much. Also, he's always like this. He's so funny. And that you like him. Also, who the fuck is that guy? I have no idea. <laughs> you think he believes him? <laughs> that's, that's, that's such a good bit. That's actually such a good bit. I think it doesn't work if Will knows. Will also didn't try to interview him, I guess. When, so, when someone brought someone in with them, uh, which I think Rambo did, I I wasn't familiar with who they were. So I was like, I was like, who are you? Do you want me to ask you any questions? They're like, no, no. I was like, okay, cool. If your creator watch your own, how who do they call do you out think this one? I want you. If you are a creator and you look like this, listen up. I want you. And to any other creator watching, are you enjoying the show? Do you His eye mouse ad was so good. Oh my god. Oh, here we go, Rambo. Welcome back. I'm joined once again. By the so, I've never spoken to Rambo before. This is like my first time. I've seen Rambo around a lot. I've been at the same things as him. Uh, but I've never spoken to him before. Uh, but I did see the uh, generation... Uh, loss which was crazy um and uh i did i think off not off brand um i didn't know uh it's jk one of the production teams that i i knew i'd spoke with them and all of them were like gushing over how good it was uh he's really nice obviously i i farmed a viral clip because i fucked up in this interview well it's not all right that's fine the lovely rambu mousy how you guys doing i'm doing good i'm feeling all right Oh, just got here, so immediately thrown into it. It's incredible. This is going to be an arm workout. He's so you tall. Expose my true it's, and he's wearing I'm heels, the bastard. Heels, so I've just made it awful for Why are you wearing heels? That's so cruel to me. I just thought it'd be really funny. Okay, well, you're doing fantastic. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you're nominated for the best stream series, if I'm yeah, correct. Yeah. Generation Loss, which was an incredible series. I also don't think I was supposed to interview Rambo, so I didn't have prepare anything. This is just all off my head. How did that come into existence? Oh, man. Um... It came from originally, I just wanted to make like a little haunted house and then it just really went too far from there. And I kind of just said- Zero questions to the woman? Yeah, I asked them before. I, 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 if, two, if two people come on, right, and one person's nominated, I asked them like, do you want me to ask uh, both of you questions or just one of you? Uh, in this case, I, if I'm not, I, I, I would have asked questions to both of them if I was given, if I, they wanted me to, but I, I think I remember them remember telling me, I just asked questions to me. Uh, like, I, I, they just, I remember just said, I just want to be here. You know, uh, you know, both of them. So I think it makes sense. At a certain point, just like, I'm just going to blow the entire budget. Let's do it. Might as well. But yeah. Is there any point where you were like, I'm scared. This is getting too ambitious. We might not be able to pull this off anymore. Uh, yeah, I think it was like the morning of pretty much the morning of every single day. It was it was pretty much the exact same feeling of just like this could just all go wrong instantly. Um, and part of it did. I got burned on my back a little bit a couple of times. Burns? How badly? Uh, it was like second degree, so not too bad. Any degrees are bad of burns, by the way. Just want you to know. <laughs> what a streamer will do for his craft, I suppose. Um, but no, it was an amazing series, and I know people who've actually worked on it who said that it was one of the best things that ever worked on. He's a VTuber so now, his model is cool, that's crazy. Uh, how do you think your chances are? Oh boy, I don't know. I didn't really do any much campaigning or anything, but I mean, it's just like, uh, all the other events are like still like just so good too, so it's like, it's, it's fierce competition, really. It definitely feels like this year on Twitch has been just event after event with amazing spectacles. Uh, how does it feel being a part of that? I don't know. It was really surreal to see like it like nominated alongside everything else. This is really good for an unfed and It's just oh, oh thank it's you. It's just always just such a fun event. Too. Welcome, it's, like, oh. it's great. Is there any streamer this year that you want to meet or get to mingle with in particular? Oh my god. I mean, there's so many. I mean, I definitely. Oh, I want to find Selbit. I need to see if he's any stronger. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, there's just oh, there's so many people here that I really want to meet. And obviously, after the success of uh, Generation Loss, is there a new project that you're working on that you can maybe tease for us today? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm working on sort of like a condensed version of it all. Not so not as stressful is what I'm hearing. Yeah, definitely. It's it's a lot less. It's a lot more just edited. I wish all the nominees would campaign so the votes would be more accurate. Um, it's just tough. It's it's hard. Uh, campaigning is tough, uh, and I think it's just up to the person to campaign. Obviously, I campaign a lot. Um, that's mainly because like I feel like. Uh, I did not have a great shot <laughs> so, uh, if I had like just left it, you know what I mean? So I, I think it just depends. Like if you're, if you're the clear favorite, I think it can also like, it can, some streamers feel like it looks bad if you're the, the clear favorite to win and you then also campaign. But I also think that's a part of it and there's no harm in doing that. Um, and so I, I, I think just streamers are always concerned with how things look. 
Um, so people people don't want to be look, seen as cringe, and sometimes people feel that if they promote themselves too much, it's cringe. It, it's nice to sort of like go over it all again and then be able to like cut things out that I don't like or like redub things as well. But yeah, I mean, being able to read your. She said that OGK streamers didn't get a lot of votes this year because people assumed that they would get a lot of votes. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think also like it, it's like uh, it's like if you watch if you watch uh, Trash Taste, right? You watch Trash Taste and you watch Chris. And maybe you watch Kaho, maybe you watch me, you watch Mouse. It can feel like there's like a lot going on. And it can feel that like you're in this giant community, right? But it also is like a giant shared viewership. Like I think people who watch Chris watch me. People who watch me watch Trash Taste. And so I think sometimes that gives you the impression that it's almost way larger than it is, like the audience. And I think there's definitely some of that with OTK. I think because OTK, there's a huge overlap between a lot of the streamers. But I don't think a lot of people who watch a lot of OTK, like, watch me. You know what I mean? And I don't think a lot of you guys watch a lot of OTK. I'm sure some of you do. So I think that there's, like, it, when there's a giant overlap like that, and there's, like, 10 streamers, it can almost feel like there's so... It's so many people. And so I think that, like, it can almost feel like more people than there are watching. Uh, and maybe it feels like, okay, we got this in the bag. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. And I think that you'll, even in chat, you can see people like, ah, I watch OTK or I don't watch OTK. I think it's just, if you vibe with that, that group of people, you do. And if you don't, you don't. Um, and maybe there's just one stream you like and whatever. So, you know, it's uh, it's kind of really up to like whatever you're into. And so I think that, uh, yeah, maybe they didn't vote, they probably didn't vote as much. And they probably, maybe they assumed that because their group of friends in the community is quite big, that they maybe they had it. I don't know. Event, but see the perspective of how to improve it is a crucial part of doing any event, especially redoing events. Um, is there anyone that you are excited to start drama with at the Stream Awards? I also oh, just stole this interview, which is kind of sucks yeah, because I didn't prepare. Do and I really wanted to. Yourself? I know a few. I could, I could start some drama if I wanted. If I, if I knew I was going to have to prepare, I would have I prepared so well for this interview. All I got to do is just land a really good punch. And I <laughs> a punch? Well, we already had those last year, but they didn't, they didn't land so well, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, is there a category other than your own that you are excited about? Oh, man. I mean, obviously, like, streamer of the year, I'm really excited for. Um, is, is this some 1.2? It's on 1.25, yeah. Do I have a dog in that race? I mean, I think, oh, my God. I think definitely, I mean, Quackity's dominated for it, right? Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, definitely. I think I think that I'd be rooting for him. Like, he's oh, he's done so much this year, and it would be. He's had an amazing year, doing so many collaborations and new, new tools. It's pushing streaming forward, and yourself as well, with these amazing events. You know, all of it participates with streaming, so I appreciate it. A question that I've asked some people, are you planning to get drunk tonight? Are we getting crunk? I'm 20 years old. <laughs> See, I'm from the UK. You're, you're four years late. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I didn't know you were 20. Look at what the fuck. Nobody told me that. Why don't I have an earpiece? No one's feeding me this information. <laughs> 20 years old. Okay, well then uh, we'll slip you on later off the camera. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But thank you so much. It's been a fantastic interview. Absolute pleasure getting in for yourself. Love I'm 20. You as well. I hope you guys enjoy the stream rewards. I'll see you guys around. Take care. And uh, of course, we have so many more red carpet hosts that we can throw sorry, you. Sorry, I should have made it like more clear that I needed to leave or just tell them to stay and I throw it off. For example, let's throw you to one right now. Bye, guys. We did not throw it to someone, I guess. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am joined by Big I Boss just wasn't ready. Bose. Bose, how are you feeling tonight? I'm okay. I was also supposed to interview Big Boss Bose as well, we, I think. We were chatting a bit. Kill them. The shrugs are, he's like, I don't know. That's my bad. I, I, I should have been, it's my, like, job to be in control of the pacing. So I should have paced it better. And like giving him more cues. We'll get that better. We'll do it better next time. I mean, I, I say next time. I mean, you know, if we ever do it again. If I ever do any hosting again. All right. Is this, was that it? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Welcome. They were like, okay, we, uh, you're going to interview someone now. Uh, you're going to interview Cutie. I was like, all right, cool. Cutie's going to do an ad. Okay. Cool. I'm back. I'm here with a woman of the hour herself, Cutie Cinderella. You look fantastic. Thank How you. Are you doing? I'm doing good. I think we're all set. I've been backstage watching everything. Um, it's been really wholesome to see everybody like tweeting out their outfits and being ready for the night. At the end of the day, that's why I put this together. So seeing everyone together is like, oh, it warms my heart. Uh, I know you were up late last night. How many hours of sleep have you had tonight? I got three hours. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> I already knew that answer, I, so I, I was setting like it up. You know what I mean? My heart is beating out of my chest, but it's okay. Are there any differences this year we can expect from the last year's Streamer Awards? Is that a good question, a bad question? Uh, no, I'm trying to think. I think, I mean, we had a lot of changes this year, like the pre-show camera that chat got a control, which was really cool. Oh, and massive, massive th shout out. I haven't said this yet, but the AT&T pre-show would not be possible without AT&T. <laughs> so thank you guys so, so much. They're what put this all together. So thank you guys. And chat, if you haven't checked them out, there's a link 
if you have to, I have to make sure I get this right. The chat bot for a chance to win goodies. I didn't know if it was a chat bot or the panel. Use the chat bot, get some goodies. Thank you, AT&T. Um, thank you to you for, I yeah, it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine, it's fine. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for putting on such a great event. Uh, I think I have another interview, right? Am I, am I, am I with another one? Am I, throwing it <laughs> I didn't know. Do I have another? All right, okay, we have another interview. All right, come on on, guys. We have the entire doing? roomies. Wow. What is, I mean, okay. Really you guys all look fantastic. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Excited to be here. Who do I ask a question to? We're one unit. One. We're like Exodia, except we're missing one. So do I, when I ask a question, I'm going to ask everyone, or just is there a talking head? Okay, Tina, you, Tina, you talking on behalf of everyone? Yeah, I speak for everyone, all of us. I speak for every single one. Yeah. Are you guys excited for the Super Bowl? I assume so. We're so excited, so pumped, got ready all day. Oh, we, we had, we saw a bee. A bee? There was a bee in our Uber the they, entire time. Yeah. Is there no nature in LA? Is it all gone? I mean, um, we got rid of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, but it was, a, it was a dangerous ride here. We had a bee on us, walking on us. It was nice. The entire I, I think maybe the bee couldn't stop looking at the shiny things. Yeah. Of course, many of you are also nominated for awards. Best Minecraft streamer, Sapphire Award, and Variety Streamer. We're rivals, all right? All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me, I, me, I, I, we're not cool. <laughs> I know the one pretty well, so I was pretty okay making that joke. What, what are you nominated for, Mian? The bestest friend we've ever had. <laughs> the, bestest, the bestest friend a gal could ask for. Uh, I want to say that uh, I said, lovely to meet you in my Animal Crossing dating application, and you said that was weird. Who says that? Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> meet you. That's a normal thing to say to someone. It's a little too formal. I'm British. That's what I said. He's British. <laughs> it was a C tier. It was C tier. C tier. All right, guys. But you guys all look amazing. Thank you so much. Sorry for interrogating you. And I hope you guys have a great stream reward. So have a great time. Have a good one too. I was Thank surprised you. they wanted me to wrap this one up so quick. I, I can't remember why. Well, I think this is when they were trying to rush through them now. Because everyone showed up late. So now it was like, all right, we got to start getting through them. I think. I think, if I remember correctly. Like, I guess they were just like throwing people on. Like Hassan was just thrown on. Uh, foolish. Tabo again thrown on too. Again, I he's and then Miz. Yeah, I think it's Miz. They were trying to throw Miz to me, but then Miz was like, nah, I want to on on Emily to interview me, which is facts. I think they prepared a bit. Uh. But Twas didn't get interviewed. He, I think, he showed up right as the awards started because I think he flew in from Genesis. Park, how you doing, man? Good, I'm doing great. I'm gonna be honest, I'm really nervous. Never interviewed before, and like this, at least. Yeah, I mean, looking at you, looking at your handsome face, like, I, I'm gonna have to remember the answers to the questions that you have for me, so, yeah. Well, we'll start with an easy one. You know, what's, what type of content do you make, and do you wanna tell people about it? Uh, mostly a just chatting, variety streamer, do some React Andy. Lately, I've been playing a lot of single player games. Right now, I'm playing The Last of Us Part Two for the first time. So. Oh, I've heard that's a game. Yeah. It's a game. It's a, it's a game. Uh, hmm. I just, I mean, what, what's the statue on limitation of spoilers? I just, I just killed a pregnant woman in that game, and that <laughs> fucked me up really bad. So yeah, that was fucked up. But yeah. Oh, oh. Well, what did Chad say about that? Lamau, what? Thanks for having me. Is there any content that you're excited about in the coming months, or anything you have planned that you'd share with us? Uh, I'm going to be traveling internationally soon. Details are a little bit under wraps, but I'm going to be doing content there. But like, can't really talk about it yet. But that's what I'm super excited for. Yeah. Do you normally do a lot of IRL content. I'm trying to go more into that as a, as of late, more vlogs, more travel stuff. You know. So uh, yeah. What do you think of the challenges with doing a vlog outdoors as opposed to being a streamer at home? Oh God, you're just so much more comfortable at home. Like, <laughs> When you have a camera out in front of your face in public, yeah. it's really embarrassing. Like I try to do a vlog, a vlog it's a game, in Japan, I, and just like everyone is very quiet. And I'm like, yo guys, I'm checking out this area of Shibuya. It's like it's fucking cringe. It's fucking cringe. So I have to be, I have to own the cringe. I think. So yeah. Yeah, somebody lives in Japan. It is tough to get over that. I have a camera out. And everyone's staring at me, yeah. but you just have to do it. And as Emily told us earlier, you just got to do it. I mean, it's the hardest. You just got to do it, man. So this guy really speaking some. This guy is great. I can't, I can't do what she's doing. We are not able to kill that. It's crazy. We cannot get rid of. Cringe. It's a part of our DNA. Oh, really? Is it? I didn't know that. We are so afraid of cringe in every capacity. Well, I thought British people were cool. No. Where have you been online? I thought. What? A it was so funny seeing the Dutch people stare at you during the IRL streams. <laughs> Bro, drunk as fuck. What the fuck? British people were cool. Well, uh, we have been dragged. I bet the chat was like. Eyes, like got everything. Will they say anything? <laughs> okay. I definitely don't have the beautiful eyes, Bob, but I appreciate the compliment. Connor the does that uh, all the time. Uh, is there any award that you're excited for tonight? Right. Uh, you know, I want to see who wins Gamer of the Year. I'm excited for that category. I think. Yeah, yeah. Peter was. Uh, he was really. He told me he was nervous, but when we started interviewing, he's great. He was really great. One. So yeah. Do you have a favorite? Am I allowed to ask? Ooh. You know, I think she would hate that I said this, but Kaide. Yeah. yeah. She seems very modest yeah. when I was talking to her. Super modest. She's. I mean, it would be funny if she won, but I know she doesn't want to win. So yeah. I'm guessing she didn't prepare a speech. Connor's acting was on point all that. Like, what the fuck? Like, Why the fuck did you guys vote for me? Fuck you guys. That would be her speech. So yeah.
Well, hopefully we'll get to see that today. Uh, but thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it, man. This is a fantastic interview. And I hope you have fun at the Streamer Awards. Uh, and we're going to throw it to another interview now from another lovely one of your red carpet hosts. So, sorry, excuse me. Sorry, I'll send it off to you guys. Sorry, I'm stuttering my words. I've been interviewing for too long. My goodness. All right. Our TV squad. Oh. Our Pokemon came yeah, in. Later. I was probably did get into I know you're guys. nominated for best strategy streamer. People kidding. I feel like this is near the end of my interviews, I feel like. Thank you. Is I done now? Is this it? Am I done? My last interview? Yeah, I think I was done, right? Right? Yeah, it was. Okay. Sick. <laughs> Uh, nice. Okay, that was it. I was kind of sad I didn't get to be like, all right, thanks for uh, thanks for letting me host, guys. Or like, thanks for having it. But it's uh, it's all it, it is how it is. Um, it was great. I mean, the I, I won't go over the stream once much just because I feel like you guys already watched it you, and you seen everyone else go over it. Uh, we got a, we got a shout out to uh, oh, this animation was so cute. This, this all the animations of this people was so great. <laughs> it's so cute! Aww. Aww, oh, Mouse's drawing is so cute too. Let's start it, alright. I mean, like, uh... Oh fuck, whoa, look at that. I, I actually got that point, what the fuck? I'm pretty sure I did lower it though, it should help. I don't get it. I should run for president? Yeah, no, I think being British and running for the US president would be, you know, that's a fantastic idea. I bet that. <laughs> I couldn't believe, I was, because when they, when they were doing this, I was like, if they're gonna, sh if they're gonna show, because well, I didn't know they were doing this, but, um, I thought, if they're gonna show anything, it'll be from, like, when I recently started streaming again, like, 2019. And when they pulled out this clip, I was like, what the fuck? Also, I'm fucking two and eight. I'm straight up inting on Garen, this game. Um, and I, my vo my accent is so different. Where can we find the full vault? I don't know. That's the thing. I don't even know what you type in to get this. Like, Sea Dog VA League of Legends. Like, what do I... Like, 2016. What do I type in to find this? Sea Dog VA gets tilted playing. That's from ages ago. That's not even from the right one. I don't even know how you find this. Like, I, how did you... How did they even know this existed? I don't know where you get this. Twitch probably. I don't think it's on Twitch though. Is it on Twitch? I don't think it's on Twitch. No. Is it on Twitch? I don't think it's on. Uh, I mean, I can have a look, sees, but I don't think it is. Yeah, my my oldest highlight on this channel is from four years ago, which is when I like kind of started streaming again more. Fuck knows. I don't know where you got where they got this from. <laughs> uh, genuinely no idea. I don't know how they'd even know this existed because you'd have to scroll for so long. Maybe they went like Sea Dog VA and like went in the. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. You know what? Actually, maybe if I went to YouTube, what if I did YouTube League of Legends 2016 and I went like uh, upload date. Like, wouldn't that make it the highest? Oh, dude. Not this year. Okay, you, you can't even... No more results. Okay. Like you'd have to go, like, really far back, no? Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Oh, this is my... <laughs> That's my little brother. Jesus Christ. Oh, and you <laughs> oh my god, that's it's eight years ago that video was. How long was eight years ago? It's 2016. Um, that's my old profile picture as well. My brother? Cooney? Yeah, that's my uh that was my like my family's nickname. 
I know it sounds bad, but that's like because it was like Cahoon. But that sounds bad. <laughs> that does sound bad no nowadays. <laughs> but I, I promise it's not, chat. All right, all right. That's not my channel. That's my, that was my, I think, my, my brother's channel, I think. I don't know. But look, I don't even know where you get this. Where do you get this thing? Where do you get this? You don't even get this. I don't know how you get this. It's crazy. I don't know how they got this. For president? Yeah, no, I think being British and running for the US president would be, you know, that's fantastic. And it's crazy how different I sound. I don't sound like that even remotely anymore. And I don't have a beard. And uh, my camera's so fucking big. Yeah, I bet that my mic's too loud. Why is, why am I, why is my camera so big? They must have been zooming it in. Being British and running for the US president would be, you know, that's a fantastic idea. I bet that my mic's too loud. That's Dan Clancy? Saying. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Such a posh accent there? That's, that's not a posh accent, I'm telling you now. Um, that, I, this video was so good. This was such a good idea. Uh, I thought it was a fantastic idea doing that. Um. Okay, let's. Where's the IRL? I want to go to the IRL. But, because. after? Uh, what is the IRL's pretty soon in, I think. Before? Nah, it wasn't before, was it? Timestamps? I gotta go to the other one, actually. Let me go, uh, stream rewards. Okay, here we go. This helps. Thanks, bro. 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 Thanks, bro.
Uh, this is a great recap. It was long, but it, it didn't even feel long. It was so good. I, I'm glad they did it. Um, best streamed event. All right, let's see, let's let's relive the owl. Need to do event. Hello. You show so funny as well. This is such a good this. bit. Too few of YouTubers. Uh, Charles, I guess, yeah. And I've been sent here to deliver this message. Well, that definitely should have been a little bit more, I think, but it's hard, you know. I mean, they, they, they can never please everyone, and if the editor just doesn't know anything about them, it's tough. The nominees for best streamed event. I okay. I was I was uh okay. I'll, I'll, hold on, I'll let it play. VA charity auction. I was impressed people cheered. <laughs> Because last year I remember like the cheering was like not that much. So I was kind of like, oh whoa, that's very nice, dude. That was very that's so nice that people uh cheered for me. Uh I was like, wow, that's fucking that's so that's so fucking sweet. NMP Law. Because I was worried about Wild that. West. Ludwig, creator dodgeball. <laughs> And Kai Sinat, seven days in. Why when I why wasn't I nominated for the RV trip? It's up to me to kind of decide which one to tell you guys to nominate, right? And I felt like I felt like the charity event had the easiest chance of winning out of all of them. Um in general, I think. Um But that being said, when I saw the nominations, the the other nominees, I was like, bro. <laughs> like no shot. Absolutely no shot. I thought even if somehow I managed to rally you guys to vote like crazy, how the fuck do we outvote like something like Kai? Like, I thought that was impossible. So like I, I was like, I went into this absolutely knowing there was such a low chance of winning. So I was not at all worried. I was not sad at all when I lost. Uh, I was not beat up about it. So, but okay, I can tell you this chat. I know for a fact that we, we had a fuck ton of votes. I know that. Um, I know that you guys came out in droves. Uh, and it wasn't a stomp, so we we did great. So I'm really fucking stoked that we got you guys came out so hard. Uh, we were close. I think we were close. You know, maybe next year, maybe next year we'll 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 push harder. You know, uh, we'll see, we'll see. I wish they'd reveal the turtles. They don't reveal the turtles. I think, uh, but just because it's like it's not it's not really fair for some people. If it's like they came like if they got like like if someone got like barely any votes, I think that like. Compared to someone else, it just looks bad. It's just an unnecessarily unnecessary drama, you know. And I think it's kind of toxic. How was that, Jackson? The guy not nominated again. You gotta, you gotta, you have to kind of like. It's 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 on the streamers to push it for themselves. If a streamer doesn't want to get nominated, you know, because you could say like, why didn't the uh, the side men match get nominated or something like that, right? You could you could argue that. I think that's fair. But it's it's you could also say that like Jack isn't a streamer. Uh KSI is not a streamer. This is the streamer awards, uh, you know, and I think that it's it's up, you know, it's up for the streamers also to little bit promote themselves. You, is it the best singular event? You could argue that. I think that's a fair argument. Um, but they're also not streamers, so I think it's it's also kind of like, all right, well, you know, <laughs> you know I think it's uh, it's tough. They should add a charity stream for one. They did have the charity stream last year, and I think the main issue with the charity. Um, the chari charity category is that uh, it turns into like a dick measuring contest. I think it's not healthy. I think it's counterintuitive for what charity is trying to promote because I think that uh, last year, from my personal experience, like I'm very good friends with uh, with Sean, uh, Jack Sepikai, and uh, when I won the award last year, a lot of people were dogging on me saying like, how is it fair that he won? He didn't raise as much money. And I, and I think that's counterintuitive to the, the category. Uh, it's not meant to promote who won the most money. You know, it's, it's meant to promote like cool events and cool ways to promote charity, you know? Um, and I think that uh, people were just being unnecessarily toxic and there's no way, I think it's a, I personally think that it's really hard for viewers to separate that. And so for voting for it is really tough. I think it's just hard to get viewers not to vote with their like big money equals best event because that's not the point of charity charity is about encouraging creators to use their platform you know and use it in creative ways 
Um, you know, and I, I think that people were people were arguing the validity of who should have won. I saw it on both sides. People were like, Jack raised crazy amounts of money and people were like, well, Connor spent seven days cycling, so he deserves it. And it's like, well, it's not what it's about. <laughs> like we both, we both used our platform, which should be celebrated. Um, and I think it's really tough. And I also think that like, there was just a lack of people who did charity events this year. I don't think a lot of people did charity events. Like I think, and that's, that's the sad part. I just don't think people did charity events. So I think that's a shame. Um, you know. And the winner goes to? I don't really know what to do with my face. I never did. Ludwig. He was so pissed off that he won. He was so angry. <laughs> he did not want to win. <laughs> uh, I think, I think the, uh, I don't, sp I don't speak for Ludwig in any capacity here, but I think that he, he's worried that it looks bad. Um, because, you know, it's Cutie's event. Uh, and, uh, he doesn't want to make it seem like he got favorite, he got favoritism. Um, so I think it's, uh, people weren't booing, they were wooing, by the way. So I think he's just, and, and I think it's, we, Ludwig also understood that if anyone but Kai won, there was probably going to be a bunch of people in chat who were like, L, 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 you know what I mean? And so I think he was like, I don't want to have to deal with this. I don't want to have to deal with this, you know? Um, and void the nomination. But I think if everyone is worried about not giving it to the guy with the largest audience, that's also just bad. That's not a great thing to do. Um, that also looks cringe. It, it, it's so lame to get nominated and be like, take me out. I think that's like a very petty thing to do and shows that like you, you know, you're like you got nominated, dude. Just like fucking shut up and take it. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's really, it's, it looks it looks like you're you're being a dick and you're you're ruining work that people have already put in to put the show together. Um, so, hmm, you know, and it was voted by the most people. I would, you know, is, is understandable. Ludwig is a huge name. Everyone knows Ludwig. Even people who don't watch Ludwig know Ludwig. It's really easy to vote for Ludwig, right? So I think that's also why we probably saw it that Would it won. Would you ever consider doing a charity event to raise money for bunny rescues and animal <laughs> rescues? Uh, I'd love to see you raise money for all the bunnies and kitties and doggies out there that need some love. That, that's, I want to see that's you fair, stream Emma. at shelters for charity smile. Um, I'd also love to see Emma, you, you do it. <laughs> Emma, I want to see you do an event. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, what I will say about that is that uh, as I've started doing more charity stuff, for me, it's not that like I don't think there's any other things that are deserving, but I think uh, as a creator, it's it's a lot more helpful for me to run and and promote charity if I am consistent with my message. Um, it's a lot easier for me to be like, hey, this is the charity that I work with a lot. You know, like I'm I'm on I I I have calls with the IDF often, not not that one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've I've calls with the Immune Deficiency Foundation uh, a lot. Like we talk, I you know I'm like I ask them where the money's going. Uh, we we discuss how we can improve, you know, the message. How can we make it so people understand uh, more? Um, you know, like what people are uh, this this disease, and I think like that's really valuable that I'm able to like uh, work with them closely. And also understand the business, you know, because charities, have, they, they run on money, right? How can I make sure that the most money is getting used to, uh, you know, go to, to the thing? And I think that if you do too many different charities, if you do too many different charities, um, it, it kind of dilutes the message. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to keep track. Chat. Uh, so I, I want to make sure I'm also, <laughs> I will say I, I, I have to like, cause you know, people are very passionate about it, you know, and, 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 and what's going on right now, like absolutely fuck what the, the Israeli government is doing. It's absolutely fucked up. I know that I'm just gonna say this now chat. So you guys can stop. You can be like, I've said it, right? Like it is absolutely fucked up what they're doing. And I absolutely would love to show support. Uh, but I, it's it kind of sucks to pick your battles. You know what I mean? I have to like, as a streamer, I have to try and figure out what to talk about and when, when, when it's appropriate, right? Uh, and I know that people are like, wow, people, you know, there's always this time. It's tough. It's really tough. It's fucking disgusting what's happening. 
And obviously, I think we all want it to fucking stop. Uh, and and I'd like you to know that me saying that is not me ignoring it in any capacity. You know, and I don't want to ignore people who are very passionate about it. Uh, and, and in terms, because, you know, it needs to fucking stop. Um, but it's going to be tough <laughs> doing the, if we do another charity event, because I am going to do it for the IDF, not the Israeli Defense Force. It's so tough. I, I have to, I have probably just have to not say the IDF. But I just have to say the Munich Seek Foundation, you know what I mean? Um, and so that's just, <laughs> it's so tough. Because, you know, I, and, and, and it's not to diminish that in any, any capacity. And I'm not trying to dismiss it, like, trying to ignore what is happening. Uh, because I think that's, that's fucking dumb as well. But I'm also trying to make sure that we raise money for the course I'm trying to raise money for, you know? Uh, and to me, I work really closely with the IDF, I, like, and I think this is super important when you work with charities to know where the money is going. I think it's really, really, really important to do that. Uh, Cause I, I, a lot of the times you hear about this stuff where you give money to charity, especially large amounts. You know, like if you're a streamer and you raise like a, oh, if ads, fuck. Sorry, chat. You raise like a million dollars for charity and you're like, I don't, I don't fucking know how to spend the money. They can't change the name. Yeah, chat, it's, <laughs> chat, they've been around for a very long time. The, 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 immune deficiency, the Immune Deficiency Foundation has been around for an extremely long time. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it's, it, I, I think it's, why should they have to change their name? Because of this absolutely dog shit, <laughs> dog shit government. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, point being, point being. Um, I have to just... In future, only say Immune Deficiency Foundation. <laughs> I, I, I cannot shorten it. Um, <laughs> what else was I saying? Um, and yeah, like I, 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 again, I work with the IDF. I, I've, they've, they've been fantastic. They've been so transparent with me, uh, and I talk with the CEO. I talk with many of the members of the IDF, and I, I consider them friends. And I, it's dude, it's like a family, man. I'm trying to, I really, really care about what's going on uh, with the Immune Deficiency Foundation. I, I, I'm very passionate about it and I, I really want to help them and help it and, and get more awareness on it. You know, I, I, we go on calls and I'm like, how how can we get this message more clear? Like, how do we explain like CVID to people? How do we explain this kind of stuff to people? How do we make it easier? And that's hard. Like, and I, but I want more streamers to do this. Um, and I, you know, I work really hard on that. I'm very passionate about that. And I think for me, that's why I only really promote them because, you know, I want you guys to know what I'm about and I really trust them. Uh, you know, like they, they told me, uh, I think it's fair to tell you guys, you know, like a lot of the money allowed them to, you know, bring a lot of patients out with CVID to, uh, to meet other people, you know, cause not every CVID case is different. You know, mouse obviously, and you know, as it quite severe, mouse can't be around other people, but you know, people who are, have just I'm been diagnosed and don't have it as severe can meet as other people with it. As someone who's been studying this conflict for years, it's mm. so important that we call out Israel for their blatant disregard for international mm. humanitarian laws and their racking up war yeah. crimes. They have a lot to answer for. I mean, I agree. I also will say that, listen, most of my streams have been fucking around playing games, and I, I'm totally understandable if a lot of people are like, hey, I just want to fucking chill the fuck out. It's cool to know where we stand on this. I think we all agree. And let's just fucking continue with the fucking games. Let's just have a good time, you know? So I think that's... I, I, I try to keep that vibe because I think that... Listen, I'm... We, we, there are a lot of people who are better at talking about it than me and give you much better information. And I think that having me talk about it just doesn't help that much. I think I can tell you my, my side and how I feel about it. And I think that's pretty obvious based on how most of you know kind of where I lean on this kind of stuff. So yeah still helps i know it helps i know it helps but i just want to you know because you know at the end of the day i'm just you know trying to do dumb streams so point being uh yeah i talked to them and you know the idf work a lot and they you know i'm actually going full screen because i'm not fucking talking about this and i took the idf and you know they told me that a lot of the money has gone towards you know getting doctors more knowledgeable bring flying doctors out to conventions because doctors don't even know doctors don't even think because if your doctor doesn't even think like let's say someone comes in they're ill right you're ill. Sorry, I'm sorry I'm getting, like, sidetracked, by the way. I'm just very passionate about this. Like, you're ill, right? Uh, you go to the doctor, and you could be potentially developing some autoimmune disease, uh, you know, and, and whatnot. Um, you, your doctor wouldn't even think to test you for it. 
Have so you a ever lot of the, about okay. doing a cyclathon on the Appalachian Trail in the U.S. or are you strictly doing fundraisers I, only I, in Japan? I just think Japan for now. I think you have an opportunity yeah. to show off some underseen beautiful places. I think Thanks, just Japan smile. for now. I think Japan for now, uh, just because I like Japan and also I know the internet works, which is a huge thing, and I can test that reliably. It would be awful if I went to do a stream, announced it, how I was like, everyone, come on, come on, watch, and the internet doesn't work. Um. After yes, I, I mean, I probably should. You're right. I can, I can also just mute it. Not a big deal. Um, like, it's, you know, a lot of the money goes out to flying doctors out to get them more knowledge because doctors don't even know they can test for this. They don't even know that they should think about this disease. Uh, and that's, that's half the fucking battle. Like, if people don't even know that they have this, how can you treat for it? Um, and so a lot of the money goes towards uh, educating doctors allowing people with CVID or autoimmune diseases to meet other people and they were telling me they were like dude they were like Connor thank you so much for, for what you and Mouse are doing you know because you've raised this money we're allowed to like get other people who have these diseases to meet other people um you know and, and we're, they're trying to catch it early and the huge thing they were telling me is that that they were able to to you know we all we always hear about how lobbying is bad but sometimes lobbying can be good uh, they they use some of the money to lobby in Congress to get uh, CVID included in like medical insurance bills. Like this is like real shit that like we're, we're affecting chat. Like our money is directly like funding, like like really impactful shit. Uh, there was a huge win. They got it included in a bill that passed. Like this is a real bill that passed. Like you CVID or like some parts of it, I don't know if exactly, but like I need to research it more and ask them for more information. But like parts of it, got pushed through Congress. And like now it'll be included in some like insurances because before it wasn't, you know, because it was again, because doctors don't know about it. And, you know, and insurance companies aren't going to fucking, do you think insurance companies are going to include more stuff if they don't have to? Like, it's so like, it is sad to say, but because cancer is so known and so impactful and so life crushing, it's really easy for like, people to argue that it should be included in like medical insurance and stuff like that, right? Uh, but insurance companies love it when there's a, a, a disease that no one knows. They fucking love that because they don't have to fucking pay. No one's going to tell them to put it on the bill. No one's going to ask them to, you know, put it on there. So, you know, a lot of this money and stuff needs to be done. Like, like it, it, we need to help people. You know, we need to get the, the services better. But we also need to like actually change the norms um and you know and as much as i dog on america you know uh, uh you know having like steps in place you know and having a like especially if like a country like america does things and changes things it, it sometimes often does lead for changes in other countries as well so i think that it's really important to uh you know know what we've done and i think that's so cool that some of the money we've raised has helped make genuine changes that we can we can say look look what we've done uh and also you know uh Plasma donations have gone up in the U.S. You know, plasma, U.S. accounts for like, it's something ridiculous, like 90% of the world's plasma. Um, you know, it's uh, it, it's crazy. Like the, the plasma donations have gone up in the U.S. Uh, and, you know, we don't know why, but the, the IDF is like, well, I mean, surely like you and Mouse pushing it all the time can't hurt. Um, and I think that's like, uh, it's, 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 it's easy to feel that like, uh, you know, that that we, we, what we do here doesn't make an impact, but that, you know, what the donations and, and the stuff that we're doing is, is really impactful. And I think that's because we, you know, uh, I care and I care so much that I want you guys to care so much. And I think that, that it's a, it's a, it's a cycle that works. You didn't know any of this? Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm really bad at telling you guys this because I, I don't like pushing it on you guys all the time. Um, but you know, when, like, I just want you to know these cyclothons, these charity events, when you guys are so kind and give like $10, man, I don't know. I'm getting emotional on that thing, right? When you guys give like $10 or $20, that shit adds up. It really helps. So I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I mean, the reason why the US has so many like plasma donations because they pay. No other countries pay. You know, there's a stigma, and I think it's fair that that donations should be free. Blood donations, plasma donations should be uh, a thing that people should just do. But plasma donations are not fun. It's, it's not an easy thing to do. So I think the U.S. offering money for it is is a great thing. I think that's a great thing that they do, um, and I think that it, it's a thing that I I wish that more countries did do. Um, Germany get paid for that too. That's great. And I think more countries should pay for it because right now U.S. supplies most of the world's plasma, which is insane. 
Um, uh, and I, you know, it's, it's tough. It, yeah, it, I know it, I just identify because they don't want people, poor people being taken advantage of and making themselves like science subjects. But I think it's also fair to be like, look, someone is giving up valuable time and also making themselves feel worse uh, for, and they'll never know. Like they'll never know the, the impact they had on someone. Like they're potentially saving someone's life, but they don't get to see that. And that's hard to like get that through to people and f to feel that way. Uh, but plasma helps so much and there's a shortage of it. There constantly has been. You just want awareness to spread. And that's what we try to do with these events, right? Like, uh, uh, and not, I've been on a rant for this for ages now, but you know, the, the, the charity events are as much awareness as they are make number go big. Um, and so to me, it's just, it's, it's about getting as much awareness as possible and get people to know this is a thing. Because I didn't know this was a thing. I didn't even know this was a thing. And even, even like a year into learning about it, I still didn't really understand what it was. Um, but it's scary, man. Like you just get sick one day and suddenly you start getting sick a bunch and you're like, what the fuck's happening? And you start getting really sick all the time. You're like, what is happening to my body? You know, and it's so crucial to find it early. Uh, obviously we have some text sweet donations. One of my, uh, Emma says, one of my good friends is an autoimmune condition. And for the longest time they told me they thought what they had was normal and had only recently found out that because uh, they, when they became an adult. Also, chat, I would love to stream. I just don't have the setup for a rip. Yeah. I mean, it's unfortunate. But, you know, there are people who also don't have platforms who are able to make or push for charity or be a part of charitable events, like volunteering for stuff. Um, and, and Sincosha says, sounds like the perfect time to leak the dates to the next cycle. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Don't worry. I don't know when to announce it, but, uh, I, I mean, it's, I mean, I can probably tell you guys, I mean, it's going to happen in, Mouse already said it's in April. It's going to be longer as well. It's actually longer, <laughs> longer than the last one. And it's going to be in April. So, yeah. Uh, sorry, lol. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I should announce it really, to be honest. But I mean, there's no formal announcing, but I'll just tell you guys it's happening. 10 days, <laughs> even longer, even longer chat. Maybe you guys, maybe you guys will like that. I don't know if you guys want it longer or not. It just, it, there was just no more clear roots left. And there was like, you know, it's kind of the only way to do it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, it'll, it'll be like, it'll be like two weeks. It'll be like two weeks. It's long. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, Kabuki says, as a gay man in Australia, I've tried to donate blood and plasma several times, but they still have laws stopping willing people to be able to yeah it's an, it's it's really unfortunate um hopefully we can get this changed monkey thank you being so good yeah I, I, it makes no sense that we shouldn't just test like it like people have to get tested anyway so if someone's clear just let them do it um, but i know there's obviously this, this concerns but you know hopefully if it you know changes and eventually i wish i could donate i'm sad that i can't will there be guests maybe 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 <laughs> Uh, this is stuff I got to figure out, chat. Anyway, the event, the event. The event. <laughs> is Chris ready for two weeks? I don't know about that. Obviously, Mouse, winning best VTuber. Oh. It's Pom Pom from Honkai Star Rail. Pom Pom was the goat, bro. I'm modeling. I was pretty sure Mouse would win this one. I mean, me and Mouse campaigned pretty hard. So I would have been surprised, but I mean, all of these guys are also so I know you went on like, a ten minute rant about uh, focusing on you know, charity organization. So so deserved. About an Alva stream, smile. I'd love to do an Alva stream. I I asked Maya if I could, and she was like, "Yeah." I just got to figure out when. All all, the, all these YouTubers, YouTubers have had great years. I think all of them have done amazing stuff that are deserving. But obviously, I'm biased as fuck. Iron Mouse. Shoto. I like how I, I I got really in there for Mouse, cheering, and everyone was like... Shoto. <laughs> and Beetle. I think uh, <laughs> the crowd was not too sure on some of these people. It's fine. I'll, I'll Gum was so it. happy. Gum was so happy. Bless him. Don't say, don't feel bad for Bum, huh? I'm being nice. I'm sorry. No, don't look sad. I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> Iron Mouse. <laughs> oh, Mouse so cute, Blast. Someone kept tagging me in a video being like, damn, why that? Why is your butt so good? I was like, what the fuck? How did you even notice that? Oh my god. <laughs> can, can you guys hear me? 
<laughs> I didn't want to talk because so I was like, his mouse is tired. I want to thank uh, my community. I want to thank my friends. Uh, thank you also, uh, Connor, for bringing me out here. And, speech was great. Mouse did great this time. Uh, this is a great speech. So Better than last time, Mouse. I think. And uh, my family. And uh, oh my God, I'm not good at like giving speeches because I never think I'm ever going to win. <laughs> to humble. Uh, but I just want to say. Uh, <sighs> I, I, I just emoted. I was like, I'll emote. It's very important. Uh, I became a VTuber. <laughs> this is a great speech. This is a great because, prop match. She's great. Uh, I was born with a immune deficiency condition called CVID, uh, which does not allow me to be around people. So that's why uh, I became an anime girl on the internet. And I'm just really Such happy that technology has come this far that allows me to be in a room with all of my friends and to be able to just participate in the streaming world with you guys and i'm just incredibly grateful so thank you guys so much i love you guys <laughs> and then i've got to take the award i did grab it later and give it to gun gun it's in gun safe section and then i think this video didn't play and i think it was just a variety that i was voted for but dude i was under no illusions <laughs> Uh, I was fully aware that uh, Queso would win. Hello. I just, I mean, he had a crazy year. I was like shaking in the back. My um, friend needs I plasma asked... donations to remain healthy. So chat, don't forget to donate plasma if you can. If you do, I'll be your friend forever. Let's break True. a new record this True. year for money raised to the Immune Deficiency Foundation. We got this chat. Without further ado, here are your nominees. Queso. I mean, even if like somehow like Queso didn't like win or didn't get enough votes, it's like how do I beat Ludwig and X and 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 Fuseli? Like that. Like, I mean, like how? C Dog V A. I was just having people cheered for me. I was like so shocked. Because I do remember last time people were like, mm. like it, was, it wasn't as much. So I was really, dude, people cheering for me was so nice. That was very, like, I, that, honestly, that, that made me, like, the happiest. Because I was like, oh, man, that feels so good that people even, like, care to cheer for me. I don't know. I, I felt that was really nice. Your nominees. Queso. Sea Dog VA. Aw. So many cheers. So nice. Food. Ludwig. Oh, we, were, we were cheersing each other. And Everyone's names came up. XQC. <laughs> Try to cheers the chair. I pointed and it. The okay. the winner of the best variety gamer goes to... Queso. <laughs> My favorite part is... Uh, <laughs> this is good. But Squeaks? Squeaks was like... I'm gonna do this thing where I get pissed off when I lose. And it was so funny. It was such a good bit. Look at this, look at this, watch this. Look at, so watch Squeak's camera. Watch when he loses. the people of the award is... Gonna pull this thing off. All right. The people goes to... Jinxie! <laughs> is there a video? Okay, there's a video. Is there a video? Yes. There is a video. Because he is not here. Okay. It's going to play. <laughs> and then, like, the clip went on, went like viral on TikTok, and everyone was like, little bro, what a piece of shit. What an asshole. Who's this guy think he is? <laughs> it was so fucking funny. It was so funny. Dude, it was. Oh my god. Okay, so, uh, not okay, so if I get a uh, squeaks on stream uh, uh, yesterday before I left, I was watching it and he was just reading all the hate comments. They were so funny. I gotta take that next time. If I lose a lot again, I gotta be like, I, I should have done that. But dude, you could barely fucking see me in this camera because I was like sandwiched between like four people and the camera was so shaky. It was like, it was like a, a found footage. Uh, <laughs> so it was like, you barely see me. Um, so that was basically like the, the main of the stream rewards from like my perspective, everything else you've already seen and whatnot. Then we went to the after party. It was fun. It was great. I finally got to talk to to Sal a bit more. It was uh, it was a lot of fun. I got to, to uh, talk to Etoile more. 
Um, it was really nice. Yeah, I just got to speak to everyone. They ate great pizza. It was great. I, I, I demolished the pizza, and I think that, uh, wait, how many drinks I had? So I had, I had one shot of tequila on the, on the, on the red carpet interviews. I had one champagne directly after that. So that was all they had. And then I had, like, two glasses of wine, three vodka cranberries during the awards. That was all, all I drank during that time. Then it was the after party, and I think I had, like, three... More vodka cranberries. <laughs> and I think I, I salvit maybe do like two shots. Well damn, yeah, I do remember. I wasn't I wasn't that bad. I wasn't that drunk. Uh the first vodka cranberry they gave me was perfect. And when I ordered the second one, they gave it to me, and I was like oh. I, I was it was like pure ethanol. I was like, Christ! And I asked them, I, I drank like, I drank like a sip of it and I was like, hey guys, I'm, I'm gonna show you a dick. Do you have any just like cranberry juice I can have so I can dilute this? I can't fucking, <laughs> this is, this is, I'll be fucked if I drink this. You've got to show the Austin show clip? Oh yeah, I did, didn't I? I don't know when that was. Here, look. Uh, Legacy Award? Yeah, that, I mean, that was great. I mean, I, I, you know, I think that's, if you're a fan of Maximilian, that's great. I don't think I want to go over it, just because I don't think it really pertains much to me, and I can't really add anything. Um, Hassan Piker, what are you going to say, You just can't Hassan? see it. Why not? Let's okay, hold on. To say. Hold on, I got to get over there. This isn't Discord. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, God. I Almost second. Wonderful, the gorgeous, the fabulous Caroline Quad. I'm going to sit on her lap. So I managed to grab Mouse. Gamer reflexes. Oh, wow. Then Austin spoke to me afterwards. Oh. Oh my God! You're covering your face. Have you ever seen a gay? Can a gay man and a straight woman be in love? Uh, absolutely, if uh, so permits it. You know, I it was a little, uh, little cringe for a second. There. I, oh, 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 well, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that made you uncomfortable. <laughs> Drink more wine. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Um, and then uh, we uh, yeah went to the after party. It was great. Ate pizza. Uh, caught up with people, said hi to everyone, and then we like went over, uh, hung out at the roomie's house, it was great, I just stole Myung's dog, whole night I was just holding it, it was just, Nabi would just stay in my hand, Nabi was just chilling in my hand the whole night, I was like, just drinking, just drinking away, having a, I don't know what we had, what did they, what did I drink there, what the fuck did I drink, I don't think they had anything, I don't remember what I was drinking, that'd be so cute yeah Myung's dog is so cute I was holding it just chilling all night and it got to like 3 a.m and I was so hungry what ends up happening when I drink alcohol is that it's like a double whammy on my body not only am I already drinking way too many calories um with the with the alcohol I also get so hungry and I, and I couldn't just order food for myself at someone else's house so I was like fuck it so I think I ordered like Oh fuck, what did I order? Actually, I can have a look. I ordered McDonald's at 3 a.m. <laughs> and I ordered it for everyone. Nobody asked. I didn't even check if anyone wanted We've it. We've been meaning to talk about this. Okay. But it's time we addressed your severe drinking problem. What? This is an intervention. I think drinking Chatton swag is my problem. For I'm too good with it. Time for you to go to Alcohol Anonymous. We're all That's a lot of money. I didn't realize I spent that much. Uh, I had spent... $150 on McDonald's. Because <laughs> there was like 20 people there. So I was like, I should just order enough for everyone if they want a burger. What does that even mean? What does that mean? I, I don't know what it means, Dan. I, I just, I'm, I'm just, cr I'm just nutty. What was I, I, I ordered, I ordered like 60 nuggets, five Big Macs, five spicy McChickens, five double cheeseburgers, and five normal McChickens, I think. And I was like, people can just have it. And so I demolished like a Big Mac and two spicy McChickens. It was great. Meanwhile, Salbert just keeps trying to feed me shots. That bastard. I, I'm, 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 I'm getting to the point where I'm getting a little too drunk. Not a little too drunk. I'm just getting drunk, which I don't like to get to normally. You would demolish the breakfast menu with that. <laughs> I didn't know what to order for people. So I just ordered everything that I like. 
I have no idea if anyone was even going to eat this. So I just ordered it and people started going into it. And I got a message the next day. A few, few people that were like, you saved us with the McDonald's. I was like, you're welcome. <laughs> um, so I feel like if I'm going to order food and there's a group of people, I have to order for everyone. It's a, it's a, it's a party foul if you don't. Can you buy the mods some burgers? If we're all hanging out, I'll buy you some burgers. Hell yeah. You can't, at a party, you have to buy at least enough food for everyone to have like one. Kind of Based you. on those food streams with Ludwig, I thought you hated McDonald's in America. Yeah, but if, if you had like nine shots and eight vodka cranberries, I think everything in the McDonald's menu tastes like heaven. <laughs> so I ordered the food and we were just chatting and it was really fun. I spent so much time talking to Selbit. We were, just, we were just talking about games the whole night. He's telling me about, I gotta play Outer Wilds. I want to, I will. Uh, I was, we were talking about Void Stranger for a long time. Um, so I'll play Outer Wilds at some point, chat. And then, uh, I was, <laughs> I, but I knew the next day I had to wake up at 9am, I think. I think it was 9am. And, uh, I didn't get home in, until like 4.30. So I, I fell asleep at like 4.30, 4.40. And I had to be up at 9 to, to <laughs> go to the airport. To go to San Francisco. Um, and, uh, yeah, that was rough. That was a rough morning. And so as Ludwig told you, we went to the airport. It was really annoying because Ludwig, Ludwig times airports, like Ludwig for domestic flights. I don't know what he does for international, but domestic flights, he rocks up 20 minutes before the flight is boarding, uh, which I respect. I, I'm personally like an hour guy, maybe even an hour and a half. I like to chill out a little bit. 20 minute window is crazy for me. Um... That's wild for me. I don't know how he does that. I think one hour is like perfect. You get to chill out. You get to grab a coffee. You get to grab a bunch of eat. Uh, you never fly. Death. Why not? You should fly. Flying's fun. So he, he, we got that 20 minutes before. And of course, we're literally about to arrive at the airport. The flight gets delayed an hour and a half. And Ludwig, Ludwig's not freaking out. But Ludwig, I've never seen Ludwig freak out. And I think this is a valid time to freak out because... There's a whole filming crew waiting in San Francisco. Uh, and we had a very tight window where we had to film something. And we had like a, a two hour window. And now we're an hour and a half late. So like, one, Ludwig absolutely should have scheduled this differently. But he kind of couldn't because it was like, it, it was the, the whole shoot was scheduled around me and him. And I, I didn't really give him a lot of time to work with. Uh, we could have done it for the day after as well. But I think it was, um, it didn't work out like that. So we ended up being an hour and a half late. And I, I wouldn't tell you what, but money solved the problem, basically, <laughs> for the shoot. I don't want to spoil anything, because the shoot is, it was so good, chat. I I don't think I have, I have, been, I have done a funnier video in my life. Um, uh, so when it comes out, you guys are going to be so stoked about it. It's going to be hard to edit, though. Um, it, you guys are going to fucking love it. I don't think anyone's done anything like that on YouTube as well. Uh, that was... It was fucking hard. Um, so I'm super excited for that to come out. It's going to be on Lud's channel. Uh, it was like a really well-produced video. And then right after that, he's like, hey, I don't know if you're interested, but uh, I, I go, I'm go, i going to this Smash tournament. And I was like, well, shit, I've, I've never been to a Smash tournament. Yeah, fuck it, let's go. He's like, yeah, but we'd have to return like the next day from San Jose. I was like, okay, sure, why not? Let's do it. Um, and so... Ah, uh, fuck, let me get the picks, let me get the picks. It was, it was Genesis, which apparently they told me was the biggest Smash tournament. Um, and I was like, cool. Yeah, why not? And I, I didn't really understand what I was getting myself into. I'll be honest with you, Chad, I didn't know. Let me find it. Um, let me have a look, it's easier. Uh... Let me, let me find it. There's a link that someone had with pictures. Fuck, where are they? I lost it. I didn't save the link. I should have saved the link. Wait, maybe I have it in my search history. Genesis? Yeah, uh, the, there's pics of me at Genesis. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, I found, I found, I found, found, found. Uh, let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. Gen let me go to the, first of all, let me show you the seats we had. I kind of was like, what? Uh, 
Oh my god, I typed in Genesis wrong and, it, and a video came up with someone fucking. What the fuck is wrong with Twitter? How did that even pop up? Why this- why is it all porn? I hate Twitter! This is fucking awful! Oh my god, uh... Show up? No, chat. Let me show you though. Let me show you, let me show you this pig. Let me show you this fucking pig. <gasps> no, it's so embarrassing. It looks so bad. I hate it. Let me find it. Where is this post? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Alright, look at this, look at this. Look at this. Okay, okay, to preface, to preface. Ludwig fucking ditched me, right? Look at me. Look at our seats! I'm right there! I felt like that was unfair because I couldn't appreciate as much as the other people, you know? Uh, and I'm right in the front. We have these four reserve seats at Lud. Uh, they're, they're like Lud seats because, you know, obviously Lud, two of his players from Moist Moguls are playing. And everyone's freaking out about something. And I'm just on my phone. Because <laughs> Lud ditched me. And, I, and I, there was a few times where I, was, I pulled on my phone to like look at who the players were. Because I, did, I, did, I, I didn't know anyone. The only person I knew was Amsa, because I watched that great video uh, from like uh, Samus. Oh, I forgot his name on, on. He does great Smash videos. Um. Uh, and uh, I I knew about a uh, Amsa because uh, he's a Japanese player who uses like a Yoshi. Uh, and I'm I'm not looking, so I'm I'm trying to search up all the other guys. Who I don't know. And Ludwig's gone somewhere. I don't know where he's gone. And so I'm just sitting there alone. This guy was great, by the way. I forgot, I didn't catch his name, but he was he was a fan. He said he watched Trash Taste. There was a lot of people who watched Trash Taste there, actually. I got approached a lot. And uh, he was telling me, he was trying to inform me a little bit because he knew I didn't know that much. Because it was crazy because I was watching it. And it's impossible. If you don't know Smash, some of these players are so fucking good at this game, I can't even remotely begin to appreciate what is happening. And so, like, someone does something and someone goes... Oh, I can't believe he missed that up tilt. That is crazy. I can't believe he missed that wave dash. It's like, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And I don't know when they fucked it up. So I'm trying to figure this all out while I'm, you know, but the energy is amazing. Like, I think that that is the best sporting event I've ever been to in America. Like, I've been to the LA, uh, like fucking, what is it called? Like the LA, whatever that basketball team's called versus the Celtics. It was like an insane overtime thing. And the crowd had nothing on these guys. Lakers, LA Lakers, yeah. The crowd, the energy from the crowd, uh, uh, from Smash players is like, it's like, I told the guys, I was like, this is like British football. Like the level of energy from the crowd is fucking in insane. Like I get why people love this community. Like it's great. Like the Smash community is fucking awesome. They got so pumped for everything. And like whenever that one stage comes on, they're like, dun, 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 dun. And everyone, everyone starts clapping along. <laughs> and then Ludwig was telling me the lore about how people were like, there's like people who are against clapping and they try to throw the clapping off beat. And I was like, what? This is like, the lore is so intense. It was very funny. Um, and uh, dude, just the energy. Uh, I will say the because everyone's like, oh, the smash thing smells so bad. Smash thing smells so bad. It didn't, it didn't smell bad. It, it definitely smelled like there was a lot of people in there, like like a stadium. Uh, I, I don't think I think Anime Expo smelled worse. Generally, that's so hype. It was hype, and especially the games with like there was a game where it was like Amser versus like uh, Cody, uh, and he was two zero up, and the crowd was electric, dude. People were in were pumped, absolutely pumped. Uh, there were some great picks, like these. Um, I also got approached by. <laughs> One of the photo like the photographers who's like, hey, do you mind if I take some portraits of you? And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Go for it. So they took portraits of me, <laughs> which was very, I didn't expect, but I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Run it, let's do it. So there's some pictures of me that they took. They were like really nice. I was like, what the heck? That's so cool. And there's some great pics of Lod too and, and uh, uh, Mina Twas, I think. I have to see if I can find them. I don't know where they are though. No idea, I have no clue. Trying to find these, trying to find these boys for you guys to show a reference. You got some references, you know. I've suddenly lost them all. Uh, I'm on day two now. No, I'm gonna be on day three. 
Okay, I can't fucking find. I send them to myself actually, so that's maybe I should do that. Yeah, let me just let me just save these for you guys. Okay, let me go downloads. Is there any fire selfies with a twat? I did not know. I got to talk to him a bunch, and I got to talk to Liam more, which is great. Liam's so sweet, bless him. He's so sweet. <laughs> this is like, I think right after I got a pick where uh, Twar was explaining so much to me. The goat. My goat explaining everything to me. Um, uh, let me pick real quick. Yo, this pick. Look at this pick. <laughs> I look so composed. Yo, Ludwig's like fucking freaking out. But I look so like deep in thought. I was also, chat, I was exhausted. Because I had four, four hours of sleep. Slightly hung over, did a f did a whole ass video shoot, an hour drive. It was like it was a fucking day chat. This day was tough. And that was this video. Look at this great. I think Atwa was constantly like leaning over, being like, "Okay, this is what's happening." He's telling me about it. He's explaining all the 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 techniques to me. It's very nice, very cute of him. Thing of McDonald's. I'm so pumped for McDonald's. And uh. Yeah, he's just, bro, everyone was just so great. It was so great, bro. And it was such a good event. I think, I think sometimes the Smash community gets made fun of a lot, but dude, I, I props to them. What a fucking great crowd. Like, such a passionate, passionate crowd as well. Um, What, like, awesome. What a fucking awesome community. And it really felt like a football game, because halfway through they go, Fuck Nintendo! <laughs> Fuck Nintendo! <laughs> I was like, this is just like a football game. It was great. It was so good. I was like, this is the kind of energy I was hoping for. Um, so I definitely would go to a Smash event again if I could. Uh, they were so, like, and, and everyone who approached me was so nice. Very, like, really polite. Uh, just, just, just fucking great people. Um, and then I think everyone else wanted to go to this, this bar afterwards that would be crazy. Like, everyone's playing Smash, drinking. Oh, another thing that I was so shocked by. Bro. The level of gambling that goes on in Smash is wild. So I'm sitting in the front and people are going around, going like, they're going around, they're walking around, they go like, I got 20 bucks on Leffen. Anyone taking 20 bucks? 20 bucks? Anyone with 20 bucks on Leffen? Just like soliciting bets, like running around, going like, who wants to bet me for like the Leffen's gonna lose, the Leffen's gonna win. And like I, Ludwig would get approached by like, like 15 people and he would take every bet. He would like, they'd be like, I got 50 on this guy. I was like, I'm not like obviously like Zane's part of most. I got I got 50 on Zane. Everyone, everyone was betting. Um, and like I when I was waiting in line for the bathroom, um, like it's 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 like a gentleman's bet. I think I was something like that. Everyone would just be like, everyone would be like, all right, I got ten, I got ten left. Uh, isn't that illegal? I think if it's amongst friends, it's whatever. Some guy behind Ludwig said he lost a hundred dollars. Did I bet? No, I didn't. bet. And I would go to the bathroom and all anyone was talking about was them wins or losses. Uh, it was very funny. It is kind of crazy the amount of like money prolification that goes on. It was very interesting to see. And it was all, it was, there was never anything more than like a hundred bucks. Was, most people were just like 50, 50 bucks with each other. It's not illegal. Third party's making money. Yeah, it was literally just like a guy who goes around who wanted the bet. And he's like, I got 20 on left and who wants to bet with me? And they'd be like, me. And then when when if Lef, when Leffen lost or something, they'd come around and be like, "Give me the twenty, bro." And it was all a good sports. It was all a good fun. Uh, it was it was a very fun atmosphere. I could see where people love the community so much. Um, don't knock, <laughs> yeah, don't knock, guys. And then uh, sorry, I lip. And this whole time, I hadn't eaten anything. This whole day, we had we had like a video shoot. I had some like spaghetti, like a little bit before the shoot started, because I had to get like fucking makeup done. Um, and so I, I wouldn't eat anything and, uh, I had also been given a bunch of drinks. So I'm on an empty stomach. Uh, I, you know, I haven't, you know, I've fucking not eaten anything and I feel like shit. And then we finally eat something at like midnight. And then some of the guys would go out to, to hang out more. I'm like, dude, I can't, I gotta go to sleep. I gotta go to sleep. So I go to bed. We wake up real early, get to the airport 20 minutes before. Cause we're Lod. So I'm with Lodwig and Lodwig will never get to the airport 20 minutes before. We fly from San Jose to LA, get back. Uh, I, I have a business call that I have to do. So I do that. And then I just chill out for like two hours. And then Lud comes back and we just fucking plan the stream. We just run it. It's like so unprepared, uh, but we just do this stream. Um, 
and we do we do the stream the the eating fast food which we did yesterday uh and then literally the moment that stream ended i called my uber to the airport <laughs> Uh, and I, I went to get my flight because I actually if I, if I was any later, I think I would have been a little bit dicey. It would have been a little too close. Um, you figured? Yeah, I literally went to the airport too. Oh, don't you, you on cutie stream? I said bye to cutie, you know, because, you know, I, I really appreciate that. They always they always let me stay with them. And that's I know it's not easy, like always let having someone stay. Um, And, and I really appreciate it. I really appreciate that. They, they're so kind and they, they always let me stay, Um, and you know. Yeah, uh, and I, I, I went to the airport, got on my flight, uh, and I just went. Yeah, I just fucking I woke up. I got here like eight hours ago, had a nap, woke up, and then streamed right now. And that was like my, uh, my, my run through. It was a really great, it was probably the most singular productive trip of my life. Like every single day I was doing so much stuff. Um, and uh, it was a great time. I had a really fun time. I was really sad to leave because I, I, you know, every time I leave LA and I have a great time, I get so sad. I get so sad because I, I, everyone's so fucking cool. I, I love everyone so much. And I've gone to LA so much now where I feel like I know so many of the streamers and I, and I have such a good rapport with so many of them. And, and I, anyone I speak to, I, you know, I don't think there's a single bad person like, or someone I don't want to be around. Like everyone's such a joy. Um, and I, and I really like hanging out with everyone. So it's always so sad when you forget that airport and going to the airport alone is so sad. The airport alone to go home is always such a somber moment. I'm sure many of you, or any, I don't know if any of you have experienced this. There's this really sad moment when you have to go home alone to the airport. You're like, oh man. You're like, all right. Uh, and, and you know, but the flight's fine. It's really nice. And I just sleep the whole time. I just sleep. Uh, and uh, yeah, I get back and it's easy. Bro, I had the go biggest gold split of my life. I think from the moment the plane like finished taxiing and we took our seatbelts off, I was in my taxi home. I shoot you not within like six minutes, six minutes. Isn't that insane? How's the business class flight from head? Magical. I slept like eight hours. Uh, Zen is so goddamn funny. Zen, Zen keeps chirping in chat. <laughs> I, I, just because Zen's she's max out destroying video games. Dude, the, the, the Japanese efficiency of getting you through, because also that, if you go to like Narita, I think Narita is a fuck ton of tourists. Hanada, I think is more, a lot of people, a lot more people go to Hanada, like Japanese people. So also a lot of the flights, um, cause it's a separate line for, for my, my like ID. Cause I'm not a tourist. I'm not a Japanese resident. So I have like a separate line and that line normally is really quick. Um, so it's normally and because I you know because I, I got off first I don't I didn't bring any checked luggage I just brought a carry-on so I fucking walked right through showed my ID he's like cool you're welcome to Japan walk right through to the taxi spot and I'm gone it's literally so fast and I do the custom declaration on my phone on the airport Zen said my dad is the only okay Zen <laughs> okay Zen thanks um and I'm out I'm literally I think it was literally six minutes it was in incredible incredible um, that's, that's great because I'm not fucking around. LAX, fucking two hours every goddamn time. And also, my because my flight landed at 5 a.m., I don't think a lot of flights land at that time, so it's always really easy to get out. Um, so yeah, VIP Zen. <sighs> All right, Zen, I fine. Every time I see my dad say, because you competed in my to Apex tournament, my little sister is so depressing, especially when you go home by yourself. Is right also, did you stay in the beautifully decorated guest room by chat when you were in Lud's place? I did. I stayed is in Lud's stream room. So cool. So got home, napped, and then here I am, Chad. And that was the trip. Like a hundred hours. A literal hundred hour trip. And I think 24 hours it was on a plane. Uh, we crushed it. We did so much stuff. When is the Pokemon stream? Uh, that's going to be the 4th and 5th of March, I think I said with uh, Kadol. I think we spoke. Um, so we did so much. What a great trip. What a fun time. What a great fucking time. I thought the stream was going to be two hours. I'm so sorry. I went way over. I wanted it to be a two hour stream, but I couldn't stop yapping. Um, but uh, we had a great time. Um, I, I, just a pleasure. Like a uh, uh, huge props to Cutie. You know, I think it's really annoying. It's really annoying that to see people like call the, like some people shit on the show, like the show's bad. 
oh fucking oh, my guy didn't win this show fucking sucks this, the stream awards are so cringe it's whatever and it's like dude like cutie doesn't have to do this like cutie does not have to put this event on no one is forcing cutie. if cutie just doesn't want to do this it just doesn't happen and we don't get this event and i think this event is so cool like this is one of the fucking like of all the events i've ever been a part of this is the one i get so hyped for um as a creator i think there's so, such huge value in it and i think that a, a huge uh, thing that's understated from just the creator standpoint is that going to this event i think motivates more streamers to make cool shit than than any other event like i think there's like some credit that can be given to the the cool shit that we get to get from our favorite streamers from from this event because i think that this event really really has a magical effect of uh pushing creators to want to better themselves um and i think that's really understated and also cutie works so fucking hard uh for for like a thankless job i think cutie doesn't get like any credit you know cutie doesn't get to win any awards all she gets is fucking people being like al al my streamer didn't win this fucking loser but dude managing like 300 streamers is a f f is a goliath task my charity event having to dm like 20 creators to give me items that was fucking impossible that was so hard to keep track of um and i think that like she puts so much fucking work in it's incredible and i think that it's so i hate it when i see people it's so lame when people are like this event sucks it's cringe it's like dude shut the fuck up we get cool shit we get such cool shit uh you know and and it's like if you don't like it don't watch but clearly that's not the fucking case because clearly people are watching the whole fucking thing and people are what more people are watching than last year so people clearly fuck with the event and it's clearly a great event so people say this it's like dude no one thinks you're cool for being a contrarian uh no one thinks you're impressive no one thinks it's cool that you call it cringe you know you're sitting in your bedroom you know fucking playing warzone um you know just just you know going to school and you're like i'm gonna it's <laughs> cringe bro it's like shut the fuck up just shut up you just don't need to say that you know you just don't need to say that um so i think that i'm really pumped for it and i and i i can't wait for the next one uh even if i i don't get nominated i really want to get nominated just so i have a great excuse to go because it's so fucking cool just meeting all the cool creators that i that i you know i have such respect for it's really cool and uh, this has been a yapathon of a stream chat i'm sorry for yapping your ears off today but it was just so fun, and I and I, I really like talking about the event, and I hope you guys enjoyed this stream because I, I, you know, me yapping. I don't know if that's fun for you guys, but I, hopefully it is. Uh, it was just a great time. So many cool creators, so many, so many cool things, uh, and I, you know, secretly I'm hoping I get to do more stuff, like be a part of it again next year. You know, I, I really, really want to because it was so much fun, and hopefully we do. Hopefully we do get be nice, but obviously if I don't, you know, it's all, all good. Um. But hopefully, hopefully next year we get to be more involved in it again from the production side because I fucking love doing the red carpet. It's so much fun. And thank you to you guys for, for just supporting. And even though we didn't win, uh, I think that, you know, I'm really, really grateful. I know we got a fuck ton of votes. You know, I don't know how many we got, but I know Cutie told me we got a, a lot. We got a lot. We didn't win, but we got a lot of votes. Uh, and, and, and as the smallest creator, I think in all of our categories, you know, we were, we were the underdogs uh to get a lot of votes i think that's impressive i think we came out and, and you guys really really fucking crushed it uh and it's great because now i it gave me a ton of motivation as well which i really appreciate like that i feel super fucking motivated to get back into it to make some fucking cool shit for you guys uh so yeah it was a lot of fun uh so yeah it was it was great it was great and i appreciate everyone who said nice things and everyone was so very nice about my hosting it was very nice i appreciate it so, thank you um so yeah, I mean, that's kind of it. You know, I don't really have much else to sell you guys. Uh, let's throw it over to someone else. Let's let's spread the love. <laughs> um, you know, let's, uh, you know, Liam's online. I got a third to Liam. Meeting Liam was so good. He was such a fucking sweetheart. I had so much fun uh, meeting Liam. So I'm going to throw it over to Liam. Uh, when is the next stream? Tomorrow. I think I'm doing 2v Tuesdays tomorrow. And then I'm going to do a sponsored stream, but I'm really pumped for it. I think Mouse is going to join me with it as well. I'm really stoked for that. Uh, it's a game that I'm actually excited for. Um, when they asked me to play it, I was like, fucking great. This is awesome. 2v Tuesdays? Yes. Yeah, I think it's Wednesday. I don't think I'm doing that tomorrow. No? Wait, what day is it tomorrow? Wait, is that not tomorrow? What the fuck? It's tomorrow.
tomorrow. Oh, I see. It is tomorrow. Yeah, it is tomorrow. It should be Tuesdays. Okay, got it. It is tomorrow. I don't know why it's Tuesday, but it is, yeah. But chat, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. I really, really, really appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow with a bit of a long one. I'm trying to change up my streams a little bit. Allow me to be as creative as I want to. So it might be a little shorter streams, uh, but hopefully better content is what I'm trying to open for as well. So we'll see. We'll see. I will still do degenerately long streams. Don't worry about that. But I just think I did way too many in like January. And I think it was really hard to manage. So I think I will uh, try. What time tomorrow? I think it's like 7 a.m. for me. I think 7 a.m. I start tomorrow. So yeah. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Legends. All of you are legends. Thank you so much. Uh, I will see you guys soon. Have a good one. Be nice to Liam. Say hi. Uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye.